to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello. Oh, look, look, I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. No, you look lovely, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> My director just said, I didn't want to say. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Monica this morning, she went, I didn't think I was going to see you for ages and I forgot we'll see you today. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. That's very nice. <laughs> nice. She's got a lovely new top and I said, where'd you find that? She said, I found it. Well, I said, what do you mean you found it? Well, it's new for you. It's not that new. I've, had, I've worn it on the show before, so. Oh, I like it. I thank love you. your necklace I do necklace like the colour. Well. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's not fair, is it, when she's that talented? <laughs> That's just not fair. Um, right then, so today, well, got some rather delightful kits today, haven't we? I'm excited today. Look at little face. <laughs> Look at her little face. You can tell she's so excited about the kits today. I am, yes. All yeah. the kits, they're amazing. Well, I was going to say, you have made the most phenomenal jewellery. I mean, there's jewellery all... I'm, I'm, I mean... I don't even know where you want to poke, but you push that camera, you know, do it. I don't know what you want to do, Dan, because there's jewellery, gorgeous jewellery, beautiful jewellery, really, really, I mean, that tiger's eye, that, that oh, is just amazing. absolutely glorious. It really, really is. And I love that, because it always looks like it's a face and it's smiling. Oh, uh, yeah. So you think it does. It's the happiest jewellery, isn't it? Look at you. Hello. Oh, really happy. I'm never going to unsee that now. You know, are you? He is so look at him. These are these clovers on this. We've never had clovers like that before, oh, have we? They're brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. So they're coming up nine o'clock today, my lovelies. 
Every mm -hmm. single kit of Monica's at nine o'clock has a different yeah. four-leaf clover design, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know if I've seen all the kits, but the ones I had were amazing. They were lovely, weren't they? Yeah. Absolutely divine. And then the masterclass kits at 12 o'clock. Oh, mm. my yes. days. You must have spent hours on those uh, on that jewellery. Can we just show this well, one? Well, it, it wasn't quick. <laughs> Here we go. But it's quicker than some of some of the ones that I've made before. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh, now that's Monica. I wouldn't even need to be told which guest designer that was. That is Monica. And there's a little twist to this one, which I'll show you later. <laughs> we like a little twist, don't we? A twist. We're not going to give the twist away yet, are we? No. no. <laughs> I love you. You're so excited. Oh. Oh, I had an energy drink this morning. No, not no, yet. no, I brought no, one not with yet. me, but I haven't had it oh, yet. With me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Absolutely stunning. So that's twelve o'clock today. Now then, do you want to hear the big news? Ooh. Do you want to hear the bit even bigger news than the kids? Yes. Well, you know that very handsome man, Scott, oh. our uh, managing director, sir. Hmm? <laughs> not often does he come on air. Not often does he grace us with his presence. But at ten a.m. today, oh. he's coming on air because. He's rather chuffed with himself. I've got, I'm just going to put it out there, right? So him and our gem buyer, Wayne, they're off they went, off they went to India, off they went buying gemstones and basically having a field day, spending, spending the business's money and buying the most beautiful gemstones for us. And to say that he's proud of the selection of the cubes that he's bought today mm. and the most amazing prices like ever, um, he's decided to come on screen and put his name in front of the camera oh, no. at 10 a.m. this morning. I can't wait to see those. I, I know they've got mm -hmm. those. Mm, I'm, I'm, just, not, mm. I'm not showing you yet. Sneak, sneak, but they're, yeah. viewing it. <laughs> they're two to four mil cubes. I'm hiding them. Yeah. I'm hiding them. You can see. Don't you dare, Dan. <laughs> Don't you dare. It's cubes day. It is. It's cubes day at 10 a.m. today. And, oh my goodness me, the best news ever as well. We launched, oh gosh, only within the last couple of months, um, the most amazing gemstone called Scholar Sight. And when I heard it, Ooh. it doesn't sound the best, does it? Let's be honest. You're like, I've never heard of that. Hey, well, it's all right, but when you see it, oh, oh my days. We, 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 we had a complete sellout. Have you not seen it, Ross? Oh, my days. When you see wow. it, we had a complete sellout. We had, um, we had some multicolour, which was sold out in a heartbeat. Then it went into the different colours. We broke one of the stones in half because it doesn't form like any other gemstone right. on the planet. We've got a tiny few. I've asked Wayne and he said, uh, I said, our oh, gem buyer said, Wayne, can, can we get some more? And he said, it's already on order, Zane. I said, fantastic. Mm. So we got the last opportunity on the scholar site. Well, a tiny little order we got, but it was tiny. It was hardly anything. But the new order is coming in. So very, very exciting about that. We've also got the last of stock of the most divine liquid light selenite coming up for you oh, as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've got some great. Dave Trath, our lovely Dave epic show yesterday wasn't it with the, with the, with the jade and the aquapraise and then on saturday with the nephrite jade bangle we've got a special vanilla by dave it's on pre-order so if you go to jewelrymaker.com it's the thank you because i always struggle with that one high goo if it was gunu i'd be all right <laughs> but the high goo jade so the high goo jade danny boy gorgeous dan we've got this as a dave troth special early bird for you today. Oh. Utterly perfect. And as it's Ross in the producer's chair, you know what he's like. We're just going to call him, and I'm not done Ross. That needs to be his new tagline. I'm not done Ross with the price. <laughs> we are, really? Oh. Am I allowed to say that? Oh my days, he just oh. went, tell him, tell him. That high goo, that big donut, that perfect donut in the apple green of the jade, absolutely natural, wow. grey day Myanmar, under 20 quid. Under 20 quid? <laughs> Under 20 pounds? I mean, look at it here. That's amazing. Isn't I know. It? Do you want to feel? Let's have a look. Here you go. Under oh, 20 pounds. That's beautiful. It just feels oh, so. Look at it. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Yeah. Are you looking for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't find anything in the back of my wardrobe, would I? <laughs> hey? Where's that? Where's the camera point? Oh, that one right next to you then. It's like, Who made that? Oh, look at that, though. Who made that? Who made that? Anne and Sue, wow. flipping heck. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, Anne and Sue, they're lovely, aren't they? It just they? feels so nice, it doesn't, doesn't it? It's smooth and, and silky it, and... It's, it's warmer than other gemstones, I think. It's because of me sat on it. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I haven't. I'm joking. <laughs> I'll give it back then. <laughs> Shall I? I'm joking. I haven't. Uh, can I also show you comedy joking? We've also got the most... You need to, you need to look at these Tanzanite. 
You oh. really need to look at these tonight, right? I can't. I mean, come wow. on. That is that is glass cabinet wow. in the most expensive store ever. You ready for this kind of thing? I'd expect to see in Tiffany Valley. Oh. Look at these. Oh, I tell you what, Ross, they're amazing. Wow. Oh, I heard about Steve Bennett coming on air last week. He, it was when he was on with Claire McDonough and Vicks, wasn't it? Friday, I think. Now, Steve Bennett, founder of this wonderful business of ours, he came on last Friday morning with our lovely Vicks uh, and Claire McDonald, and he bought you a Steve special. That does not happen very often. I think that's the first time it's happened this year on Jewelry Maker. Uh, we've got the last opportunity to finally get your hands on that deal. So if you heard about it, you missed it last Friday, you've got the last chance to get hold of those today at the same Steve special deal, okay? And I've got some beautiful pearl earrings as well. Oh, it's all going on today. Mm -hmm. All going on today. Oh, and, 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 and. You know, when you talk about cashmere sapphire being like one of the most sought after yeah. important sapphires in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't got that, but we've got cashmere peridot. Oh, I know, been allocated cashmere peridot. Mm. What a show, what a show. Right, are we going into our beloved Wall of Fame? Yes, please. Right then, my lovelies, we're going to start with Lorraine. And what I must just say about Wall of Fame is you lot are getting so creative with your photography. Yeah. Here you go, Wall of Fame, my lovelies. <laughs> Buoyant this morning. Who me? I do. Do you? You feel really. I feel really buoyant. Oh, you look buoyant. I mean, oh, wow, is that good or is that bad? You, you always look, look buoyant. Lovely. She looks <laughs> lovely. I love her because her whole face lights up when she smiles. Look, she's like a whole face can't take any more smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than a facelift, you know. It, it is, isn't it? If you look, yeah. if you look sad, then you're anywhere near the age of a facelift, you know. <laughs> uh, right. Good morning, Lorraine. Now look at this for photography. Look at you. I like your little owl. Look, you look alive. Well, he's got a big owl, actually, isn't he? Oh, he's lovely. Uh, sorry, Lorraine, I should be talking about your beautiful jewellery, but I was just looking at your owl. Um, hi, everybody. Today's entry is an autumnal make from a nugget bundle. It's, ooh, bronzite and jadeite. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. With gold-plated details. All components are from Joan. I'm embracing the new season with a big, fat, smiley face. I do. I love autumn, do you? Yeah. Yeah? Are you more of a summer girl? Mm. Maybe more of a spring. Oh, oh you're a yeah. spring girl. Spring. Mm -hmm. There yeah. you go. <laughs> well then, Shani, you've been making a beautiful piece of jewellery, haven't you, lovely? Oh, look at that. that citrine. Goodness gracious me. Hi all, hello. My entry this week is a Madeira citrine and gold-plated sterling silver spacer bead bracelet. This was a beautiful strand, and, the, and I hope I've done it justice. I think you have, Shani, and then some. Okay. Uh, all components are from JM. Good luck to all. Gosh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And nice photography again. Isn't it? Again, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Beautifully graduated as well. Um, hello, Sue. Our lovely Sue. She said, hi, this is my entry for the... Oh, oh. oh. wow. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame. A mixed colour of pearls, making a lovely wraparound bracelet. All oh. pearls are from JM as always. Do you know, Hannah Stewart was, uh, Hannah Osborne uh, was on recently yeah. and H Hannah Osborne made me one of those bracelets with mm. pearls and honestly, I wear it all the time. Oh, it's, it's so nice when you can wear pearls every day, isn't, isn't it? it? Just, yeah. It's just lovely, yeah. Um, good morning, Michelle. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Our lovely Michelle. So, morning to everyone. See what I mean? Have you not been on a photography course? Oh. Have you lot been on a photography course? Look at that with the flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Morning to everyone at JM and viewers. Oh, that's nice, Michelle. Good morning to you, sweet pea. My entry into this week's Wall of Fame is a couple of two-tone bracelets made using pearl nuggets, jade nuggets, nice, and oval amethyst finished with a hammered effect central bead and clasp. That's really lovely. Uh, in sterling silver, all JM products, of course. Of course. <laughs> Fingers crossed for a win and good luck to all in the jewel. Well, good luck to you, my lovely. And the last one is our lovely Lynn, number 59. And Lynn, it's all right, my darling. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are joking me. Oh, oh could, seriously, can we have a round of applause for that epic creation? Oh, Lynn, can I buy it? 
And talk about photography again. Goodness, God. I want to buy it all. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. I was, wow. Hi, everyone. Please find attached my entry to the wall of fame. I've made a tree use... Oh, goodness, I can't get over that. I've made a tree using silver and rose gold plated copper white and black spinel nuggets. Wow. With a stream... Ah, oh, consisting of appetite moonstone and seed beads. Many thanks to the wonderful jewellery maker team for all that you do. Best wishes to all. Do you know what I'd really like to do? And I need to ask Lynn's permission. Ross, can we get... Is there any way we can get hold of Lynn's details? I want to ask if I can have that as my screensaver on my phone. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing, breathtaking. It's one of those that needs to go sort of in a glass Doesn't display it? Like, case with its own light and everything. Oh, my it? days. Lynn, honestly, Lynn, that is the most unbelievable thing I think I've... I need to buy. Wow. When Alison did this, Alison Terry, mm. she did all those freestanding 3D ones, and I keep meaning to ask Alison if I can buy one. Oh. That is, that needs to be on the front of a book, a jewelry making oh, book, it does. doesn't it? It does. Alison's with us. She went, oh my gosh, Lynn's tree is amazing. Fingers crossed, she wins. That needs to be entered to, into design of the year. It does. It really it does. does. We can. Can we? Can we save that somewhere, Ross, that we can ask the team? Because when we put things forward for, for design of the year, I know it's not always guest designers, but that, that, that has to be, oh. that has to have some sort um, of award. I, I, <laughs> it really does. <laughs> oh, my days. Maybe we should have a new Lynn. category. You got Dolly? Maybe we should have a new category for we design, need to have any, design, design of the year. Well, we have so some much, how would we choose? It yeah. would be impossible. But to have that with the gemstone stream as well, what a great right. idea. Oh, should we just look at that for the next five hours? <laughs> oh, my days. That is wow. absolutely... Look at the... Because I go walking in Sutton Park where me and Ollie, near where Ollie and I live. Yeah. And uh, there's a, as you walk into, like, this, it's like a little wooded area and you go over all these little bridges and it's mm. around a lake and there's a tree that sort of fell over mm. and exposed all its tree roots. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'd love to take a photograph of that and send that to Lynn because it's, like it's like she's just picked that out of, out of, the, uh, out of that um, park. Goodness um, gracious. Oh, Lynn. Oh, Lynn, are you watching? Oh, it's Ooh, I hope she's watching. Oh, don't take it off, Adam. I just want to look at that all day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, right, so we could we we'll keep looking at that as well because our, our, our graphics are having a little bit of a moment this morning. They've just, they've just said, nah. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> I don't even want to get involved today. Technical issues, they're called. Technical issues. So, now the jade... Morning, Dan. How are you? Oh, all right, Dan, how are you? <laughs> oh, it's nice having a bit of an eye candy at work, let's be honest. <laughs> you look very awake today. I feel a lot more awake. You do look a lot... Very tired. You were not yourself yesterday, no, were you, Poppet? Yeah, but... But you're good today. I'm all good today. Yeah, yeah you're good so, today. Yeah, I was hanging out on Tuesday. Uh, uh, so I was tired. Because you went to your concert, how was it? Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Sorry, on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Oh, it's a gig. It's a gig, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Was he good, Joe? Was, was he? Was he? Watching Joe. Thanks for the laughs. Oh, uh -uh, there you go. Will he be watching? Probably not. Probably not. No. <laughs> Does he know you're on? No. 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 I love Dan. If no. you're watching Joe. <laughs> oh, good morning, Brian. Morning, Brian. Good morning. You're right, love. Morning. Delivery driver Brian's here, oh. ferreting in a box. <laughs> I wonder what lovely goodies he's brought. Uh, yeah, mm. uh, rather than lovely. Sorry. This is your incredible high goo uh, jade. Can we mention again? This we should nowhere really be in the double figures. Shouldn't be under fifty. We're opening the show today with an under twenty pound deal. When the graphics want to come in, so ignore that. Um, ig please do ignore the price on the web. Uh, you can pre-order it now. The code is well. You can when you well. You know you can when you can. Uh, Z E M two four one M for mother. Z E M two four one. And then last Friday, Steve Bennett, founder of Gems Gemporia. Jewelry maker, hobby maker, sewing street, gem collector, lifestyle, you name it, that man's responsible for it all. He came on air last Friday with Claire McDonald and Vix from Sewing Street and he bought the most amazing Tanzanite deal. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Gem quality, every single one of them. 
I mean, that little box, just like that, it looks like something from, from one of your top jewelers. Doesn't it? Jewelers, doesn't it? And it's like you imagine going into Tiffany when they had the exclusivity on, on, uh, on Tanzanite back, yeah. in, you know, back in the 70s for 10 years and being able to go into Tiffany's and actually choose your engagement yeah. Stone, stone, yeah, and have Tiffany in New York make that. Can you imagine? I mean, can you imagine how much that would have cost you back in the seventies wow. when it was launched? This is exceptional Tanzanite in mixed shapes and sizes. You've got rounds there, ovals, pear drops, you name it, it's in there. This was brought to you by Steve Bennett as an absolute treat, Steve Saber special deal, and we've got the last few chances for you to grab them. You've probably heard everybody talking about them. This is your chance right. to get them today. Right, right. Now then, have you ever seen this scholar site? No. Oh, is this oh, it? Do you see what? Right, wait till you oh see this. Oh my gosh. I've lost it. Sorry, you can't no, have this I'll one. I'll show you the one. <laughs> I've lost it. Right. Wow. This oh is gosh. the gemstone that I absolutely wow. cannot stop raving about. I had the good fortune to launch it recently. It was an epic sellout. We have got more on order. We have got the most sensational colorways and shapes. We've got random we've got trillions we've got marquees we've got wavy marquees we've got elongated pairs it sold out in minutes when we launched oh. we have a very tiny order for you this morning that was placed with less than 20 on every strand we do have another order coming in i've checked with wayne he said it is on order we can't tell you when it's going to get here but it's it's on its way it's imminent now, can I show you the one where I think it will sell out within a second? What do you think? Oh, it's amazing. That, you know, that orangey one in the middle, yeah. that one. Well, we've got, yeah. You, well, right, right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. All the other strands are natural. These multicolored ones are the only ones that have had any color added. Yeah. And they grow like no other gemstone on the planet. Look at this. But You've got to be quick on this one. It's the patterns. Yeah. They're so unusual. Aren't they? It is the most, oh, we've got a little cheeky presentation coming up for you. It's only three or four slides, but just to give you, see, there you go. I told you about this, didn't I, Ross? I said to Ross this morning, because he hasn't seen them, I said, Ross, the scholar site, seriously, mate, when you see it, you have to be, I mean, they look like Larimar the Blues, don't they? They do, yes. Don't they? And the, in the other strand, the purple ones looked a lot like um, Charite. Yeah, it does look like Charite, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, this is coming up a little bit later on this morning. Is that 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, sweetie? Do you know what? I could look at my sheet. Tom Stewart used to do that to me. He used to go, look at your sheets. <laughs> like, uh, I can't remember everything, Tom. Um, uh, I think it's, oh, there's no times. So that's probably 8, 9, 11 o'clock, is it, Ross? Yeah, we'll go 11. 11 o'clock for the scholar site, darling. No, in this hour. Oh. Well, that's assuming it's that's in this hour. If the, the technical team are they're like little, honestly, they're like little Tasmanian devils out there, racing around to, trying to fix. But this will be really, really, really quick sellout. But honestly, anybody that met, in fact, I tell you what, if you got the scholar site the first time around, will you message in and tell us what you've done with it, or have you got any pictures you want to send in? And look, look at the red one. It's got like it's almost like feathery. Honestly, it's the most epic strand. And all the other all the other colours, the, the natural ones. Can I show you the natural trillion ones as well? So that's got some colour added. Um, these are going to be they'll be gone in a blink, blink of an eye. Look at these. I mean, oh. that is completely oh, natural. Wow. Do you know what this colour reminds me of? Um, Go on. You know, we've had a few times we've had on the the shiver, shiver eye. Oh, I haven't. Do you remember um, those? Yeah. yeah. It's the same sort of colours. So yeah. If I have any of those, then that would work. But when I show you how these are made, if you crack one of these open, we did that live on air when we first launched them. Wow. And had I managed to get home last night, I had a bit of a few traumas last night. I had to start at my dad's again. Um, yeah, lots of things happened last night. But anyway, I was going to go home and get the gemstone that we cracked open on air because I kept it because it's so fascinating as a gem lover because it grows like no other gemstone crystal on the entire planet. Wow. It's absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so you're going to have to be quick on the. If you see the scholar site, we, we, and we've got massive, beautiful different shapes as well and colours and the blue. Do you want to see the blue? Do you want to see the blue? They're like, yeah, let's see the blue. Let's see. Look at oh. this. You don't even need a close-up, do you? Wow. Oh, get me my bikini, me flip-flops, me sarong. Nobody needs that image this early in the morning, do they? Wow. Look. Look how, look how it stands out when... Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's kind yeah. of like the first thing that walks into the room, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> you are done. What have you snaffled away? I didn't know what you snaffled away for me. Oh, I did. I have clocked them. Right, last weekend. Last week... Was it last weekend? Yeah, last Saturday. 
last Saturday when I was mm -hmm. with Susie, we had these earrings and we had them in the eight o'clock hour and we didn't get a chance to put them on air. Mm -hmm. And right towards the end of the show, I did say to, uh, we had that epic uh, mutton fat jade what, uh, bangle, didn't we? Oh my, we've all, uh, sorry, uh, they're fright jade uh, bangle. And um, we've all bought one, by the way. We're all keep going, I've just checked with staff orders again this morning. It's my bangle, it's my bangle. <laughs> it's not. Uh, but anyway, we had some earrings and I said to, I said to um, I said to Ross, can we play the earrings? He said, we haven't got time, darling. Anyway, he's put them in for you this morning because they're on pre-order. I'll show you the pearls in a minute. Nine o'clock, we'll do these. This earring wow. isn't 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 finished. This earring is so pretty, even on its own. Oh, look at that! Say, you could just wear it like you that. You could just wear that on its own if you want to. But can you see there's a little threaded peg in the middle? Do you see that? Just hidden. Oh, wow. Can you see why I was desperate to do them? Oh, my gosh, look at that. Yeah? Desperate to do them. Now, they are half-drilled. If I can just get that there, because your peg is going to go into the centre there, and it's going to sit on top of you. I'll try and do that when, I'm, uh, when, we're, when we bring them through a bit later on. These are on pre-order. They're absolutely beautiful. Wow. Those, when you think about when Charlie Barron talks about golden yes. pearls, about how it, rare they are. Wow. Is it less than 3% of all South Sea pearls are actually gold? Yeah. And look yeah. how perfect that pearl Isn't is. It? That's, oh, a bit perfectly. Beautiful. So if you go to the jewelrymaker.com website, the under £20, believe it or not, 80 mil high goo, uh, genuine, natural, apple green jade uh, in the jadeite there, never been, seen, never been seen before, that's going under £20. The A&AA grade tanzanite, Ooh. Uh, from the Steve special, last chance is there as well for you. Code CBCI06. And I tell you what, these 925 sterling silver shepherd hooks with the white topaz, not cubic zirconia, but actual genuine white topaz with the flower pin uh, and the peach fresh water pearls, they're on pre-order as well. What a lovely start to the show. Right, apologies for you having to wait this long to be able to buy something. I do apologise, but we're going to make it worth your while, okay, my lovelies? What are we starting with? This one. Ooh. Could I have my grey and black board when you've got a moment, you gorgeous? Oh, dear. Amazing. Thank you. Right then, we've got cashmere peridot coming up later on. Cashmere peridot. The thing about peridot is it grabs attention whether you like it or not. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. And it's the most quirky, weird gemstone. You might go, what do you mean? But if you, if you sort of were working at your desk and you saw a bright green highlighter pen, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, that'll work with absolutely everything I write, every colour of pen, every this, yeah. every that, every colour of paper. Peridot works with everything, every gemstone. Yeah. Well, well if you think about, you know, the colours in nature, you've got green everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. So, and this is... Yeah. And it's also quite a... Gentle green. What yeah. I mean is, it's not. It, it's not going to overpower. No, it's amazing. Else. It's most it bizarre. Works. That's why it works. I think. It's brilliant. Yeah. Little bubbles of gorgeousness. Can I just say we're at three pounds ninety nine there. Two pounds ninety nine. Oh, you're joking. For perfect peridot. <laughs> last month's birthstone. Do you know the thing is, we're talking about little bubbles of gorgeousness there. When I buy peanut flavored or uh, bubbles for my dog to blow for them to catch. They're like five quid a bottle. I had to think about that for a second. Yeah. Peanut flavoured bubbles. To yeah, <laughs> so you blow the bubbles for the dog and they jump up and catch them. They can eat them because it's safe. Oh, right. But bubbles for a dog are more expensive than that. I just think it's lovely with the grey and the green. You see what I mean there? Every colour gemstone. Absolutely, my darling, I do. I've got those peridots are going to sell out really quickly. Uh, again, if you get a chance to get the Scholar site today, grab it as quickly as you possibly can. Okay, so your peridots, your little bubbles, absolutely perfect. Uh, now I did just spoil you with a little bit of a uh, little bit of a heads up, didn't I? We have got uber rare to go with that apple green of the um, high goo that's coming up under twenty pounds. It's unbelievable. We've got three rare opportunities to mm. own uber rare red jade. Ooh. Okay, completely natural. Oh, I've got to put them on. Oh, talk about autumn. Look. I know. Oh, just look at that. It is the autumn jade, isn't it? 
Oh, there's okay. even the summer Moroccan spicy jade. Look at all wow. the variations and that mixture of subtle changes of different reds on there. An orangey red, it's the most extraordinary strand. OXM232. Now, does everybody know how difficult it is to get red jade? How difficult it is, why we see it so infrequently. And every time I see an apple now, I think about red jade. Because when you, see, when you cut into an apple, mm. and if you've got an apple at home, get one out of the fridge or wherever you keep it, just, just, just do this, cut it in half, and then as you look across the half of the apple, and you see it's all flesh, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from the core. And yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's literally the whole thing is just the flesh of an apple. And if you think about an apple, it's got a really thin skin, yeah. hasn't it? It's really yeah. thin. It's really difficult to actually sort of peel an apple, isn't it? Um, and that's the only place in a massive, huge, million pound boulder, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of boulder of jade, that you could actually find that tiny bit of red. Wow, really? Gosh. So to also then think that you can actually cut a seven mil round yes. from that really tiny little bit of wow. flesh of the boulder, so to speak, it's just, it's mind blowing. Now, also on Sunday with Mark Smith, we're launching a brand new suite of jet on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I just think if you get black jet with that oh. red, it's going to look absolutely sensational. Now, Dave, wow. again, was on the show yesterday, our amazing Dave. Dave has said, in order to be able to create a strand of natural Burmese Myanmar red jade and to be able to actually put it, to have that many to enable a strand, it's unheard of. And at £299, I want to show it you again. You got any red jade? I haven't, actually. Mm. But a lot of us haven't. Peculiar, but wonderful. We've gone, well, wow. you think about how rare red jade is. We couldn't give you a standard six mil or eight mil. Oh, no. Um, now, Liz, good morning, sweet pea. She said, I'd sell one pair of those beautiful red jade eye in a pair of earrings for at least... £150. Well, I'll tell you oh, what. Yes, definitely. Shall I count that really quickly? No, we haven't got time. We haven't got time. But li I'll tell you what you could for us. I can do that. Would you mind telling us oh. how many pairs of earrings we could make yes. on there at £150? Pounds. Be my place. Have like, close worth look every look penny as well. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're sure next, sweetie. Sorry. Well done. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Oh, great. You got four sizes. Oh, brilliant. Oh, these are the peridot. Oh, I'm going to show you these because... What is fascinating about these in your picture Jasper? Now, your picture Jasper, are they? Wow. Oh, my days. Now, picture Jasper, we normally expect to be that sort of, yes. sort of uh, creamy, almost beigey colour, lot, don't we? A lot of picture Jasper. Yeah. But this is grey, silver grey. Oh, my goodness me, doesn't it? Look at, I mean, every single one of those is just spectacular. These are completely natural. Wow. Look at that. I didn't know it came naturally. Oh, no, I didn't. I don't think I did. Oh, look! He's look. Look, that looks like he's. Got, can you see like a little dinosaur in that one? <laughs> yeah. Looking backwards over his shoulder. Look. <laughs> you see? Look. I've just decided that's a little dinosaur. See, that's what I love about picture Jasper. Is literally the pictures that you can yeah, see. Yeah, and it. that's the thing. Yeah. Every single one of those, you're going to say, spend ages with these. They are. Oh, you're joking, Ross. You know, you got three more sizes to come after this. 12 mil for 9.99. God. I don't think he's paying attention this morning quite. I think the tech I think the technical issues have got to Ross. He doesn't does he realize there's three more sizes after this? <laughs> oh, have a chat with yourself, Ross. He said I'm not even closing it there. Just remember you've got your 30-day money back guarantee, not that you'll need it. But look at those fascinating. We're natural gemstones, unusually silver grey, and I tell you what, Mike, can I mention this? Can I mess it? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Alison, love this great picture, Jasper. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? It is. It is. It is. Alison, do you want to know something else I love? Right. We're not stopping at 9 99 believe it or not. We're not even just going to bring you 12 mil. Coming up after the 12 mil, you've got the 10, the 8, and the 6, and that. Do you know, I don't know about you, do you have got... Have you, have you got lots of, like, silver jumpers and cardigans for the Both. winter in your wardrobe? Yeah, yeah, and me. Practically every jumper's silver. But it, it's, it's basically silver, silver will go with everything as yep. well. You know, so if you have even colourful tops, if you, if you don't know what to wear with it, you yep. can just put a silver. It is a neutral, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Now, I think if you fancy something for Christmas, if you fancy, not for Christmas, but for winter, and as we go into the winter months, that's, you're going to wear that so much. 
See, that works perfectly with your top and with my top. It does with your top. Do you want to try one? There you go. Yes, please. There you go. Yeah. Do, oh, actually, yeah, because you've got all that lovely yeah, grey in there. There's all the grey in there. I really like that top, you know. Yeah. Really like that top. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. It will work nicely with the... It, yeah. Okay. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And some of the cues we've got coming. Blue and grey look great, don't they? As we've proven in her lovely top. Yes. Oh, Ross. Seven... 99 people for a 12 mil 12 gemstone. Mil. Do we ever sell any 12 mil gemstones for 7.99? I mean, you try and buy, go into it. I actually went into one of that. I actually went into a hobby craft shop yesterday. Yeah. Oh, the shops are available. I've never been in one. Oh, you, you'd be hard pressed to find anything for 7 99 <laughs> I, Well, even sort of plastic yeah. beads and yeah. things. I was amazed at the price tags. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. really was. And I just thought, oh, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want to do anything against it, but I felt like standing there and just saying to everybody, you need to watch, you need to watch you our watch channel, because it, exactly. but it, you can't do that in another shop, can you? But I felt <laughs> sorry for everybody there that has no idea that you can actually get genuine yeah. gemstones like this for less than, well, a glass of wine in a pub. Yeah. Yeah? It, it does amaze me, as you say. I, I also go into that shop every now and then because I get a, a voucher for my birthday. Oh! So, obviously, I have to spend that. <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. <laughs> but I... I I struggle to find anything. Because yeah, because we know what we can get here. That's the exactly. trouble. We're spoiled. Doesn't that look lovely with the appetite? Yeah. And then you add in the beautiful green of the peridot. That looks lovely as well. Wow. That's amazing. So, so we've got 51 on the jade, on the right jade. 51, 51 so that's 25 pairs of earrings. Yep. 25 pairs of earrings times 150 quid for Liz. Mm. 25 <laughs> times, how much is that? That's what three. That's over three grand. Yeah. That would be over three thousand pounds. Nearly four thousand pounds. Wow. Blooming heck. Right then, my lovely, as you know what's happening. You know what's happening. Oh, actually. Oh. These pearls. Ah. These pearls we've got coming up. Oh, lovely! Look at that. Gosh. Yep. These are from uh, Monica's kit coming up at nine o'clock. How nice do they oh. look? See so how much straight away that makes that look even more expensive than it already did? It does, it definitely does. Yeah. I was going to say, it looks almost regal, doesn't it? Doesn't it, yeah. £6.90, £6 so this is getting a bit silly. But we are just saying sorry for the fact that for 27 minutes this morning we didn't have any graphics. So do you know what? Let's do it for it. Now here we go, look. Can we just tell you what? Finn, can we just focus on that one, darling? Just, just, I'm just going to highlight one magnificent... Utterly fascinating natural gemstone of this planet. Wow. I think they look as though they're sort of not from this planet. They don't do. you think? They do. But it's, it's, it's amazing how you can, you can sort of see how the, how the gemstone yeah. grew. It's almost exactly. like the, re, uh, the rings in a tree, you know, when you yes, cut a tree the, down. It's, it's like a hallmark of how it was yeah. formed, isn't it? They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. The good news is we've done the 12 mil, we've done the 10 mil, they're all under 10 pounds. We've got the 8 mil, wow. we've got the 6 mil. You could do the most fantastic graduated design. I can see myself shopping again today. Yeah, I can say, <laughs> I'll be having these today. They're just too nice not to, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so that's your 12 mil, your 10 mil, both strands under, under 10 pounds. Now, this is very much last of stock, I'm afraid. These are your 10 mils, aren't they? 8 mil, sorry, we've done the 10 mil. Keep up, Z. And we've got the 6 mil to come. Now, definitely the 8 mil and the 6 mil are the most sort of favoured sizes, aren't definitely, they? Definitely, definitely, yeah. Because it's, um, it, it's kind of easy to use, if, if you know what I mean, yeah. the, the 6 and the 8 mil. But I'm just thinking how amazing this would look as sort of a, almost like a backdrop to the new... Is it, is it scro Oh, the scholar scro site, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could pick any colour of that scholar site, couldn't we? Oh, to go with that. Oh look, at gosh, that. look at that! Wow. Oh, honestly, I could wax lyrical about scholar site all day long. Like Five ninety nine. Come on. Perfect. That is. It's brilliant. Five ninety nine. Well done, Ross. You're in. You're in one this morning, aren't you? Under a fiver. Oh. <laughs> Under a fiver. You could make at least... I mean, if you just, yeah, if you just make two stretches. Two stretches. Two pound fifty each. Yeah. Charge. That is absolutely awesome. Look at that. You're going to wear that so, so much. It's just nice and neutral for gents as well, with it not being faceted. Oh, definitely, yeah. Sold out. Also nice for your macrame, that sort of thing as well. Yeah, yeah do you know, Mark Smith was on yesterday and he was macrame and I haven't seen yeah. him macrame yeah. for ages. Mm. The what? 
Oh, yes, sorry. He got there. You can tell sometimes I'm just not getting engaged. <laughs> It's right there, it's right there, it's right there. Ooh, ooh, hang on, how does that work? Yeah, your other lip. Ooh, what is that? I might need the glasses. Ooh, I want to see where the... I need to see oh. where the hole is. Oh! Oh, wow, look at that. Look at the detail in that wow. tiger spacer. Right, I need to, um, hang on, I need to see where that, I need to probably go and get my, my glasses. Where's the, where's the, oh, there, oh, there it the is, there it is. Sorry, it's so shiny, you can't Ooh. see. There's the hole, look. I'll just tilt that to the, so you can see, look. If I give you a little piece of wire, then you can. Oh, that would be, oh, bless you, that'd be wonderful. Thank you so much, it'll just show a lot better. Those are oh. gone, sold out, tiger. And it's the year of the tiger, isn't it? Is this it? This year, it's the year oh. of the tiger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go on that anyway? I'd like to see that, please. Thank you. Oh, do you know what? If you are talking about making any, 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 uh, that is gorgeous. I, uh, sorry, Jim. No, 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 not at all. I was thinking of putting it with the jade. Um, oh, with the high goo? Yeah. Yeah, if you just, if you get the, the high goo's on pre order, Isn't right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not holding it very well. Right, we'll, we'll get it. Oh, there we there go. you go. Oh, he's great, isn't he? Great. <laughs> yeah. A lovely sentiment to go, because we talk about all the carvings exactly, that we've got with the tigers yeah. in the jade. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, brilliant. Um, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. And don't ever apologise about interrupting. You have to interrupt me, because I never shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you're next to me, yeah, because then I can have a look. I know, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I like it when you're next to me, just because I like it. <laughs> uh, right then, so when you have a stretcher, you've got, you got the knot, haven't you? That's a knot, by the way. I don't know what that is, but it's a knot. Um, you need something fabulous, uh, utterly fabulous, to hide that knot. And that's exactly what these are. These are the shiniest, sparkliest, engraved, beautiful textured spacers. It, and they're six by four and a half mil, so they're going to pack a punch. They're going to nicely hide that knot of yours, aren't and they, they? And they kind of mirror the patterns on the picture, Jasper, if you put they them do, with the actually, picture, That's Jasper. a really good point, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you manage to get those, my lovelies. Have we got many of those, um, Ross? Have you got many of those, sweetie? Uh, that's a no, then. But you know what? There's 30 chances. But you're right. Anything that's got... Oh, today as well, we've got some selenite. Oh, can I show you this? Oh, oh the selenite. Oh, that'd be lovely with the striations. Oh, and with that picture, Jasper. Um, Ross, I know the, six, the, the four mil went. The six, what, how many of, this, of the picture Jasper have we got left? Is there anything of any of the sizes in the grey, in the silver? Some of the larger sizes there are, brilliant. Let me show you, look. Let me show you what a lovely combination that would be. Oh, look, that's perfect. Isn't it? Because if you look at the striations in your selenite that's coming up, that's going to match beautifully. And then if you get all those gorgeous markings, again, it gives you that added, te added texture yeah. in there. Isn't that wonderful? All of those spaces, there's 10 of them, that they're, they're a pound each in 925 sterling silver. Wow. That's impressive, isn't it? Okay, well done everybody. Nikki, Caroline, good morning. Paulie's got two. Susan, Nancy, jewellery maker in Renfrewshire. Well done. Uh, Danielle's in, Eileen's in, Yvonne's in, Caroline's in. Thank you for joining us all, you lovely lot. Brilliant, brilliant deal, that. Absolutely superb. Lovely. Yes, darling. Oh, okay. 15. Okay, right, just to mention, we had 23 this morning. They've been on pre-order and we've got 15 left. Now, last week, Steve Bennett, Steve Bennett, you might be thinking, who's Steve Bennett when he's at home? Well, he's responsible for all of this. It's his fault, we're all here. <laughs> and we love that. We're, we're, love, very, we, we're very grateful. We're to very to grateful, we are, we're <laughs> yeah. very grateful. And uh, it's very, very rarely does Steve, he's just started coming on at Gems again and uh, so nice to see him back. And uh, he's very passionate, and his mission, as Dave Troth said yesterday, has always been to make sure that every single person on this planet hopefully can afford to buy the gem of their dreams at an affordable price. That's our mission statement. If we get a good deal, you get the good deal. There's, we, do, we don't just get a great deal and make loads more profit margin, you get the good deal. And that's a, a, a statement and a mission statement that he's drilled into every single one of us since day dot, yeah. hasn't he? Well, last Friday, he graced us with his presence on air. <laughs> And he bought a belter 
of a deal that every single person in this building has been talking about. Now, we don't usually have the graded Tanzanite on our show because we very much believe at Jewelry Maker that actually the grading of Tanzanite is, whilst it's important, whilst it denotes a particular colour tone, we feel that all Tanzanite is stunning, all Tanzanite yeah. is beautiful, yeah. irrelevant of grade. But he said, you know what, just for a change, with all the amazing, genuine gemstone stone setting, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, all the mounts that we do for yeah. you, he said, let's bring you some authentic, graded, A grade and double A grade. Now, the double A grade is the colour as you go slightly darker, mm -hmm. and then the A grade will be the lighter tone of the Tanzanite. All Tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than diamonds, irrelevant of, 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 of whether it's a, a, an A or a quad A, and it depends what colour tones you like. But the lovely thing is you've got best of both worlds there. You've got the A and the double A in that mixture of, of shapes and sizes as well. This is clearly gem quality Tanzanite. Clarity oh, is exceptional. Beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? So... Again, if you've learned how to stone set, and I know a lot of you have because we get the most amazing entries into the Wall of Fame. We've got the most phenomenal mounts here at Jewelry Maker as well. But even if you just want to collect gemstones and you want a beautiful parcel of the most exceptional quality, clean, clarity, everything you look in there for the four C's that you look for in a diamond, your yeah. cut, your clarity, your carrot weight size, your... There's always one I forget. Cut, carrot, clarity... Colour, there you go. Well, sorry, yeah. there you go. Banging on about colour. It's like, well, it eludes me every time. But that's what you're looking for in, in Tanzanite, like you are in a diamond. But when you think... Now, when we, when we went out to... I always tell this story, but myself and Jake and Steve and Linda and Sheila and everybody flew out to South Africa uh, for a birthday for Steve. It was his big birthday, big 5-0. Oh, right. And his wife's 40th, so we had a big, big family do. Oh, nice. And we went, yeah, it was lovely. We went on, uh, on safari. It was amazing. But we were in Johannesburg Airport. There was a glass cabinet of Tanzanite. Mm. And there wasn't a single Tanzanite in there for less than £100. And they weren't as big as those stones there. Yeah. And yet, this is the deal that Steve did to, to make sure that he could beat that. He decided wow. to bring this entire glass cabinet in a, well, plastic cabinet in a box. Wow. All of those stones of that gem quality, of that wow. clarity, of graded tanzanite to less than a hundred pounds, would you believe? And how many have you got? That? You've got more than 20 there. Well, I'm just going to cut, yeah, so two, four, five, ten, twenty. Hang on, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-three I'm counting there. Wow, wow. Twenty-three. Just over four pounds each then? Just over four pounds <laughs> each, yeah. <laughs> right you can get a tanzanite this good in rounds in ovals, in pear drops, oh, wow. for just over four pounds a gemstone. If you throw in the cost of the box as well, that's actually four pounds yeah. as Tanzanite. Yeah. I didn't catch what you said then, Ross. 99 pounds wow. on 4.9 carats. Are you serious that that actually isn't? Oh, I apologize, my oh, love. I thought you'd come okay. straight in. Can I have it in my ear before we... You... <laughs> At that price... Right, when this price comes in, each of those stones, when this price comes in, they're going to be just over one pound each. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ah, 23 in there. Just wow. over a pound. Oh, my dad. Yeah, jewellery maker, increase your order to two. Yeah, Pauline, increase your order to two. These are going under £30. What was he thinking? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a deal. Susan, Alan, jewellery maker, Dawn, jewellery maker, Lee, Leslie, Tina, Elaine, Mary, everybody's multi-buying, Alan, you've just got them, you get the box as well. Well, let's face it, with the price of the box, you are getting pretty much the Tanzanite there for £1 a stone. A pound a stone. So if you buy two of these, right, and then you ha you have you would have matching sizes. Absolutely, and for your earrings. And that means you can make a pair of earrings if you add sterling silver findings and all of that for less let's than say, four. let's say three pounds. Three pounds for a pair of ten tanzanite graded, graded as well. Tanzanite. Graded. Congratulations, Denise. You got them. Elaine got them. Hazel's got them. Oh gosh, Tina, you just got them. Hey, oh my days. There's four chances left. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. What a deal. 
Wow. What a deal, Steve Bennett. Honestly. Stevie B strikes again. Well done, Jill. Johnny got it as well. Cause sold out. Congratulations. 41 people missed out. I'm so yeah, sorry. I'm, surprised at that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But I've got Perry Doe and Garnet. Do you want to stick around for the loose gemstones? Well done. Because oh my days. Oh, right. Oh. We've got we've got cashmere sapphire. Uh, Perry Doe coming up later today for you. Cashmere. Now this is if you've ever seen a show from, from Dave or Jake on Red Dragon Peridot. Wow. It is one of the most exceptional quality, unbelievably clean. And what I mean by that is, I don't mean that it's clean, we've given it a polish, well, whilst we have given it a polish and an exceptional cut, I mean clean as in lack of inclusion. Breathtaking quality of Peridot. And again, Peridot, I always remember once, I bought a, a, a sort of, a, a, a changeable pendant from Gems, from Gemporia, from Gems TV. One was an ice white kunzite, mm -hmm. one was a garnet, yes. that's my birthstone, and one was a peridot. Yes. And it was the first time I'd bought a piece of jewellery that had a peridot. And I stood in my hall it, 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 at home, uh, there was no daylight, stood in the hall, and I put the, changed each of the pendants, one was the kunzite, one was, yeah. the, was the garnet, and I thought, yeah, nice, yeah, lovely. And the second I put the peridot in, Mm. You know when you almost do like a double head turn in a, in a tango? You know like <laughs> yeah. when they're doing a tango on Strictly? Yeah, yeah. And they do that quick flick of the head yeah. back and forth with the neck really quickly. That's what happens with Peridot. Wow. Are you doing it again, um, Ross? Is it just, is it a pound a stone? Oh. One pound a stone for Peridot, one pound a stone for graded tanzanite. I feel like I've gone into a oh. weird... No way, you are wow. <laughs> Right. Those of you in baskets, if you fancy Carol and Malcolm and Mary and Eileen and Jewelry Maker and Alan and Suja and Pauline and Jewelry Maker, would you like... <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm actually going to say this out loud. I'm even opening it because I can't leave them. Um, my lovelies, we're about to do Red Dragon Peridot. That stone there. Has anybody got a 50 pence piece down the back of the sofa? 50 pence piece under the car seat. 50 pence piece in a little change jar, in a drawer. In your, I tell you where it will be in my car, in the centre console, in oh, the yeah. car parking bag. <laughs> for the to, trolleys and for I'd the- I'd have to raid my son's piggy bank. <laughs> raid your, yeah. 50 pence for all 12 wow. natural, guaranteed Red Dragon Peridot. If you want the brightest Peridot, the cleanest Peridot, wow. and then you want to basically steal the Peridot <laughs> <laughs> with our, uh, sorry. And let me just, it's not just that one that I'll pick up. Every single one of those, absolutely immaculate. Oh my goodness me, well done. I love the way you say that, Ross. Oh my days. Do you know what? I'm going to, right. In, if you got... I'm going to do this the opposite way around now. Well done, everybody. I'm sorry to those people that have missed out. Please don't look at me. I don't like it. Right. Have you got five quid? Okay. What do you th when you've got five pounds in your purse? Yeah. Or your pocket? Mm -hmm. Or your wallet? Mm -hmm. Do you ever think you like you're loaded? Not really. Not really, no. <laughs> no. You might buy a few little odds and what's it at yeah. the local shop. At, you know, a bit of eggs They're and milk and very bread. Very easy and... to spend five pounds these days. Yeah, on exactly. A fancy cup of coffee. Yeah, a fancy cup of coffee, yeah, yeah if you're lucky. A sushi? Yeah, piece of sushi. <laughs> You're not a fan of sushi. That's okay, neither am I. <laughs> but would you expect five pounds to buy you these beauties? Wow. Oh, look at the shape. What a beautiful shape as well. They're little hearts, aren't they? Oh. Little, wouldn't they make the loveliest garnet flower? Oh, or, or a pair of earrings. So you have a, one of the peridot on top and one of these underneath. Ooh, oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, hang on, three, six. Yeah. Hang on, is there 18? There's a pound again. One pound for a red, uh, sorry, for a tanzanite, a graded tanzanite loose gemstone today of exceptional gem quality and clarity. Then we went even sillier to 50 pence a piece for a red dragon, loose, gorgeous, clean, phenomenal gem quality peridot. And now we're going. Oh my God. <laughs> now, is that, how many, 
much is that per stone now? I'll be right. It's less than 50p. <laughs> That's less than 50p. Wow. Again, do you know what gets me as well? It's not like, I mean, Garnet's January's birthstone, Peridot's August birthstone, Tanzanite's December birthstone. It's not even that we've gone for a random gemstone that isn't somebody's birthstone. Wow. Goodness gracious, they're absolutely, they're so juicy, aren't they? They're like we've squeezed lots of berries. You know, it makes you wonder when you walk into a jeweler's and you buy a piece of jewellery with those exact stones in. Yeah. And they're asking for hundreds of pounds. Of course they are. Because they're sensible. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> because they are actually giving the gemstone the respect it deserves. Yeah, that's true, that's true. We, we, we are actually, we, do, we, are, we can be rather offensive to gemstones, can't I, we? I was going to say, does that mean that we don't respect them very much? <laughs> well, we respect them, but then we respect our customers more, <laughs> don't we? That's yeah, the way we can look at point, it. Yeah. That's the way we look at it. We know they're good, but we know you're, you're amazing. So well done, everybody. Congratulations. They've, they've nearly gone. Can I do this as well, Ross? I've got to show it again, Ross, just before I get to the earrings. I can't not. Okay. Do this a little bit later on. It's on pre-order, okay? Now, if you weren't watching first thing this morning, we had a little bit of technical issue this morning, and we apologise for that. So thank you for your patience. We are grateful. This is natural type A, classic apple green, collectible natural jadeite jade in the high goo donut, 18 mil, an absolute classic. And I tell you what, if you watch some of the main dramas at the moment on the BBC and ITV and all those kind of channels, yeah. a lot of people in those shows are wearing these donuts yes. in Gemstones. Yeah. Have you noticed? Mm, yeah. Re they, re they really are. This today, and the code is ZEM for mother, 241, it's going under £20. Wow. Under £20. You can get it now. Get it on pre-order. So last Saturday, last Saturday, we, last Saturday we had these earrings and we didn't get to play them. And, I was re and right at the end of the show, I did push me luck and I said to Ross, I literally went, I thought I'd just test it. I thought I'd just see what he'll do. And I went, oh, could we play those? He went, no, there's no time. Goodbye. <laughs> I was like, Ooh. Anyway, he said, I'll put them in the show for you again on Thursday. I was like, because they're so pretty. Oh. <laughs> I like them just like that. Yeah. Don't you? Sparkling topaz in those, we know that very posh shepherd hooks, very posh. Now you're thinking, oh, if only I've got something to go in there and fit it in really nice. <laughs> we'll wait till we see what we've got. These, these we will, I don't know whether we'll see if we can just pop one actually in there. I'll get, I'll, I'll, can I give one to you to just pop yeah, in so that I can show a bit later on? Coming up in a moment, in a little while, can I give you one of them? Yeah. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, have we? Oh, nice. Those are so lovely, aren't they? They're, they're so perfect, these pearls. Gosh. Ooh. Do you know, if you like your garnet, but you actually want... Yeah, you actually want ruby in that Indian oh. garnet. Oh, you all right, darling? Yes, I nearly, <laughs> nearly lost the pearl. <laughs> oh, stop it, Ross. Oh. Actually, don't stop it, Ross. Don't stop, Ross. Natural ruby in these monument... They're massive rubies. All faceted, all through drilled. Oh, can I put one of those as a ring? Can I put one of those as a ring, look? Oh, ring a ding ding. Oh, look at that. That's completely natural. Oh, beautiful. Isn't it? And you think about the big four gemstones, big five these days with tanzanite. We've already had tanzanite for a giveaway price. But you think about oh. sapphires and rubies and emeralds and diamonds and tanzanite. And... Right, I've got to give you an idea here. I've got to. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. He's done it again. That's a pound of stone, Ross. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Did you know that? Did you know there were fifteen on that strand and that's a pound wow. and natural ruby, but this time faceted and through drilled? Wow. Huge, natural, with free tassels as well. Well done. Back to sell out. Congratulations. In here. Oh. Oh. oh, 
out. As soon as you see that box, box yes, I have. you know you want them. I have a few of those boxes with what you came Do you? In. Yes. <laughs> Because the thing is, if you buy, if you make your pearls and you're not sorry, you put, you're not your pearls, you've got to keep them flat, haven't you? That's a jewelry, that's a, that's yeah. a Julia Roberts box, isn't it? She was on the radio yesterday with George Clooney because they've done another really? film, haven't they? All right. Yeah, you ready? 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 Oh, <laughs> you like that, aren't you? <sighs> oh. oh. <gasps> what? Oh. And how they graduated. Gosh, these are amazing. Oh, can I borrow that? Can I borrow that bust? Can I borrow uh, that yeah. bust? Can I borrow that bust? Oh my days. You get the box, you get the perfect matching magnetic clasp. Can I pop those on this bust? Do you mind? Add. Oh, I've got to give. I don't think I've ever seen pearls that size. No. Not before, in, not in person, I haven't. <laughs> oh, that has got to be one of the most wow. incredible strands we do. Let me just get this lined up. Oh my day! Oh, oh, oh God! Don't, oh, oh gosh! Don't do that, Zena. Sorry. I, I, you, oh. you ready? Wow! That's just that's just wow, isn't it? They're natural. Wow! Oh, that's exquisite. How wearable is wow. that going to be, though, with those colour tones? Oh, yeah. It's an all year round, isn't it? It is. I, I just I, I can't get over the size of those pearls. <laughs> you do realise that these, can you see, look, you've got this natural papaya, yeah. you've got these natural purples, and every colour variation of those purples, and oh my day, 799 was awesome. Oh. 799. On the bead nucleated pearls there, and I've bought that kind of price of necklace at Charlie Barron. That's worth every penny of 799 jewellery maker figures. We've just gone to 499. If you've got it in your basket, I don't know where he's going with this. He just said that was a previous closing price basket. Do you know what? That's a lovely thing to offer. That is, it's not necessary if you don't meet, mind me saying when it comes to the pearls. Absolutely not necessary, but it's a massive. It, like we said from Dave yesterday, it's nice for us to look after you because you've looked after us, you've been there for us. Yeah. And if you weren't there, there's no point in us being here. We wouldn't be here. So you're always so patient when we have a few technical issues and, you know, they happen more often than we'd have liked. So to say sorry, um, those of you that have always dreamed of owning a strand of legacy heirloom, ultimate pearls, this could be your chance. Now, Diane, my lovely girl... You've got it in your basket at 499, my darling. You can get it on a free interest, 0% interest, 12475. Diane, Collector, Sheila, Barbara, £100 saving. That's a 20% saving. I thought it was going to take like £20 off or something. <laughs> That's an unbelievable. That's £100 off. In fact, Ross. Could you write that code down for me? I know it's pointless. I know I won't get one. But my friend the other day, uh, Linda, who looks after my lovely Ivy once a week with mm. her husband, Stan, she's a lovely lady. And she said to me the other day, she said, oh, a lady was wearing like a yellowy cream pearl the other day. Could you get me any of those? Her other favourite colour is purple. If I can get that strand. Wow. These are natural as well. Can I pop them on and show you how beautiful they look on the skin? Uh, Caroline in the Channel Islands, you're within a whisker, my darling. You do also get... I will pop them on, but just to let you know, you do get the absolute matching magnetic clasp, so make sure that... See, uh, see no, I'd have to do it without that, because my friend Linda has a pacemaker. All oh, right. So if somebody wears a pacemaker, we want you to be safe. Just double-check with the um, manufacturer that that won't affect it. You get this beautiful gift box as well, uh, this beautiful gift box, which is just exceptional, and I'll just pop those pearls on, if I may. Heather, Margaret, Caroline, Diane, Sheila, Barbara... What a way to say sorry. Oh. We've only ever closed at £499. You have just saved yourselves £100. They're graduated. It's natural purple, natural papaya, and my goodness me, £99.75. Heather, well done. Jeannie, good luck. Margaret, good luck. Caroline, good luck. Diane, good luck. Barbara, good luck. Sheila, good luck. You're all over-allocated, but... 
you can have it on a 0% interest as well. If you pay Jenny Weldon, £99.75. Christine, who's going to get the last one? Ladies, there's one left, my darlings. Oh, my days, what a deal. Oh, Caroline, she said, I love these pearls. I'm not sure if I already have them, so I'll have to get my first or another. <laughs> Caroline, I'm going to say you don't. And that's me sounding really cheeky, but you'd know. Yeah, I think so. I'm not being rude. I think, I think you'd, you'd know. Would, yeah. <laughs> You'd absolutely know. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Right, we promised you an early bird special, didn't we? Get ready for this, my lovelies. Well done on the pearls. And I hope that is your second strand and you've just forgotten Caroline, but it's unlikely. Anyway, my lovelies, early bird special. <laughs>
I'd also then say, I'd argue, no, nah, it's got to be a coir because it's mm. so perfect. You get a coir, but then it's smaller because of the perfection. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, well, it's so good. It would have to be with that kind of a finish. Surely it's got to be a shell pearl, but it blatantly isn't visually a shell pearl. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And i tell you what, my lovelies, those of you buying twos and threes, wow. Anna Marie, Denise, you are getting a phenomenal deal because we're going to 79 99 Can I ask Adam, Adam Director Adam, gorgeous, you know that recording you've got going around there? How, how, how many times magnification have you taken those pearls to? 22 times. Okay, so when you think you see um, somebody making jewellery and you see a jeweller talking about grading diamonds, you've got to be able to see the inclusions, you've got to be able to see everything about it, the colour, they use an eye loop. Now, a standard jeweler's eye loop is 10 times magnification. That is standard across the world. So we've more than doubled that. We've taken those pearls and magnified them 22 times the pearl. to show you they are flawless. Flawless. Yeah. If you went to Mikimoto in Harrods, the, the, the pearl boutique, if you've ever been, it's, it's, it's just mind-blowing. And you saw those, that level of perfection of pearl in that designer finish with the sparkling gemstones of the topaz and the beautiful 95 sterling silver. I think that, I honestly believe that would be in four figures. Yeah, but I mean, even, I do. even the setting, setting as well, there's petals. So in two earrings, you've got 10 petals there and each yep. one has got, uh, I can't really see, but two or three um, oh, easily, yeah. of, the, yeah. of the stones in there. So yeah. those have got to be... Those have to be cut. Exactly. And they have to be set. Yeah. You think from there. a silversmithing point of view. Exactly. How difficult that is. The attention to detail. And I love as well, you know, you see where the, the, all of the um, petals are all wavy like a little yeah. flower would be. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Do you want the good news, Denise? Denise, who's had three, we are about to save you £90. Denise. Anna Marie, we're about to save you sixty pounds. Oh, you! Did he say forty nine ninety nine? You, you <laughs> Ross? Do you know what he said to us? He said it's going under fifty pounds. So we assume forty nine ninety yeah, nine. Oh, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh my day! Sorry yeah. then, um, Denise. Well, no, I'm not sorry. We've just saved you one hundred and fifty pounds, love. Wouldn't these? Paulie, be... hundred pounds. Anna Marie, hundred pounds. Sorry. Sweetie. Wouldn't these be perfect if you were? Uh, if you had bridesmaids at your wedding and you wanted to give them a gift as well. Like they would, yeah. The wedding, and then yeah. You, you could, they could keep it after, wouldn't it? Be oh, my days. That is absolute perfection. How many do we have, sweetheart? Oh, that's good. That's, good. that's really good news, actually. Oh, brilliant. Despite the fact that everybody's multi-buying at that ridiculous £29.99, we did have over 100. That's brilliant news. Oh, they're absolutely divine. So to set them then... Um, Monica, is it just a little daub of glue in the in the hole of it, on the peg? Is it? It is just a little tiny tiny bit of glue at the end of the peg. So E six thousand, E six thousand, hypo cement, any of the any of your jewellery glues. Oh, they are yeah. gorgeous, aren't they? Don't put too much because you don't want it to ooze out everywhere. No, it's just a tiny little spot at the end. And you know what? We've given you a lovely. That that's the thing that I want to highlight though. That twenty two times close up, the shine, wow. the luster, the perfect. I don't think I've ever seen a pearl that perfect. <laughs> Actually, genuinely, I don't think I have. And I wouldn't mind as well. Now, we keep giving you a lovely close-up. But actually, if we just show it from here, if that's okay, Ad, as well, you don't really need that. Because as, if, you, if you watch the sort of television usually and you see where I am without the close-up, you'll see what yeah. I mean. You don't need it. Yeah. It's so, they're such big pearls, aren't they? But, but if we... Nine if million, we look come out on. there. If we'd come on the show today and you said just that one pearl on yeah. its own without the setting and without the other pearl for twenty nine ninety nine, that would have been a good price. Exactly. Yeah. But the fact that you're getting two and then you're getting the setting as well, they're absolutely divine. Well done. I love that you're all multi-buying. Is it one for you and one for a family or friend member? Well, for that's Christmas? the other thing I was thinking. If, if it was for Christmas, if you have three sisters or, or yeah. something like that and you want them all to have the matching. I mean, yeah. this is something that they were all like. Absolutely. Um, or it might be our jewellery makers thinking, do you know what, I'll make the earrings, but I'll buy a second lot because I want to make a pendant as well. Yes. But, you know, to, so that yes. they match. They're absolutely well done. Well done. 
Just a bit worried though, we're, we're conscious of the time, we don't want to short change our lovely Monica, but we've got Karen, Jewelry Maker, Jewelry Maker, Jewelry Maker trying to get four. Carola, good, hello darling, I know you had a field day yesterday, didn't you? Uh, jewelry Maker, Jewelry Maker, and there's so many Jewelry Makers, Nicolette, Barbara, Pauline's just got two, Eileen's just got two, Christine's just got two, Jewelry Maker and me's just got two, Jewelry Maker in London's just got two, uh, Jewelry Maker, Joy's just got two, good luck. I'll have that code as well written down on my shopping list today, please. Now that I've opened it up, please, Ross, and paid me post the packaging, I may as well. Um, right then, would you like some good fortune? Would you like some four-leaf clover designs in kits? Well, who wouldn't, Bree? Exactly, so. Yeah. The break, then. <laughs> know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one P&P charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. 
You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. First hour. It was. It was. I was so engrossed in all the pearls. I forgot I had to do. She did. Right. Honestly, <laughs> right. She just said to me, she said, she's because she's normally so organised and set up, and I was thinking, well, you are demoing, and then she went, I was so preoccupied with all the pearls, and everything. I forgot I had to do a demo. <laughs> but you know what? Isn't that lovely? That's when you. Ah, oh, Jimmy's back. Uh, Hello, Jimmy. Hello. Hello. We missed you. Yes, oh, you have a nice holiday. Oh, lovely. Oh, good. Oh, we're glad you're back. Yeah, hot. You are hot, thank you. Um, <laughs> right then, my lovely. Sorry, Jimmy's back and we haven't seen Jimmy. He's been on holiday and it's so nice to see his lovely little face. Yeah. Right then. Your kits, darling. Oh, I had fun with the kits. You did have ki fun with your kits. I did. Oh, look. Because obviously I do a lot of seed beading, so I, which is very involved and, and takes a lot of time. So it's really nice to sometimes have kits that are, um, relatively speaking, obviously, really quick makes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the lovely thing about that is, I mean, these, these are brand new, these yeah. four-leaf clover designs. We've never, ever, ever had them on air before. Aren't they glorious? And it's, um, I've forgotten the name now of the gemstone. Oh, that's... Goldstone. Uh, goldstone. Blue, that's blue goldstone. Blue, that's goldstone. Goldstone, yeah. That's it. Isn't that lovely? And it's the smiliest, happiest jewellery. Look at him. <laughs> She's going, hello. Wear me and I'll make you smile. Doesn't it? Absolutely lovely. I have to admit, I made this one with, uh, with myself in mind. Did you, <laughs> I did. Mm, did you now? Yeah. With yeah. yourself in mind. Go nice with your outfit today, actually, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. And, and anyway, I love tiger's eye and I love goldstone as well. So. I've got, I mean, that goldstone there. Perfect. So you've got the, the tiger's eye in the blue, but then the goldstone, which gives you that wonderful... Wonderful uh, effect. Just, just try, we're trying to see where. Um, yeah. Oh, I do apologise. Oh, okay. Sorry, my darling. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just thinking. <laughs> just trying. There's that many kits. Poor, poor Dan behind there is like. Oh, God, it's going to take me a while to get these kits out. But now, if you go look at that, though, that's the midnight sky, isn't it? That is the midnight sky. Now, if you nip across to our website, jewellerymaker.com, click on Watch Live. Mm -hmm. Now, if you then go down a little bit, you know, those pearl earrings that were $29.99, they're still available. That pearl necklace, oh, no, it's sold out, Ross. If you just put that... Oh, I'll tell you what, you're in big fat trouble, you are. Um, sorry, um, that, the, the room, on the pre-order there, look, if you go across on the right-hand side and click on that, look. Now, the high goo donut that's in position number one there, the type A... Apple green jadeite high goo donut, which is absolutely stunning, never been on air before, and we're going to keep going at these ridiculous deals and offer you that at under £20. I would pre-order multi-buy now. Because the thing is, everybody pays the final low price, so even when you check out it, it says 500 quid, don't panic, it'll go under 20 Now, in that pre-order section, you will see all the brand new oh. four-leaf clover kits in all the different gemstones, your Amazonite, your Labradorite, you've got it in your gorgeous Amazonite, you've got the Amethyst, you've got the most incredible, oh gosh, you've got a sterling silver four-leaf clover connector as well with the pearls, you've got the blue sandstone, you've got it with the peacock pearls there as well. I mean, you've just got every variation. Oh, the moo kites. Oh, the moo kites. The oh, moo kites, unbelievable. And look at the lavender. You've got jadeite. And look at the, look at the price, $79.98. Look at the price. Wow. I mean, these are unbelievable. Absolutely. You've got turquoise. You've crazy got, lace. Oh, the crazy lace. Oh. I get, that's my favourite. Oh. So you can shop ahead. So that's a lovely thing. If you want to guarantee, because I think it's that thing, isn't it? It's like when you get the, you know, the middle aisle at Lidl and the Aldi special buys and the sale and there's, there was a sale at B&M and I went in trying to get mm. something yesterday. You've got to be quick. Yeah. You've got to be quick. But you can't pre-order with those places. No. And you? can hear. You can hear. Oh, 12 kits, shop ahead, decide which one you want. And I just think the sentiment of a four-leaf clover 
to bring that good fortune, that good luck to somebody, you know, it's important, it's lovely. Right then. Um, the pre-orders on the Jade kit, if I, if I'm, and I will bring you all the, um, if I pop that there as well, can I pop that there? Yes, of course. Thank you. We've never had these before. These were all brand new. Now, I think what you've come to expect from us here with Dave Troth and Jake and our connections, you've, you've come to, I won't say unreasonably, because we shouldn't expect it's, it, at all, but you have come to expect natural type A jade. Whether that be nephrite or jadeite. Yep. We have an expectation now. We've been spoiled. <laughs> we, all, we all feel... Oh my, I don't even, wow. Oh gosh, I'm too nervous to hold that. <laughs> excuse you, excuse you, thank you. Sorry. Oh, oh they're amazing. Oh, they're amazing. I mean, that's, that's between your apple green and on your way to your mutton fat white jade, isn't it? Oh my goodness, they're massive as well. A four leaf clover. Oh, what an adorable. Now, what we did think we'd put with this kit, just to really oh, cool. set it off. I mean, what a gift. Yep. What a lovely thing for a wedding. Oh, four-leaf clover. Yes, yes. Wouldn't that be beautiful? A rare find, a four-leaf clover, isn't it? So you're going to get the two exquisitely cut uh, four-leaf clover designs in those apple green jade to the white jade with your pearls. Should we get this on screen for you? Should we start with this? Because the pre-orders, how much of the stock has gone already? Over 20%? Oops. Mm. Wait, see the yeah, crazy late jade, crazy less jade as well. Oh my goodness me. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, right, they were lovely. So these, you get two of them, they're matched perfectly. And I don't know if I can, I'll tell you what, can I pop this on the overhead? If I stack those, um, thanks, Ad. If I just pop those, look, um, sweetheart, and put, just trying to, have I got that right? Look, there you go. Thanks, sweetheart. See, perfectly matched. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah? So you could make those into a really easy pair of earrings. Or wouldn't that be nice in the centre of, like, um, chain mail? Well. Do you want me to, uh, <laughs> where is it, where is it, where is it? Where is it? It's the middle one. The middle one? Uh, the furthest one from you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well. Yeah, well. Well. <laughs> I had the same thought. You had the same. I'm so sorry. It was hiding behind that bust yeah. over there. I do apologise, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, they look. Oh, I love the way you put one in, in the middle. In the middle, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. They are 17 carats each. So, how have you done that, lovely? Well, your head pin just goes straight through the middle. So, it's drilled as well. Is it drilled I as well? I can show you. Yeah, if you go into the Oh, this head, gets better. Is this going to fit? Uh, oh. Yeah, that would just fit. So, all you need to do is just stick your head pin through because it's drilled on the end. I did not know that. And then all position the way whatever you're putting inside. Now, this wire is a bit bent. So, we're not done on price, by the way. Uh, and then you can come out the other side. If you had a straight head oh, pin, it would be easier. but. There you go, basically. And that's a standard piece. What sort of gauge wire is that? Well, this is a 0.8 wire, so your head pin would probably be a bit um, thinner than this. Uh, so but even, easily even this will go through, and, a point and of course it wasn't through. bent, because yeah. this piece of wire is a little oh, bit bent. Is... But basically, that's how you would put it in the middle there. This is phenomenal. And you're going to get the pearls as well, and two of those yeah. through drilled, so you can, you can showcase whatever gem in there you want. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is. And what size is that gemstone you just put? This in? one is an eight mil. Eight mil. So the one on the necklace is a six right. mil. I quite like how it leaves a bit of space. Yeah. That one. Oh no, we've only got twenty left. Oh wait. Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. sweet. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> got, I thought I'd let you then. Sorry, better give them back to you in case you want to show them. Um, do you know what? Do you want the amazing news? Do you want the amazing news? We, we, he's not finished. There's a price. There's a price drop on the screen. Twenty chances left. Oh, I love that they're drilled. What a yeah. Let me show you there. If I, can, I don't know if you can get that, Jimmy, love. It's so nice to see your lovely face, sweetheart. There you go. 
So drill, just to put confirm, look all the way through. Yeah, so there's basically two ways you can use it. You can either go straight through with either beading thread or with, with wire or, or a head pin or something and then put something in the middle. Or you can have, like I have on the smiley face one, you've got the two head pins coming from the inside out. Yeah. Got you. And then you can leave the, the center of it empty. So if we just show you the two variations that Monica's done, look here, using, now this one's, obviously we've got different design, uh, different, they're the sh same shape with the four leaf clover, but she's used them very differently. So look at that one there. These are so usable. They are. Aren't they? They are, yes. Uh, 10 left. There's 10 left of this one. I can't, 49.99 was, oh my day. Oh my <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm so glad I'm really enjoying this show today. It's just bargain after bargain after bargain, isn't it? On brand new treats as well. Oh my goodness me, for the jade alone. This is actual, genuine, authentic jade. If we bought you just both of those at £20 each, good, don't forget we've got the high goo donut coming up under £20 as well. This is unbelievable. This is just extraordinary deals that we've done here today for you. Utterly, utterly amazing. Now, Angela's so knocked out with that kit and that price. She's bought three. Good yeah. for you, sweetheart. Uh, seven chances left. Now, June's on the phone. Sylvia's on the phone. Joe's online. Uh, jewelry Maker's online in anger. Sharon's online. Patricia's online. Lynn's online. Jewelry Maker Angela. There's those of you on the app as well. There is only seven opportunities remaining. These are actual, authentic. Get your authenticity certificate, please. June, well done. You've got one. Well done to our lovely call centre looking after you there as well as they always do. Five opportunities only. Joe in Hampshire, good luck, sweetheart. I know you've got it online. Credit card, mm. debit card, yeah. PayPal, if that's your preference. Are you correct? Which one do you like to? Uh, debit card, usually. Do you? Yes. I never use my debit card. Really? Ever. So what do you use then? Credit card. Oh, right. Mm. Mm. If you use them well and you use them sensibly, and as Martin Lewis says, you pay them off in full every month, they're brilliant. And they give you, oh, I get like hundreds of pounds of cash back every year. I do off mine. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're really good. Then I can treat myself to new things. <laughs> Five chance. Five chances. 39.99. See, I would get, definitely get two of these. Would you? Because they're just asking to be made into earrings, aren't they? They are. Oh, actually, yeah, they are. And then, of course, you need to make a necklace and a bracelet. I did make a bracelet somewhere. Oh, hang on. Have you got a bracelet as well? Uh, do, 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 do. I think it's under... It's yeah, I found... Oh, hello. <laughs> I just pushed us all over everywhere. They didn't... Sorry. Right. Um, I'm so sorry. There you go, sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, she made a bracelet as well? Yeah. Look. Yeah. There you go. I'm so sorry, Ross. I was too excited then. Say again. Ah, the, is, this the, is this the... With the gold stone? Well, I, uh, yeah, okay. Let's do that one. Yeah? I, I just had two beads left of that one, but my demo will work with any of the kids, to be honest. Okay, you should... Yeah. Okay, so there's there's um, three chan three chances on that one. Three chances. Oh, well done! What a great prize kit that was. Uh, 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 uh. See, I think this is one of my favourites straight away. Yeah. I look, my giant, absolute fan of Goldstone. So if you want starry effect, I mean the tiger's eyes exceptional. But I just want to show you these if I may first. So they've all got that drill through from the yes. yeah from the corner to the corner. If you, if you want real sparkle, and in the necklace it looks superb. When you get that into natural daylight and evening night, look at that. All that will do, your wonderful, wonderful, fabulous, beautiful goldstone. Now I know it says sandstone in the graphics, it's goldstone. That is unbelievable. What a phenomenal treat a goldstone is. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get one of these kits because I need a pair of earrings to go with my smiley oh, necklace. You did go with your <laughs> smiley necklace, absolutely. So you've got your blue gold stone, uh, which is man-made. And I'll tell you what, sometimes when, we, when, when man does actually get involved and they create incredible design uh, 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 stones like this, your gold stone, it's just exceptional. When that actually starts to move and you, you're wearing those, oh, they'll just blow your mind. Four-leaf clover, you're going to get two four-leaf clover. Oh, I didn't mention with a J, by the way. They're all 18 by 18 mil, so they're very generous. Yeah, they are. Aren't they? Yeah. Now, with this kit, we've popped it with the extraordinarily gorgeous, deep, royal blue yes. tiger's eye as well. Under £20, wow. wonderful. 
Can I try that necklace on? Yes, of course. Do you mind? Um, now these, you're going to get, a, you already get an amazing deal. Watch it, Monica, because she'll walk off with it. <laughs> now, I love this necklace. I love this design because it does look, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, look at that. Wait till you see how it smiles at you as, oh, yeah. I love the way you've got that right sort of on the collarbone. Yeah. Haven't you? Oh, that's lovely. The clock's in, by the way. Oh. 160 carats of blue tiger's eye in those eight mil rounds. That goes great together, doesn't it? It is, it is yeah. beautiful. I'm, I know I'm biased, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, though, um, now Monica wants to get these in earrings as well so that she can have earrings Definitely. to match, which makes absolute sense. Just to mention, we've got some hollow ones coming up in sterling silver as well in the same four-leaf clover design. We've got amethyst, we've got amazonite, we've got labradorite, we've got mookite, we've got, oh my goodness me, we've got um, my personal favourite, the crazy lace agate. Yes. Which one's your favourite? Uh, I think probably... Ooh, now looking at all of them, gosh. I think maybe the goldstone. The goldstone. Like that, yeah. This is Monica's favourite. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, oh God! God. God. You... <laughs> Nearly got myself in trouble again, didn't I? Twelve ninety nine. I'd pay that just for the four leaf clover goldstone, wouldn't you? Yeah, and I mean, I mean, if you look at that necklace for twelve ninety nine, and I've made a pair of earrings over there, and I've still got enough left here for another pair of earrings. Yeah. So she's my, uh, she, Cat's mother. Sorry, Monica. Mm, good. <laughs> Monica. Beautifully wire wrapped. I mean, the quality of that tiger eye is phenomenal. Don't it worry, is. all the kits are coming your way. Can I just double check with you, love? Um, how many of the, each of the kits? Are we talking a lot or not too many? Oh, right. So because there's so many, we've got about 50 chances of each kit, and that's it. Okay, and you saw how quickly the jade one went. Uh, well, so, so I'll tell you what we'll do. If we could see them in action, beautiful girl, if you wouldn't mind. Right, so, I mean, I already showed you how to use the clovers, basically, because you just go straight through the hole or you come out from the inside out with your head pin. Yeah. If you want to set it with nothing in the middle. So I thought I'd show you um, how you can add a little bit more to the jewellery. So, like, if you look at these oh, earrings, these. for example. I don't know, should I put them on the overhead? That's okay. Yeah. And you've got the matching necklace, which I've just popped here. So let me so just move I'm that I'm going to do you. a little bit of wire work. Oh, lovely. Because I, I saw yesterday, Mark, had the, uh, the cord endings made from the wire. So, yeah, they were um, good, those, weren't they? Sorry? They were good, those. They were, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is kind of a, an addendum. Oh, nice. <laughs> good word. So I don't do a lot of wire work, but I do like to use wire for, for just adding little accents and things to, to your jewellery because it, it's really handy That's and it's really easy to do as well. So I'm going to show you three different things that you can do with little spirals. So the first one, obviously, is really simple. First, I'm going to show you how to make a spiral. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to grab the end of your wire. Now, this is 0.8 wire I've got here. You could use 0.6 wire as well. That would work fine. Uh, so you're just going to grab the very end of your wire, as close to the end as you can get, and in, in their round nose pliers. In the very end of your round nose pliers, yes. Okay. And then you're going to start turning it around. Now, a little tip here. I'm just going to carry on with that, and then I'll come back and show you uh, this little tip. Because now, the way you're going to carry on with the spirals, now you're going to take your flat nose spi uh, pliers, and you're going to grab that little loop that you've made um, in such a way, if I turn it that way, that you've got your the sort of the... The bit where the two bits of wire join mm -hmm. is sticking out of your pliers. Okay. okay. Because then you're going to start turning. Actually, probably on that camera is better to see. So you're going to start turning. So hold it really tight. And you're going to start turning your wire. And then you turn your little loop in your pliers. And you're just moving the wire, essentially. Can you see that? Which one? That one might be better on the overhead. Okay. So you just... Push your wire over, so you're not turning your pliers, you turn your pliers when they're open and you grab onto your wire and then you're just bending your wire. Now, oh. a little tip that I yeah. want to show you, can you see over here where the, where the end of the wire meets the loop, mm. right? So you've got a little sort of a bump in your, in your spiral, oh, it's, not a, see, yeah. it's not a perfect round and I'm a bit of a perfectionist so that usually bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> so I came up with a, with a plan how to okay. avoid that happening. So I'm going to just cut this off so I can show you another one. So I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to grab the end of my wire in my pliers as yeah. I did before. Okay, as close as you can get to the end. I'm going to start turning. 
Now, if you imagine this little loop that you've made here, yeah. the very end of that loop, you can actually see there, the end of the loop doesn't have a bend in it. It's straight. It doesn't matter how close you hold to the end of the wire. At the end of the loop, it's always going to be a little straight piece because that's the bit that you're holding on to when you start turning your loop. Right. Okay. So it's that little straight bit that causes that little bump in your, ah, okay. over there, in your, in your spiral. That that's makes the it, troublesome little bit. It is, yes. So the way to fix that is you're going to take your your wire cutters and you're going to cut off that end bit and you're not going to cut it off straight because I could cut it off straight like that that would already make it a bit better but to make it even better you're going to hold your pliers kind of at an angle so you're going to cut the this little section here you're going to cut it off mm. at an angle going sort of that way because if you imagine if I cut it off that way I don't know if you were able to see it so so the end of my wire is now kind of at an angle like that so when I grab it and I carry on turning You'll see in a second when I've turned another loop. Right, so now you see it kind of snuggles ah, in yeah. next to the other wire so better. It's better, doesn't it? Exactly, because it's not a straight cut like that. It's at an angle like that, parallel right. to where your wire is going to sit. So let me just flip it over again. So when you carry on, oh, it's not facing the, the camera, come on. Mm. <laughs> So you grab your loop again, and then you're going to start turning your spiral. You see, you get a much neater spiral. Can you see when you do that? So you don't get that little oh, nice. bump. Doesn't that look better? Um, Just doing that little, that little, yeah. that little movement, that little maneuver. The little so cut, speak. cutting yeah. off the straight end, and then you just carry on however big you want to make your spiral. So I'm bending the wire. I'm holding onto the spiral, and then I'm moving the wire rather than moving the pliers, okay? Mm -hmm. So once you've made one of these little spirals, there's a few things you can do with it. So the first one I did was you can just cut that off. Yep. Okay, and you can turn it into a, uh, a bead cap, basically. Oh, okay. So all, that, all you do is you take your round nose pliers, you put it into the middle, yeah. and then you kind of use your fingers to shape it a little. You're going to push the middle of it out. Ah. So you shape it a little bit, just like that. Can you oh, see? that's a good idea. Okay, and then you've got a little bead cap. So when you thread on your gemstone, if I can find a hole in my gemstone, right? And then you thread on a little bead cap. It just makes a little accent for your oh. gemstone. Okay. But that's a great way to use up little scraps of wire it as is, well, isn't it? You only need a little tiny piece, yeah. yeah. Okay. Lovely. And then the other thing I want to show you is... Um, These is the cage, yeah. Right. So again, you're going to do the same thing again. So you're going to start off your little spiral. Actually, no, that's wrong. Before you do that, so let me just cut that off so it's straight. What you're going to do is you're going to cut a piece of your wire, so straighten it out a bit. So for a cage for this size pearl, you, uh, oh, be, because, the, because the earrings, in the earrings I've got a pearl, so that's a smaller piece. So I use my seed bead tube as my measurement there, for my just length. So that you can see what yeah. we're talking about there, look. Sorry, Monica, I'm just, just in case so everybody can't see. The pearl, much. which is approximately a six millimeter, yeah. for that, I used a piece of wire the same length as my seed bead tube. Oh, okay. Um, for the tiger's eye, which is an eight mil, I would use a little bit of a longer piece. Okay. So probably a little bit longer than your seed bead tube. I don't That's know. That's a good way to measure, though, as well, isn't it? It's, oh, yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> it is for you because you've always seen it. How else am I going to measure that? <laughs> yeah. So it's maybe, uh, I don't know, 15 centimeters long. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you want to make a pair of earrings, you want to make two of them, you're going to need to cut two pieces of wire that are the same length because that's what's going to make the same size cage. And can I ask, did you say this is 0.8 mil? This is 0.8 mil right. wire, okay. yes. Okay, so you're going to use your nice little straight piece of wire. Then you're going to start making your spiral at one end. Okay, I'm not going to bother to cut off the end bit now because just for, the, for time. But I would, again, cut the end bit yeah. off. Make it nice just and round. Like we did earlier, yes. And then you're going to start turning your spiral. Okay. So you're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Right. Okay. Then you're going to take the other end. Now, actually, you've got two options when you're making this um, a cage like this. I'm going to do the other end a little bit differently just so I can show you both variations. You would do them both the same for your cage. Okay. So now you're going to take, you're going to make another spiral on the other end, mm. but this, uh, this time you're going to spiral it in the opposite direction. So this one comes down this way, this one you want it to go oh, the, the other way. Okay. Okay. 
you can have them both facing the same way. I think I've seen Mark do it where they both face the same way. So you can have it either way. I do it this way. So, And then the variation I was talking about is if you want your cage to be a little bit more open and spread out, then you don't make a tight spiral. Then you want to sort of just bring your wire around and leave a little bit of a space in your spiral, if you know what you mean. So like that. So leave a bit of a gap. Okay. Okay. So you're going to keep going with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the other side, I've done a tight spiral. So as I said before, you're going to do the same on both ends. I'm just going to open this one out a little bit as well now. Just okay. see, so they look a bit similar, but you can do it either way. It just depends on how open you want your spiral cage to be. So I'm going to leave this one a little bit open as well. And you're going to keep working on both sides. So you'll be able to tell you both your spirals need to be the same size when you get into the middle. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing it quite roughly here. You take your time with it a little bit to make it a bit neater. So keep going until you come into the middle and you have two spirals that are the same size. Okay? Mm -hmm. You want them to be almost touching in the center. Okay? Right? Then what, what you're going to do is you're going to push the center out again like I did with the little bead cap. Yeah. Okay? So you can put your round nose pliers in the middle and just shape it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And the other one. Now you want them both to go the same way. So you want them both, the middle of both of them to go out that way, for example. Okay. Or the other way, it doesn't matter as long as they both go the same way. So kind of like that. Okay? And right. then you're going to take the whole thing and you're going to fold it in half. Oh. Just like that, okay? So that makes your little cage, okay? Now you want to put your pearl in there or your bead or whatever it is. Okay, now this cage is a little bit too big. I could put a bigger gemstone in here, but you don't have to. You can leave a smaller one in there as well. That works fine as well. And then you're just going to use your nails yeah. to just jiggle it around a little bit until it kind of looks I the way that, that you design. want it to look. So you can loosen it out a little bit more. You can make it a bit tighter. So you can just play around with it a little bit until you have kind of a nice little cage like that. And then with that, there's a few things you can do with that then. You can either take the top loop here at the top and pull it out. I can actually do that. In that, that case, you would probably do that before you fold it in half so mm -hmm. that you don't squash it again. Um, it's quite a effect though, isn't it? Uh, and you can use your pliers for that as well. Yeah, I would have done that before I closed it up. So just take the top spiral and then turn it out. So that gives you a loop on top. But the way I did it is I just took a head pin uh, and put it into your cage yeah. and then into your gemstone. You need to find the hole in your gemstone. Okay. That's when a pair of them t sort of lit up, brilliant magnifying glasses work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> They're yeah. really handy. And then you come out the other side of your cage and then you just, you can turn a loop at the bottom, you can turn a loop at the top, or if you have a, um, a head pin at the bottom, then if your head pin is big enough, then it won't go into the center of your spiral, then it'll hold it like that. Otherwise you can just put a smaller bead underneath and then that will hold the cage in brilliant. position so you can see on the earrings kind of how that works like that. That's really lovely effect. It's so nice to see you do wire work as well. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. You're She's probably wondering where her jewellery is. Hi. Oh. <laughs> this is coming up. Um, you say amethyst. This looks like... Now, what is it? Oh, yeah, I've got the earrings in as well. Mm -hmm. um, what's the yeah. one when it's the... Thank you. Aura Light 23, isn't it? Is it Aura Light 23? Well, it's listed as phantom, but look... Oh, really? You only get the, you know, you only get the different colours of Aura Light. Or it is all like 23, isn't it? 23, isn't it? Yeah. Now look at this. Because look at the colours that you've got in here. Wow. And the effects in these. I'll tell you what, that is spectacular. If you're actually getting all like 23 variation or phantom as being brought to you as a, an amethyst, you're basically getting all that fabulous effect without having to pay for it. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the effects in there. Look at the golds, look at the reds. Oh. oh, just a minute, bearing in mind as well, um, that is as well, sorry, I didn't show you, Ross, just one second, my love. You're also getting in each of the kits, well, these ones with the gemstones, you're getting the two brand new designs of your four-leaf clover as well for under £20. 
Okay, well done, everybody. Right, so that's your amethyst. Oh, this is my fave. Oh, this in the moo kite. Right? Yes, yes. Do you know what? Oh, it's hard to choose that. It is. I kind of want all of them. <laughs> yeah, it is. I just love the colours of these. I think this is very, it always makes me think of the bees. It really does. The, and the moo kite one that could come up in a moment. Look at that. Oh, oh if you got that grey picture Jasper yes, in the 8 o'clock hour. Yeah, picture Jasper, yeah. yeah. That would, oh, see, look at that. And every single one of these oh, will be beautiful. absolutely spellbindingly different. But look at the greys in there. Look at the yellows. Oh, it's a daisy. Sorry about that one. Uh, we've only got 24 chances left on this one. You've been, really loved this one. Everything has been on pre-order, including the Amazonite and the Moo Kite and the Pearls and the Labradorite coming up as well. And all the lovely Sterling Silver Hollow uh, variations of the four-leaf clover design. Uh, Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 14 14 99. 99. Oh, Ross. Okay. You little devil. <laughs> yeah. Completely natural. So if you didn't see earlier on, um, I, I know some of the great um, picture Jasper did sell out the smaller sizes, the 6 mil and the 8 mil, I think, but there was 10 and 12 mil and 14 mil, all under 10 quid, if I remember correctly. It was bizarre. <laughs> They're all natural. So if you go back to jewellerymaker.com, click on Watch Live and scroll right down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see... Just a couple of lines up. The, the, the natural grey agate go lovely with that. Absolutely lovely. Now, the reason these are selling out so quickly is they've been on pre-order. And you've been grabbing them, which is what we want you to do. So you don't miss out. Lovely thing about the Mukai, and I'll show you the four-leaf clover, brand new designs today. They could, they could come in any one of these colours, couldn't they? Yep. Any one of those colours, the creams, the whites, the... The plums, the greens, the olives, the reds, the conquer reds, the, the, the different mustards, the Dijons, the English mustards. And then just to show you the example of what we've got here. Oh, just to mention, sorry, uh, I didn't mention it. Six mil rounds they are. And look at this. Look at that. You know, that's my favourite colour of Mukite, that pinkish. Well, it's because it's got hints of purple in there, hasn't probably, it? Probably, probably, yeah. yes. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous, though? I tell you what I haven't sort of mentioned is the depth of those four-leaf clover yeah. designs. They're very, very generous, aren't they? That's a 15-carat stone. And with, with, the, with these stones that come in so many different colours, those clovers would look very different if you put a white one in the middle or if you put a red one or a mustard one. They would, oh, they would look very point. different yeah. depending on what you put in the middle. Wouldn't it just? They are drilled, in case you're just wondering as well, if I just turn down, see if I can show you the drill. There you go. They're drilled from one edge to the next, so you can put something in the centre if you so wish, as, as uh, Monica's done. Yeah, there you go. Um, ah, Daly, you've just got them well done. People multi-buy. Oh, he's giving you an extra sale. You are a good person. He's a good person. Oh, my gosh. Do I want oh, my <laughs> days. 12 99 That gives you the full strand. And it's the full 38 centimetre strand yeah. of, the, of the natural moo kites. Your natural four-leaf clover moo kites as well for 12 99 Brilliantly priced kits. Well done, kit team. Well done, kit team. Amazing deal on these. Still got your Amazonite to come. Still got your Labradorite to come. And then we're going into the Sterling Silver Hollow designs as well. And if you're wondering what we're talking about there, where is it, Monica? Which one? The connectors. Did you get those? Yes, it's in the middle of the top of the necklace. Ah, yeah. I'll bring this one over. So we'll do Amazonite next. I'm going to bring you this just to give you a little sneaky peek because right in the top there is what's coming up. Right at the top there. Those are coming up in a moment. These are the Sterling Silver Hollow variety. They're coming up in a moment. Absolutely stunning. Okay, right. The Amazonite, always popular. Always because of the brightness, the strand I'm going to start with actually because of the strand hydrangea. Hydrangea, is that how you spell hydrangea? Okay. I never know how you spell hydrangea. You'd have a G at the end. I would have thought there was a G at the end, but we don't care. Do we? I would say. It's fine. I like a hydrangea, do you? We have to ask Mark. Oh yeah, Mark. <laughs> well, it's Mark's favourite gemstone as well. Oh, now then, I'm just thinking, coming up a little bit later on. Oh my God, mm -hmm. yes. If you get our exceptional liquid oh, light of selenite, that with your beautiful markings within the Amazonite. That just oh. looks dreamy, Similar doesn't it? Similar effect, isn't it? Mm. Both of them. Very tranquil indeed. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. I know. Now, you don't get the selenite, but the selenite is coming up a little bit later on. The 8 mil and the 6 mil, we don't have very many. But also, I'm going to give you a heads up because our lovely managing director, the lovely um, Scott, is joining us soon. 
He's bringing us the most incredible cube strands of different gemstones in the next five minutes time. And I'm just thinking that would go so beautifully. And those cubes would go inside those, wouldn't they? Yes. Easily. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Different texture. Wouldn't, that would look great, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Now, also, if you want to add in, those kits get you two of the four leaf clover designs nearly. <laughs> if you want to add in, let's say, some of the sterling silver, four leaf clover hollow designs oh. that we've got coming up. How lovely would that be with the Amazonite? Oh, lovely. Wouldn't it? So you can have that as well. Right, would you like the Labradorite, my lovelies? Angela likes that kit. She's had five. Mm. Good for you, sweetheart. Now, this is the last full gemstone one before we go on to the, um, the hollow sterling silver. The Amazonite's nearly sold out, by the way. I love that, Ross just said, let's give you an extra special deal. You've done that on every kit, love. <laughs> Oh, oh, is it? Gosh. Oh, oh, wow. Under £10. Wow. <laughs> Actually, under £10 for your Labradorite. I mean, for £10, if you just put one head pin in, one of, in the clovers and you turn them into just a pair of earrings with nothing else, yeah. you could probably sell that for £20 and you'd have the strand left over. You'd have the whole strand left over. That is absolutely beautiful. You, just, you do get two of these. I can only pick one, or two, one up at a time. But you see, I mean, each one of those Labradorites, what sort of carrot weight are those Labradorites, Ross? 12 carats each. Oh. Goodness gracious, for £10, it's one of the, our best-selling gemstones ever. We've got some lovely kits. i tell you yes. what would be nice. We've got a kit coming oh, up with yeah. these pearls, look. Look, oh. how about adding that kit in as well? Oh. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Everybody's messaging in saying, is there any chance you could please put the lavender pearls on? We can put whatever you want on next, if you want to. Yeah. This one's nearly sold out, my darlings, obviously, <laughs> at that deal. But, you know, well done, well done. So that's pretty much gone. Well done on that one. So it's the lavender pearls you're all asking for. The lavender. And where's that necklace? We did have a necklace with that, didn't we? Oh, not the lavender. Oh, one, right, the okay. One, Sorry. Which is oh, the silver one, which is... She noticed that, which is around your neck. Oh, well, yeah, I did grab it. I should have asked, really, shouldn't I? I should have asked. I do apologise. I just popped it straight on. Couldn't help myself. Your jewelry's too lovely. It's your own fault. So then... Ooh! Now, that may be lavender freshwater cultured pearls, 67 mil, but in their look, in the 925 sterling silver hollow four-leaf clover connector... What's a connector? It's a, well, it is a connector because it's got a loop on one side or it could be just a pendant because there's only one loop and you oh, can connect them. Do you see it? Look, if I'll show you there, look, take me tweezers out of the way. Some of them are sort of pendants and some of them are... Well, that's, that's got one loop on, look. Oh, that one. But you can attach to all, all four of them. Exactly. So that could be a pendant with one loop or a connector. The choice is yours. Yeah. Or earrings, obviously. Oh. So 19 gets you authentic, genuine... Orchid lavender. Wow. You, get, you, can, you think about the colour inside the orchid petal, can't you, with those? Beautiful. With the sterling silver brand new hollow earring pendant connector, the choice is yours with your amethyst that has been set. Well done, everybody. I love that you're all loving these kits. See, for that one, you could, you could just take a pearl, put it on an eye pin, take three of those and dangle it from the bottom in the three yeah. loops. Yeah, well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like a, yeah. Three pearls underneath. That would look lovely. Now, those of you who get hold of this, the, the prices are amazing. Can I just show you something that I think you're going to want to get with it, if I may? If I may be so bold. Ooh. Peacock. Peacock pearls. They're going to look ace. And then with the peacock, we've only gone for a gentle... Now, this has got a loop each either side, so that is a traditional connector look with a loop each side. That's a lovely, delicate, gentle blue lace agate. Oh, Isn't that pretty? Hyacinth. I'm going to take those lavenders away because I don't want anybody getting confused. We don't want that, do we? No, let's put that there. So if I just pop that, there you go. They're really good colours on that iridescence, aren't they? They are. Aren't they bonny? And I like the size as well. It's a really... Yeah. They're three to four mil, really cute. We're going under £20 again. And again, if you get all of these different ones with the, um, with the different four-leaf clover, with, whether it's the hollow gemstone, uh, not hollow, but, you know, cut out four-leaf clover design. Oh, they're so good. 
or you get the um, sterling silver ones with the gemstone set in. I think every single one is going to look lovely, isn't it? Oh, they are. They're, they're... Yeah. They're... Now, everybody seems to be drawing attention to the fact that I am wearing one of Monica's <laughs> kits. Yeah, but I'm glad that you wear it because actually they look nice on the bus, but I think they really come alive when you actually put them on. Well, that's, I did it for selfless reasons. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Zena. Is it that one? The other one. Sorry, I'm not push, pushing that to go in front no, of your face. That's because no, it was in fine. the camera shot, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Charlie. This is hide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, look. No, don't look. Right, so this one, we've got the silver pearls, the silver 67 mil pearls, and then you've got the Labradorite four-leaf clover, and we've just had that beautiful cage design yeah. that Monica's just taught you as well. And then you've also got well. the little bead caps in there as and well. The little bead caps that Monica's just taught you how to make. Yeah. The, um... The Labradorite is in the centre, it's half a carat. Um, the earrings did fall in as well, but you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it all, won't you? So you get the Labradorite connector, you get the pearls, the silver pearls, and it is a traditional connector because it's got a loop either side. With your Labradorite goes lovely with those silver pearls. And again, I've got to say, the quality of these pearls is absolutely mind-blowing. It is, it is. I mean, if you look at that set that you're wearing. The necklace and the earrings, you would never imagine no. that was 14 99 no. And bear in mind... For a full set. Yeah, full suite. You've got the lovely caged pearl earrings. There's only one pearl in there. Look, it looks absolutely beautiful. Look, with the silver. Gorgeous. Just had that demo as well. And you've got the whole strand of the silver 67 mil pearls and the brand new 925 sterling silver Labradorite hollow four-leaf clover design as well. 14 99 uh, Right, and the final ones... Go on, love. Which one? Wow. Oh. Ooh. I didn't get the turquoise kit. <laughs> this is this is wow. turquoise. You didn't get sent this one, did you? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a strand of Peruvian. Wow. Almost Larimar colour turquoise, yes. isn't it? Peruvian, not your usual location of Arizona, but this is Peruvian. It's so delicate, isn't it, in the four mil. And wait till you see the, um, they're faceted as well. Faceted rounds in four mil. And then we've got the brand new. Now, I think everybody's going to be buying the kits for this. Wow. The strand's great, but that there, perfect size for earrings. Gosh, yes. Perfect size for in the centre of a, of a slider bracelet in sterling silver. Perfect for earrings, perfect for charms, perfect for everything you could oh. possibly... Perfect for rings. The strand's beautiful, but that is worth every penny of the entire kit wow. of 19.99. Gosh. That's amazing. Oh, that, oh. The, the strand's a bonus. Oh, there's only nine chances left. Liz... Oh. Yeah, very, very popular on pre-order. And there's people multi-buying, aren't there? You know who you are. OK, that is about to sell out. Nancy, Christine, Pauline, Drew, Mac, Denise, Penny, uh, Drew, Mac, and Cheshire, you've just got them. Helen, you've just got them. There's only seven chances left. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And our final offering in a moment is the Amazonite. OK, now this is the kit that we're talking about with yeah. the connector at the top. Really lovely design, that. Wasn't supposed to tie in the middle, was it? No, no. but I like it tied in the middle as well. I mean, I just you can wear it like keep... that. Well, we did need to keep it on the bus, didn't we? Yeah. So it just hangs <laughs> down. It's open as well. Yeah. Originally, I made it to wear like that, yeah. if it will stay on the bus. But the bust is just, yeah. oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Is that the way? That's but you can also tie it. Lovely. Lovely. So we go, oh, the Amazonites. See, now that little... That little connector for it's so subtle, isn't it? It is, yes, but it's really it's beautiful. It's so though, pretty. It? Love, love, love. Very can Van Cleef and Arpel, isn't it? You're absolutely right, Ross. Now, here we have, but without the ta price tag, here we have the connector in the fa oh, the, t the sparkle that we've got a a off the faceted Amazonite. It's cracking. But then we've given you a beautifully domed cabochon Amazonite in the stunning yeah. silver clover, haven't we? Under £20, have you seen the good news? The clock's on the screen. The clock is up. Look how dazzly they are. Goodness me. Oh, there we go. An enemy. Du, 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 du. 
That's the one thing. We had a beautiful um, collection on at Hobby Maker the other day, and one of the designs was actually an, an enemy. That's the only way we could say it. Because <laughs> it's not the easiest flower, is it? So you fabulous, fabulous quality Amazonite, your gorgeous brand new sterling silver four leaf clover. We're already over allocated on this one. Good luck. JAXC53, straight in with your buy price of a measly, wow. marvellous £12.99. Yeah. How long did that beautiful necklace take you to make? This one probably take, took the longest, probably a couple of hours. It's beautiful. Isn't it's it? just one long length. Obviously. Have you done it? It's just rosary linking. Okay. Uh, and then one straight long length. I mean, it just wraps around at the back. Um, and as you said earlier, you can tie it up in the front yeah. as well. And there's also a pair of earrings. So yes, you, I did have the earrings. That's no, what's great. I'm not wearing the, the earrings. There they are. The darling. rosary linking because it goes such a long way. Don't need to, don't need to use many gemstones, do you? Really? Yeah. That's what six in each. Five, five in each. Five. Sorry, darling. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't count. And I've got the little spiral at the bottom again. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I do like those. I might have to borrow those in a minute as well. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't they make lovely, um, you know, your necklace, wouldn't that make a lovely glasses chain as well? It would, Wouldn't yes. it? Yeah, yes. all right. Absolutely well done. Stunning deal. Stunning, stunning deal. Thank you so much. Um, now, after the break, my lovelies, we've got a lovely treat for you. Thank you for your lovely jewellery. Oh, my pleasure. And your demo. It was good fun making it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after the break, we're being joined by somebody very, very, very important. Very important. We've got the managing director, Scott. Scott Alicious, we call him. Well, I do in my <laughs> dreams. Uh, bringing you some amazing cubed genuine gemstones that he bought. Yes, yeah, Scott Alicious. Uh, that he bought while he was out in India with um, our gem buyer, Wayne. And I've got to be honest, he's so chuffed with himself on the quality and the deals he's managed oh. to do. He's decided to come and front the hour himself. He is. Mm. Show off Scott, we call him. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. 
Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone. Who Hi. are you? Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Hello, my name's Scott Stone, Manager Director of Gemporia Craft. Ooh. Ooh. So who are you in charge of then? Um, in charge, I'm not in charge of anybody. You are. You're in charge of me. Um, jewelry maker, sewing street and hobby maker. That's a lot, isn't it? That's quite a lot, it's fun. Keeps it, so keeps it fluid, he keeps get, it going. He gets to manage a slot. I know. It's not an enviable job, is it? Anyone you've seen. <laughs> Yeah, just turn your phone off. It's <laughs> yeah, fine. They manage yeah. themselves. Just ignore them all. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, nice to be here. Right, so why are you here? Why, why have you decided to grace us with your gorgeous presence on screen? Um, so, myself and Wayne went to India, uh, where we purchased quite a lot of our gemstones, where we've got our um, sorting house and all sorts of other things as well. Is that in so, Jaipur? In Jaipur. In Jaipur in India. When did you go? When did you go? Uh, in, good questions, in May. Went in May. Oh. Okay. So it's been a while, a while ago, but these things take time to come. Um, and Four months. Yes, and okay. it's the first time I've actually been, and the first time Wayne had been as well, and the first time that we had been as jewellery maker since COVID. Isn't it amazing um, out there, though? Incredible. Love, when you, love when you see our there. team colour sorting, yeah. colour matching, and honestly, they'll have, like, gemstones in front of them, and they look the same to you and I, don't they? Yeah. And they've got, they're all 20-20 vision. There's no glasses, no nothing. And they've got these tweezers, and they get, like, a pile of these gemstones, oh, and yeah, they go, yeah. doo, 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 doo. Yeah. you're thinking... And they oh, can incredible. see a colour difference. Oh, it's unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Oh, man. And the, the main aim of going was that we haven't had a chance to go out. We haven't had a chance to see what the team out there have been able to source. So we went out there Jolly. to see some of it. And honestly, some of the things, incredible. Yeah. Because three it's hard years to choose, though, isn't effort. it? Oh, oh, yeah. So me and Wayne have bought up to probably next March. Oh, so okay. So we've, we've, we've lined up things that are coming along the way. And... I got a little bit obsessed, I use the word obsessed, with different shapes. Did um, you? So, I think, sorry, we sell quite a few rondelles. Rondelles are amazing. We love rondelles rondelle. are perfect it's in jewellery making. We it's know it's your favourite. It's a classic in jewellery making. Rounds and rondelles. Yes. Classic. So, and also, we ask for more rounds because we don't feel like we've got enough rounds. But, with loads of rondelles. However, any time that anyone bought a different shape out, Wayne joked at the end of the four days that I would just say yes. Oh, so it was like me you. just going, yeah, 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 we'll do that, we'll do that. <laughs> so much so that Wayne called my bluff and said, you're going to have to go on air. You're, you're going to need to go on air and talk about why, you've, why you like cubes, why you like okay, other so shapes. Here's a question, before we get to, the, to, to this particular shape. As a, as a gentleman, mm -hmm. when you're sat there, I don't, what are you all laughing at, Jimmy? I'm a gentleman. How dare you? As a gentleman. <laughs> it's laughable, but as a, gen, as a bloke then. Yeah. You know, right. as, as, a geezer, as, a, as a geezer. As a geezer. Right. I wouldn't call myself a geezer. A geezer but, but when you're sat there, I'm intrigued about this, as I'm sure we are, as, you know, if we're talking, everybody out there. What, what is it when a different shape in a gemstone 
what what is it that it makes you excites you or get, makes you think oh I like that what what made you uh, want to buy them? So I think because I've I've been part of this business for a bit. A How long have time. you been here? Well, on and off. Uh, 12 years? 12 on, years. On and off. I've not been here for the full 12 years, but on and off. There's, he stupidly there's... left us for a brief amount yeah. of time until he realised I think it related. to be back. I think it related me back to seeing it the first time, seeing a different shape the first time, getting excited, and then thinking, I know that once we bring this to air, how excited the customers will be yeah. about something different. Yeah. And then I think with cubes in particular, moving back to that, I think there is a blokey, gentleman yeah, sort of... Because it's more angular, yeah. it's more funky, yeah. it's, more, it's, not, it's not that voluptuous round, it's more edgy, isn't I, it? I, 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 like, I like to see the different things that you make with yeah. them. And I thought, I thought the cubes would be perfect for it. And also, with having me and Wayne there, we could negotiate quite good prices as well. So we... Is it like bad cop, good cop? Pretty much, yeah. Was it? We, we, we flipped between at certain points. Did you? Wayne had look at me and I, we had... By day three, we knew that what each other was about oh, to say. Okay. So you were so a good double act. Or yes, or yeah. if we can do something else. Because the thing is... Oh, look at that. Look at the hematite. I know, the hematite. Uh, yeah, the hematite we should... The prices on those ones are... Yeah. <sighs> but the thing is... This, the, what's clever about this is, is we've done different sizes of cubes, haven't yeah, we, before? Yeah, yeah. But what I like about these ones is the fact that you've gone quite, you've, got, you've gone for some nice delicate. So whilst you've gone for the blokey, edgy, you know, your blues, your, mm -hmm. your hematites, all that kind of thing that anybody can wear, any age can wear as well. What we liked about these sizes and the reason you went for this is so that any age can wear, because when you're talking about when you're getting kids into wearing jewellery, yeah, yeah. you know, like your nieces, your nephews, your kids and that kind of thing and whatever. It, because their wrists are small, you need a smaller gem, yeah, otherwise totally. it looks a bit weird, doesn't yeah, it? totally. So it covers age groups as well. It also means you can use them because of the size they are as spaces. I will let you get a word in. That's all right, carry on. But Don't worry. They're good as spaces as well, but then they're lovely as standalone. Oh, that space is also something that is quite, I think it's been big and is bigger, is Morse code jewellery. So dot, dot, dash, all of that. Yeah. But I also like... Throw a little square in there. I like it. I just think, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. We'll see. Maybe like it was just me, but I got quite excited about the ideas. Did you? Of just different shapes. This is the first of probably five or six different shapes that we've purchased. Oh, come on. Give us a heads up. Give us, a, give, um, give us two more. Two. Yeah, go on. So double drilled. Like, uh, so, oh, brilliant. So brilliant. basically, so it would be like a, uh, what's the best way to describe it? So a triangle, a triangle, a triangle, a square. I'm doing triangle and then doing a square. A square and then top drinking. drilled and bottom drilled. So through. So that's amazing. And then there's a new cut that we put on our Facebook page that we've asked you to name, which we haven't had yet, which I was going to bring a video. But so they're, the best way to describe them are kind of small drops, but they're kind of, they're kind of, Elongated. Will so you show me larger. later? Yeah, cross well. Yeah, I've got some good videos on my phone, but that's in the gallery. What? Yeah. What about the gems? Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. So they're two, and we've got others as well. So we also. But we where can where can We bought some huge shapes. Have we? Yeah. Oh, like big, big, like big gem big, crow one is. Yeah. yeah. So if yeah. somebody wants to name that gemstone, where do they go? What do they do? I think it was on our Facebook page probably a couple of months ago. Jewelry Maker Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, Can yeah, they still try and name it? I think so, yeah. I don't, yeah. We did pick one of them, or we oh, okay. sensitively picked one of them. But they've not come to air yet, because I think we've just put... Oh, OK. They've just landed had, in our warehouse. It's like when we had the satellite. We were calling yeah. it the satellite and the star cut, and they got yeah. a few names, it didn't it? All again. Yeah, it, 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 I think, again, I don't want it to go to air being a puffy drop. Because that doesn't make sense. We need to be somewhat better. We need it to be somewhat more exciting. But it so is like I'll a puff, puffed up drop, but we want a nice name. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, go on. Shall we start? Yeah. It's the loud right, I think. Pay that to you. I mean, we've got the most beautiful. We've got black spinel, we've got la oh, lapis, we've got moonstone, we've got. That looks very much like. The, is that amethyst or amatrine? It's, it's beautiful. Amethyst. amethyst. Yeah, I think it's an amethyst. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness, me, gorgeous. Um, go. Just to mention as well, before we do start on this, I know everybody's asking and emailing in and messaging in and it's going absolutely berserk. We do have the jadeite high goo donut Sorry. coming up. Keeping that mind. I promise you. Um, sorry, Dave, if you're watching, there's screens in there. And Dave, did you know whose birthday is today? Who's? Is it Dave Tross? Dave Tross' birthday today. Oh, who is he? Is he yeah. in? He is in. He is oh, in. good. We got him working on his birthday. Yeah. Oh, we'll go He's and in. wish him a happy birthday. Dave Tross' birthday. Wish him a happy oh, birthday. Happy, yeah. happy birthday to you. Happy it's... birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dave Tross. Happy birthday to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dave, as well. We've taken this from one of your schedules and uh, it's going to yeah. be today. Do you know what we're doing as well? I know, yeah. Have I you know. heard what we're doing? Yeah. Under twenty pounds. I know. Mm. Just saying. Um, first of all, before I show it you live, please do. 
before I do, this recording, have you seen as well how those beautiful edges of those cubes and those faces of each side look is alive with all the different colours and the blues and the greens and the golds and the yellows and Amazing. the... Oh, these are dinky. These are I love this size. So we couldn't get that many, Zena. Yeah, but to be fair, I actually think 150, considering the gemstone range that you yeah, bought, yeah. is yeah. blooming good going. Yeah. So... So we did try and take the majority of the quantity that we could just because we knew it would be so popular. That is adorable, isn't it? Three to five minutes. Oh, so they're graduated. Oh, they are. That's a slight graduation, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Well, actually, say that. That's quite dramatic, three to five mil, isn't it? Yeah. I think into eye it looks slight, but as you oh, that is right, in jewellery, it's... Yeah. Look at those. They are absolutely fabulous quality. Look, it doesn't matter which way I show you them. Look, it's just alive with colour. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, if you saw something like that, and as we just said there, regardless of age, regardless of gender, um, those are really cool. If you want to go Morse code jewellery, you pop your little rounds in there Amazing. as well for your dots and your dashes. Yeah, there's got a few pieces of jewellery been made. I suppose we'll show them in a bit when yeah. we're done with this. But. So we kick-started with, with the first person checked out, Liz said, you know what, I love them, I'm having Thank two. Thank you, Liz. Thanks Aww. for trusting us, Liz. Thank you, Alison, you're there as well. Yeah, Alison, she's straight in. No idea what price, but... Oh, thank you. She I know exactly what She knows what, what we're going to do. She knows what we're going to do. Now, the thing is, what genuinely, what sort of, bear in mind, Labradorite is one of our best-selling gemstones, always has been, always will be. You know there's the big four and the five with the sapphires and the rubies, but when it comes to genuine gemstone jewellery for, for jewellery makers, I think it's your, lam your, your Amazonite, your Labradorite, your yeah. amethyst. amethyst. Those are your go-tos, yeah. aren't yeah. they? And we've got all of those coming up and your lapis. It's all happening. So right. then, my lovelies, I'll show Where you... Where should we start, Zena? Where should we start this? I'm going to go... Ross did say something to me, but I'm, I'm so poor at talk back that I missed half of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, then. How about we get them under 50? Go on, then. Let's Go start on. there. Go on. Start there. Go on. Zena, if it, it all ends well, I've bought my laptop, which I'm not sure you've witnessed this. This means that I play around. Well, I, I did wonder when I saw your laptop. Yeah. I did wonder... You and Wayne do that yeah. thing, don't you? When you, I think you, you compete to see who can take basically, things the lowest. Yeah. That's what they basically. do. They're, they're just like basically just put Ross out of a job. Just <laughs> try. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is in there. They are Ross in the gallery. And my lovely Adam. He hasn't done his spin in the chair today. There he goes. That there makes him happy. Right then, I tell you what. Why don't you tell us what price you'd like? Yeah. Why not? What price would you like? Why not? Why don't you message in? Because bearing in mind, we have got pink amethyst, we've got multicolour moonstone, we've got labradorite, we've got lapis, we've got black spinel. That's going to be dangerous what's going to come through mm -hmm. now, Oh, Alison, that's a great idea. Love looming with cubes. Oh, get the, you know, when, you, when uh, Alison Tone and everybody and, yeah, and Monica yeah, yeah. and everybody bring in and they do the wonderful bead looming. Yes, oh, that's yes. a great idea. Good idea. Good idea. I'll tell you what, Ross, let's instantly let's go 29.99. Ooh la la. Let's go for it. 29.99. Can I just tell everybody as well? He hasn't, he's, put it, he's flipped up his lid. Need to look at. But he yeah. hasn't got his prices up there. Oh, look at you. Oh, you need to change that. Photograph. I know, that's, that's old, not isn't a good it? Look, that's is when it? I first oh. joined, that is. I know. About 12. It do look about 12. <laughs> <laughs> £29.99. Oh, Alison, have you got any, have you got any, have you got a picture of some jewellery you could email into the studio with looming with cubes? Like, we could have a, we could have a picture, like couldn't one. we? That's... Oh, that's lovely. I like these. But that's like a wooden... channel set. That's, that's with the moonstone, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I love it when we do the moonstone in all the different colours. Mm. Yeah. Shall we? That looks good. What did Liz say? There it is. Ooh. How about... Oh, hello, Liz. She said, how about... We like you being cheeky, Liz. How about a cheeky 14 .99. I love the way she puts it in brackets, though, please. That's I nice. That, on, the, on the way. Oh, maybe. no. Scott, she's bought two. I know, yeah, I know. Well, she's we'll try and help. She's bought two. That's dangerous, isn't it? The CFO staring at you from the top. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> um, That's slightly you... awkward, isn't it? She's know, watching you like a hawk as well. <laughs> What's a CFO? Chief Financial Officer. There you go. You answered your question there, didn't you? Is that... That's Donna. Don... Is that Donna? Donna? That's Donna, yeah. She was watching you like an absolute hawk I know, I know. She is, she is. Eyes on me. She knows what she's doing. Eyes on you. Yo, Sandy, so good rubber, don't you? Yeah. Good eyes are on uh, you. Could we have a clock? Ross and... Liz. Let's Liz, go for it. Liz, Liz, Here we go, Liz, 60 seconds. Liz, 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 he's going to do it. <laughs> Liz, don't worry about saying please, because Liz did buy three, and she has bought, given you three kisses. I know. Liz, I'm going to put it out there. We're going to do that. Are we? I've just decided. Are you already? Well, you know. Five seconds to wait for well, that. Well, 
Just saying. Liz, help yourself. She's checked out too. You could look after her, yeah, Liz. We should look after Liz, really. She gave you three kisses. What more do you she want? She did give me three kisses. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Just keep yeah. sending three kisses into. He's easily, easily persuaded this man. Yeah, easily. He is. He really is. <laughs> 29.99 in 24 seconds. 20 seconds going in a minute, my lovelies. Those of you with it in your baskets, you do not want to worry. Barbara, Lynn, Alison, Dawn, thank you so much for trusting us. This is, I'll tell you what, you saw some lovely um, 12 seconds. translucency 12 seconds. and clarity through those Labradorites as well. They're absolutely Incredible. phenomenal quality. Look at those. Oh, Barbara's got four. Oh, Barbara's got, she's trusting you, isn't she, our Barbara? You've Go said on. it, haven't you, Zena? I feel like Liz, you know, she's she's helped with oh, the interaction. She's on. supported us. Fourteen ninety nine, yeah. just for you, Liz. Hot just for you. Nice, Liz. And I like that. She thought she was being cheeky. She thought she was Not being cheeky. cheeky. Enough. And you know what? I love the fact that you just put please in brackets as well, though, my lovely. That was so sweet of you. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Now, volume wise, we had about one hundred and fifty of each. One hundred and fifty. Okay. I don't think that's going to last. No. Um, less than 100 left already. Morning. Good morning, Gloria. Those are beautiful. I'd have to try channel setting those. Well, that's what we've kind of done here, haven't yeah, we? Well, uh... isn't kind of. We have. <laughs> we kind of have. <laughs> we kind of have. <laughs> so there you go, look. They'd look lovely like that, wouldn't they? And that's channel set. That's channel set with those lovely, the lovely um, sort of leather cord that we did, wasn't it? Right. Zeno. Oh, yes, Scott. Trust us, guys. Trust me, please. This is the first of many others. Um, Adam, can we have a minute clock again? Adam's our director. I can see people with it in their baskets. Please, please trust us. I think we already do. Look at that. We only have 100 now. 50 already gone. Every single person bar one. I don't want to mention who you are, because that would make you feel bad. Everybody doesn't have to feel bad. multi Multi, multi, oh, multi, no. multi, Clever. multi, multi Thirty-five carats of lavender. Multi buyers everywhere. In your smooth cube. Do you know what I like about these? You've got that lovely chamfered smooth edge as well. Oh, okay. So they're not sharp. They're not lovely. too angular. They're, yeah. they're, you know, you've got those edges, but they've got that lovely soft chamfered edge. Chamfered edge. Good word, Here isn't we it? Go. Here do you like it? Over fifteen people with it in their baskets. Yeah. Please do trust us. Keep checking out. You will only pay that lowest price that we take it to. Yep. Which I am thinking about in my head now. I've got seventeen seconds to. You better hurry up. Alison, figure out where Lane, we're going. Barbara, Jury Maggie, Joanne, June, Ruth, Celia, Regini, Sheila, Regini as well. It, or Regine. Would you tell us if we're pronouncing your name right? Yeah. I know you're on the phone. I struggle I with hate that. hate if I'm getting that I wrong. Every I time think... I read names out, I'm really scared. If I do, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think it's Regini. I, I, I like um, Regini. So I do this thing when I come on air where I have to try and just beat what's on paper. Go on. Ross, you're not going to like this. 8 <gasps> That's where we're stopping. That's what's happening. That's not what it said, is it? Sorry, you've got a weird thing that I've got on air. Can I just point out to everybody? I don't want to. I don't want to show up anybody or show show anybody up rather. It's not eight ninety nine. It's not that price on my deal of the day sheet. It's not a, it's not a price Stone. that we normally do. Eight ninety nine. That is. That's, and this is brand new. We only had one hundred and fifty to start I know, with. I know. And, and me, and, me and Wayne went all the way to India, Jaipur, for this. Jolly. Jolly. Don't kid. Well, don't back for eight ninety nine. It's brilliant. I don't think we'll be going again. I don't think you'll be allowed to go again. No. Goodness me. Well done, everybody. And it's so nice. I'm sorry to, to Anne regular... Sharmil and the team out there. We've just devalued our trip. Yep. Liz just said, right, that's it. I'll have to buy more. That's Thank you, big... Liz. There you go, Liz. What um, is more? Has Liz gone for four now? Yeah, she has, yeah. yeah. She was the one that wanted them at 14 99 weren't you, Liz? How about with the lapis, Liz? Oh, Barbara said, I love you I like guys. Lapis. I love the lapis. It looks great, doesn't it? How about adding in? Ooh. How about adding in? Oh, how long's that one? No. Blimey, you've given us a right bit of length there oh, as well. The amethyst, though. Oh, you want the pink amethyst? That the. Oh, that uh, oh yeah. That looks good. That pink amethyst is absolutely sensational, Scott. It is, isn't really it? Really lovely. If you want to go moody, if you want to go evening Ooh. wear, we've got the black spinel coming up as well. Yeah, the, those lapis, Natural by the way. Lapis. Yeah, those lapis. I bet you're all thinking but that's they're where we're going dyed. Next, isn't it? They're it's got to be where we're going next. No, they're not. No, they are not. Um, now, Alison, if you want to message in, Alison, I know you messaged in saying you love looming. Send us a photo. If you can email to studio at hobby mate. Sorry. Studio at jewelry maker. <laughs> Good. I'm in Somebody and works out. on two channels. Oh, and do you know what didn't help as well? <laughs> what didn't help? You were there yesterday? No. Well, yeah, but. Yeah, but no, but. 
Why do we have to have jewelrymaker.co.uk and hobbymaker. No, the other way around. Jewelrymaker.com, hobbymaker.co.uk. And I can't remember which one's which. Reasons. Logistical reasons. I'm like, mm. maybe domain reasons. Anyway, <laughs> studio, just make it easy. Somebody might already own that domain. You know. <laughs> yeah, we'll be out, we'll, um, give it to us then. Studio at jewelrymaker.com. All right. Sorry, everybody. Right, should we do the lapis? Is that okay, Ross? Should we go to lapis? 80% of the stock's gone on that lab drive. Please do keep checking out lapis we're going for. That's got to be Afghanistan. That is, oh, that is, that is amazing. proper proper impressive when you realise. I mean, a dyed lapis must be asking itself, you know, how can I be like that naturally? I, I mean, it must be so heartbreaking for a dyed lapis. Don't, you know. Don't, don't think because we've done 8 99 on the Labradorite that 8 99 is going to be the price that we're going to carry on going with because this doesn't, no. it doesn't feel right. We've set some well, sort of precedent. Gem, different gemstones I know, are exactly. different values, exactly. Exactly. Mr Stone. I feel like we've set some sort of precedent, Zena. We have. Ross, shall we start at twenty nine ninety nine again? But look at the... Do you know when, when Jake comes on and he talks about exactly the right amount of those beautiful markings of pyrite, exactly yeah. spot on? It's, that has got every textbook element that it needs. I agree. If you was to... Each of those, if you was to draw what a lapis should look like... Yeah. And pop that... Yeah. Can you imagine that as well, being made into the Egyptian pyramids with yeah. those building blocks? Look, that yeah. with rose gold and yellow gold is going to look superb. Really nice. Absolutely really nice. superb. And we've just had the most beautiful four-leaf clover connectors oh, yes. in, yeah, in yeah, sterling yeah. silver yeah. as well. The they, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Liz trusts you all right. You're in big... Oh, I'll tell you what, Liz. Thanks, Liz. Tell you what, Liz, you've got him right where you want Fiver in the post, Liz. Do you know what my mum used to say? Do you know where you look? I've got Scott this morning now, Liz, with that first message. My mum used to say, I've got him right. She used to be a singer. So she'd have an audience, like a, a gig, like a do. And then she'd go, I've got him right there. <laughs> right in the palm of my hand. That's where Liz has got you. <laughs> she has. <laughs> she has. Moved me over already. <laughs> That's not, yeah. Right, uh, another, another minute, please. Come on. Where are we going to go? There's 150 of each. Absolutely bewilderingly phenomenal. Oh, he's getting his paperwork. Just read him. His laptop out. Just read him. Totally natural. They are from the original mine. The oldest mine on planet Earth. 7,000 years and it's still mining. I mean, this is truly historic. It's one of the most historic gemstones you can ever, ever get hold of. 29.99. Yeah, there's a big thing going on in the building. I think everybody's amazed that you're on air again. I'm just walked past and took a photograph of you. It's just because I'm here. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing <laughs> what there? What are you doing what in are there? What are you doing there? Uh, 29.99, you know what the good news is, don't you? It is not stopping here. Absolutely not on your Nelly. Nope. Lovely thing is, you don't have to wait. You don't have to run the risk of missing out because we adjust the pricing, don't Natural. we? Natural. Natural lapis lazuli. Huge no dye. carrot weight. No dye. Each one, no as messy. you would imagine. Graduated as well. So it goes really subtle, just from a three to a four, really gentle. So you could have just the small Ross. ones. Ross. Uh, Seven ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Is Donna in the gallery as well? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, uh, Someone send Donna back upstairs. What's going on here? <laughs> oh my goodness. That is absolutely ridiculous. How many... Liz, tell your friends. This is just for you, Liz. No, Liz is like, I'm not telling my friends. You can get stuffed. I'll have some more of them myself. Thank you very much. This is absolutely authentic, genuine, Afghanistan, traditional, natural, all that history. Oh, my days. I wouldn't mind as well. We've got, we've got Kashmir Peridot you coming have, up later. I saw that in the schedule, mm. yeah. Amazing. Kashmir Peridot. And we've got selenite. Now, you imagine Ooh. liquid light of selenite added in. Pop in a couple of lapis. That would look yeah. incredible. Uh, last amazing. remaining quantity of the selenite. That's going to go absolutely beautifully. Look at that, multi buyers. Hello, everybody. Barbara, Elaine, J. Marie. Yep, just got them. Lots Carol, of... Tracy, Maker, Julie, Christine, oh, Helen. Oh, you Liz, got them all. Thank you again. Thank Liz. you for trusting us. Seven ninety nine. Again, isn't on any sheet that I could possibly have printed off to decide no. well, where the price is going to be. You see. There's no, just... This is the thing. So I've got sheets down here that I get my prices on. Now, they're the higher price. So obviously, of course, if I then went in and said, do you know what, you did this, that, and the next thing, he could just go look at the paperwork. 
Mm. It's always the paper. It's always an audit trail. It's always trail. the paper trail. There's, there's not, and the paper there's trail not does not say that. It's not here, I know, yeah. <laughs> doing myself a disservice. I'm so sorry. No, I don't think To the team watches. out in India, I apologise. Yeah. Um, but this has just made a little bit of an obvious wait on the phone lines, but the good news is that phone line is in fact free of charge 0800 644 655. And um, also, you can obviously check out yourselves on your li online nice and discreetly on the web. Or you can download our app. All right. Don't you dare. It's going to pop Did it in you, our bucket. Excuse me, everybody. Give it back. You're not having Give it. it. You're not back. having it. It's Give it. In there. I'll go in there. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> he soon pulled that out of end, didn't he? Like, no, it's all right, Max. Right, let me show you another awesome deal today. I mean, you saw the Tanzanite this morning for one pound a stone, the Red Dragon Peridot for one pound a stone, the what Garnet, the 50p a stone. You do Where not was I this know. morning? You were still in bed. Uh, right then, my lovelies. So, we have also got the most unbelievable deal that will go with these to perfection. You've got jade. Wow. A high goo jade. <laughs> it's an 18 mil. It's never been on air before. It is the most phenomenal, what? ridiculous, outrageous deal that we're being given. Now, online at the moment, this absolutely spot-on, perfect, apple green, natural Myanmar, Burmese, jadeite jade in a high goo with all that wonderful spiritual, you know, meaning and everything else. I feel like I need to take Ross out. I, all I can hear him is saying, we've guaranteed it under 20. That's, under no, 20 you haven't, pounds, surely. yes, we have. Surely under you 20 haven't. pounds, yes, we have. Surely under you have 20 haven't. pounds, yes, we have. It's a Dave Troth birthday deal. It's a Dave Troth birthday. Can we get him to come in and say hello? I, it's I'll, his try, birthday. I'll try, I'll try. I'll try. I'll hey? try. I don't want him to see this. Oh, if yeah, go said on. it's under 20, I don't oh, want him to Oh, he loves see it. This. Should have seen what he was doing on Aquaprise yesterday. Should we go Amethyst? Oh, the pink. The pink. The pinky, pinky, pink. Ross, straight twenty nine ninety nine. They know where we're starting. They know where we're going. Mm. I need to. I'm just going to check this laptop because surely this one can't. I love that where he just goes as if he's pretending to be busy. And I'll just look at this laptop. This can't. Now, these are three to five mil. Look at the clarity on Actually, there. Actually, that is a very. That is an incredible sample of amethyst. I'm oh, sorry, it took my breath away right. slightly. Then it is. It is pretty. Is that me or the strand? No, both. <laughs> it's, it's, um... <laughs> It is so pretty. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. Because that's Actually. the thing with these cubes, with these sizes of these cubes, you can go super feminine, like we have here. You can really mix these up in a moment with the, I'm going to show you the rainbow hematite as well. These are going to be, yeah, 30 second queue on the phone lines. I think we can manage with that, can't we? Yeah. Are we all right with Please 30 do. seconds? Yeah. Free phone number, team upstairs. Yeah. Delighted to answer your call. They're lovely, actually, aren't they? Are they are a great team. They are a great team. A lovely call centre. Mind you, oh, I was going to tell you something. I've just engaged the filter. We can tell just you about the call centre. Yeah, I was. <laughs> well, Don't I... give away something about Jane. Well, oh, we're not... no, I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to say it now because I've said it. I went up to the call centre the other day to say hello to everybody because they're so lovely and it's nice for us to go in there. And I was speaking to Jane Sankey, one of our managers. I She's knew it'd be amazing. About Jane, so... well, it, well, actually, it wasn't. So I went outside and I said to this lady because my dog had run over to this lady. And one, can one we have of... a six second clock, please, one whilst the... we're. Yeah, Shut in. thanks. One of the team ran in, and do you know what they said? Don't let Both the dog go over there. Years, um, That's the thanks. smelly desk. Separate conversations going on. That's the smelly desk. There's a smelly desk in the call centre. What's that? Yeah, apparently. Oh. I haven't found out why. But then again, leave that with you. There's a smelly desk. There's a smelly desk. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that. No, I'm not sure how I feel. I don't know to go in and ask about this. They're amazing, isn't but they? The, Joking aside, so they're the brilliant. Desk is smelly or the... I think it's the person that's on it. Oh. But he was in there. I think they were playing up. Oh, I think they were winding a, him up. A bit of Because I went into the room and he was there and there was no smell in there. He's in fine. Jess, yeah. In Jess. Do you know what I love about it? It shows how well they all get on. Yeah, I've been friends They're they? all been get on so years. well. They're brilliant. They're the best call centre ever. We love them. Seven ninety nine. <laughs> you didn't even anger. You didn't even wait for the didn't clock. Even look, didn't even check. We're gone. Seven ninety nine. This is this, this is was the, the promo. If you saw the promo, I was going to say it. this is the one, and he's gone to seven. I need to see it in writing. Thank you. Seven ninety nine. Anne's had two. Liz has had two. Jerry Maker and the Isle of Whites just had two. Everybody's trying to get two each, and you don't even have to be polite. You can have three. You can have five. You can have ten. Million. Have as many as you like. There was one hundred and fifty, and that's it. I know. One person not could buy now. all of them though, if they wanted to, couldn't they? They could. They're so pretty. From India with love. 
Oh. Uh, it's, um, I, I just think that sample is amazing. I've not, I've not, se I've not seen pink amethyst like that more recently. Well, we don't get pink amethyst very often, very do often, we? Unfortunately, no. very, very rarely do we get that but pink the quality amethyst. Is... Do you want me to mix it up a bit? Do you want me to just mix that? That's graduated as well. Let's bring it right up to date. Ooh. Oh yeah, get ready Fella for this. Pop. Oh, get ready for this. How about we go New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve meets Christmas Day. It's all that gentle Christmas Day. Half the stock's gone now, Zena. Half the stock of the pink has gone. Not many people who haven't multi bought. Look at that. That is absolutely... The clarity on that is such a pretty, pretty gem, that, isn't it? The pink amethyst. I like it with these. Oh, pretty nice. Is that pretty night? Yeah, Doesn't that look is. lovely together? I've, I've ripped up my sheets. Oh, you may as well. Well done. Gosh, yeah. Christine's just had two, Helen's just had two, Jury Maker London's just had two. That Prionite is exceptionally long. I think I'm going to say that's my favourite of the whole collection. That, the yeah, Prionite. Yeah. The Prionite with that. Haven't that, got as much quantity of that one. We couldn't source as much. Honestly. It's okay. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I just I think, feel bad. No, don't feel bad. We love the fact you... Do you want to choose Moonstone or Black Spinel next? Spinel. Spinel. Black Spinel. Now, let me show you how good that the pink amethyst is when I pop it with the black Spinel. You'll get some measure of the of the clarity of that pink amethyst. Oh, Look. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Can you just turn Look around the then? Sky. Go to the other side. Look to the sky. Just look to the left. Straight at you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Sorry. What a delightful I man you are. It's gone. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Oh, phew. So thank you for that. Thank you. No, 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 that fine. wouldn't have been good, wouldn't it? it? Well, Glamorous. you know, it wouldn't have been the best thing. Glamorous occasion. Oh, you just cut. You, th that is your little black dress in the wardrobe, isn't it? You got one, Scott? Uh, I have, yeah. Yeah. But Only at weekends. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> started at 29.99 again. <laughs> I d why do I do these things I to myself? Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't but know. we've got Halloween coming up. We have. How about going to a posh Halloween do? Halloween jewellery right there. Yeah, but not your naff plastic stuff you see in no. the shops. Oh, no. We want to go. We want to go posh. You might be going to a Halloween ball. Are you? No, you might be. Oh, I'm not. I used to back in the day. It's a Halloween ball. There used to be a Halloween ball. I was saying to the guys the other week, uh, Hewlett Packard, Packard the, who I used to work for, they used to throw the biggest, poshest London Halloween ball. It was Sounds the amazing. night of the year. And it'd be, it would people like Nina Simone oh, really? would, would be singing or Squeeze. Or... You, ne you never really knew who was there either. No, it would be all the cast of outfits. EastEnders yeah, and all yeah. the cast of... Honestly, it was, oh, it was a proper glitzy good. do. That must be good for uh, celebrities mm. to oh, yeah. sneak away. Yeah. So, black um, spinel. Can I pop those just on, Just 30 please? seconds if we can. If you've got it, Adam, Liz, I'm sorry. I'm calling from the floor. Liz has come straight in. Liz in Surrey is determined to snaffle every single one of these. Don't you worry, Liz. We've got the Prionite coming. We've got the Hematite coming. Already. She has. We've got the Moonstone coming. Oh, Liz. Have a quick Liz. triple check. Do you know what Liz is doing? Liz is actually very kindly. We all want to message in and thank Liz in Surrey because she's actually inadvertently, very all very cleverly, Driving the buy price down. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. By yeah. checking out four. Is there some sort of secret group that Liz is part of here? I she think knows she, what, she, she knows, knows what she's doing. She comes in first, then I just go seven ninety nine. Because she sees that you bought yeah, four Liz. Just what, it's just what happens. <laughs> I see Liz do it, and then nice size for bracelets. These as well, aren't they? I'd, really? wear, I'd wear a nice cubes black spinel bracelet. You would actually, would I you? Would, I would. Yeah, I think that's a really cool look. That is. Well, have you noticed? I know you're a big fan of the only way is Essex and 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 am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Love Island and those sort of yeah, things. That all those young yeah, trendy big, men like you—they're all fan. wearing big pearls. Fan. I know. Freshwater culture pearls. Do you put pearls with that? Yeah. I always make a Jack Grealish reference, but yeah. He doesn't play for your team anymore, does doesn't, he? No, He's left like, you, hasn't I he? I still like him though. It's fine. Yeah. Even I know he was number ten. Hmm? Are you impressed? Mm, I don't. I'm hey? quite impressed. He played for Villain, he was number 10, I know quite that. Impressed. Quite impressed. That's about all I, I do know. What, Zina, they're impressed with the price. They are indeed. Margaret, Margaret, Margaret again. Another Margaret. Margaret. Pauline, Helen, Tina, Barbara's got four. Lovely. Elaine's got one. Angela, thank you so much for trusting us. The big number on the, uh, sorry, big weight on the phone lines, but it, we know you're there. And you know what? That weight's pretty, that can go pretty quickly. It can, it can. Because we don't just have the guys in our call centre. We're, we're obviously protecting everybody with the delights of COVID-19, but we've got a lot of our wonderful call centre working from home as well, so everybody's spatially distanced, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm just changing the so typo. I can see what you're doing. It's fine. Changing a typo. Where's the typo? Black Spinel, Snoop, strand. Cube, Strand. Oh, Starned. 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 Can Typo's you go in and do that? Corrected. Have you just collect? Yeah. Oh, so when we play that again and load it again, it'll come up right. It should do, yeah. Oh, you're good, aren't you? Well, well we should just fix that. 
Seven ninety nine. Thank you so seven much. Seven pounds ninety nine. Seven pounds ninety nine. Well We've got done. one more of the. Oh, no, sorry, four more. Yeah. Moonstones. Moonstone. I think Moonstones. Moonstones. Pre nights and then the hematites. The hematites and the pre nights are really long. Mm. Really long. And yeah. Ah, so. Let's not let's not talk about the price we can do on the hematites. Oh. Oh. We love you, Scott. Thank you. Love you too. Oh, that doesn't count. <laughs> Did you say that? Thank you. Oh, oh, I love you too. Monica. I mean, typical bloke, eh? Oh, no, I, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> it's, oh, fine. Stuck. it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, fine. We'll start at 29.99 again then, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is dreamy. There is no such thing as any typical bloke or woman, I... to be fair, is there? But there you go. Oh, that's dreamy. Again, something really... You've got all the colours and moods. You've got the deep, deep silver greys. Really nice. You've got the traditional proper sort of lovely liquid light of the moonstone. And then that wonderful, that there's no colour like that sort of caramel tone, Some is there? Some of the there? caramels are incredible. Yeah. Again, there's, there's not many gemstones that can give you that sort of colour range. Incredible colour range. Isn't that? In fact... Um, Wouldn't Mark Smith spend... Half oh, of his day. Ombre and sure matching. Colour, yeah, and, yeah, yeah he, would matching indeed, he would indeed. Could I borrow the selenite? Um, could you... Do you mind? Oh, Monica's coming out. Monica's straight in with the selenite. Yeah. The smaller one would be great, darling. Just the either... Oh, brilliant. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Monica. Because we've got the last of stock of selenite coming up. Now, selenite is named after the goddess of the moon. So I'm thinking if you pop the selenite, which is pure liquid light, with those moonstones, look, so you've got the goddess of moon, the goddess of moon, Amazing. Selene, with the moonstone. That would make the most beautiful jewellery, wouldn't it? It would be incredible. Yeah. Right. Ross. Ross. You sound like Tom Stewart. Let's though. go six ninety nine. Oh, pound off. come on. Pound off. A no, not, not even a pound cuff. Let's off. Just go. It's, it's Let's um, just go. A 20, how much? £23 pounds off, mister. No. Oh a pound my. less than the others. That's what I meant to say. Look at that. And again, you could ombre that beautifully, couldn't you? Amazing. Look amazing. Tracy, Gabrielle, Lynn, Tina, Sylve, thank you so much for trusting us. There will be a little queue on the phone lines again there. Where's Probably Sylve? Only Where have you just seen Sylve? Sylve. As in Sylvia? Sylve. Does that say Sylve? Where? It says Sylvia, yeah, sorry. Sylvia, I'd like to abbreviate apologise. Like These young kids, they we're do friends. like to abbreviate, don't they? Hello, Sylve. All right, Sylve, she might go, I don't like being called Sylve. I like Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, yeah. yeah. Sylvia. That was nice. Oh, see. Oh, playing back your um, <laughs> acting days yeah. there. <laughs> oh, Sylve. Do you I like, like Sylve, Sylvia? Thank you. Trace well, has grabbed three. Sure, Helen's grabbed three. Gorgeous. Lisa's has grabbed two again. Sylvia doesn't mind you shortening it because she's just bought anyway. Yeah, she's on the phone. Say, she didn't she, clock she it. Likes, she likes she the fact we took it. one more pound off. Yeah, £6.99. Um, graduated again, three to five mil. You could pair those. Be be you've got lovely... Sets of pairs throughout that strand, haven't you? I love that sort of darker silvery they've colour there. Them. When when putting on the strand, they've matched them slightly, haven't they? Already? Yeah. Yeah. There's all the work's done for you. And again, it, it, again, we've not gone for sharp edges. We've gone for that smooth. lovely smooth chamfered edge. Over half the stuck's gone, Zena. I'm one. not surprised at six ninety nine. Lisa's just had three. Julie's had two. Angela's had two. Trina's had two. Sylvie ah has had two. It's another Sylvia. Sylv. Silv. We call her Silv. We call Silv. Uh, no, me and Silv. Jewish. Best mates. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, I'm honestly. Jewelry uh, Maker in London. Uh, Patricia's had two. Anita's had two. Everybody's having two. Good. That's a nice name in Midlothian. and Senga, isn't it? Here we go. That's right. Lovely. Um, Free night and then the hematites. And then yeah. we've got. E then the. Okay. I'm going to hide this for a while, you know. Right then, so the pre and night, pre and night, pre and night, pre and night is illuminated from within. I will show it with the selenite again. Now, this is super Faceted long. as well. Yeah. Oh, somebody's... Oh, let's have a look. Jacqueline said, can you tell me what price the Jade Donut ZEM241 will be priced at today, please? Yes, Jacqueline. This one. This one. I'm, it's on pre-order, Jacqueline. How much do you think before we give it away? Can you message back in? How much do you think? Go on, Ross. I would say um, £498.99. No. Uh, it's Jacqueline... going to be guaranteed under £20. <laughs> oh, 
under twenty pounds. Grab it on pre-order. We do have quite a large quantity, but it won't be enough to go it's around. It's on pre. It's a Dave Troth birthday special. It's his birthday today. Should um, be in today's show. Jacqueline, yeah, Jacqueline, darling. It's on pre-order. We did it first thing this morning. Okay. So if you go back to jewelrymaker.com. Click on today at Watch Live, straight down to the bottom. It was the first thing we put on pre-order this morning. It isn't £498.99. It is guaranteed 100% as a Dave Trath birthday special under £20. Yes. Pre-night, faceted cubes. Surely can be nowhere near the price we've just on the last oh, one. Oh, they're... Can I, make, can I just say one thing as well? Now, pre and night can often have lots and lots and lots of inclusions. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like the included pre and night, yep. but some people, like we were talking with Dave yesterday, like Boucheron with the Aquapraise, yes. they don't. They want as pure, as gemmy material as they can get, yeah. as he was saying. And we had one of those on the show yesterday. But then a lot of people prefer the beauty of your emeralds, your pre and nights, your Aquapraise, your turquoise, with those enhancements, with those markings, those matrix. And when we were out in India, we tried, so a lot of these have been smooth. We tried, and this is the one we purchased one which was a uh, faceted just to see the interest and i think actually this, this is might it. already be so 17.99 to start that is gorgeous 17.99 and i can i pop those on do you mind because this is 38 centimeters strand it is absolutely stunning quality pre and but that is high end we have less quantity of this one because we couldn't source as much. It's not it is all about quantity, it's about quality, Scott. We've got 20 people with it in their basket, so I'm not going to mess about. 9.99, please, under £10. Oh, bearing in mind we're now 38 centimetres of top grade. You, our lovely customers, our lovely jewellery maker community, might want more faceted cubes. Well, we want more faceted pre and I can tell you or that right now. Yeah. Wayne, oh, yeah, if but that's listening. such good quality, Scott. That is such. Can I just show you with a couple of things, if I may? I'm going to show you with. The... I don't know if there's any of the pink amethyst left. Divine with the cherry blossom, isn't single it? Single figures, single figures. Single figures of the pink am amethyst. That went under ten pounds, remarkably as well. Oh, pre night's pre gone. Pre night's gone, Tina. It's gone. Well, should it's we do the? It's your fault. Should we do the two hematites really quickly? Rainbow or blue? Rainbow. Rainbow. Right, computer's coming out. We're going to go straight. No. Oh, we'll come on. Let's go out and party. Got a lot of things to do. Hematite, always popular, always shiny, always sparkly. And the colourful rainbows. You've got the blues coming up in a moment as well. Straight in at 9 99 Woo! We've got time. We've got time. We're, we, we haven't got time. We haven't got, got time. We, got time we, have got, we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. Oh my days, look at that. That is absolutely superb. If you just want to put that on some memory wire, you want to put that on a stretchy, you want to, you could add that to anything and it's going to look amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Golds, purples, blues, greens. Oh, absolutely. Already superb. under £10. £9.99. Not good enough for me. We're going to go for a minute clock. To me, Trust us, Liz is there. I think Liz has bought every cube. I think she has. Every I think she has. Is. That looks absolutely good. And this is unusual. Hematites don't normally have uh, cheeky tassels as well. Look, you've got a tickling tassel on the end. Oh la la. Pink tassels. And I'll tell you what, they're really nice tassels. Are they? Well, you can Soft. see. Do you want to be tickled with them? No? <laughs> that's all gone very quiet. Ah, that's gone very quiet. Uh, <laughs> Ha, after nine o'clock, Do you know, I keep forgetting that Scott is actually very happily married uh, to a lovely lady that I know very well, so awkward. Um, you've also got the royal blue coming if you want to exaggerate and enhance and 20 elongate. 20 seconds left. <laughs> no, see, just shook your face. Under £9.99, uh, under £9.99 would you actually like coming up in 10 seconds or so, well done. £9.99 for your rainbow. Not good enough. Well, this is our... We're definitely going under five, just to let you know, for anybody who's there. Pardon? We're definitely going under five. Pardon? But not just four ninety nine. No. Three ninety nine, Ross. Oh, it's this I, is brand new, isn't it? I didn't realise we're brand new. I'm sorry. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, there you go then. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I've got two full um stretches there as well. If you want to, under that, me two pounds a bracelet. Ah. Oh. Sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. That's a wicked deal. Do you know what? If you've never, ever, ever thought about owning Hematite before and you thought, of course, fancy giving it a try, well, that's, a no, that's not one you have to justify to anybody, is it? Not at all. Three ninety nine. If you've never heard of us at Jewelry Maker, introductory price right oh, there. Oh, just a bit. Just, and if I just, can I just give you a little turny, turny, twisty, have a look at them? 
turn. Because look, all the different sides of the cubes have got a different, it's like a Rubik's yeah, Cube effect, isn't it? Incredible. It is isn't like it? a Rubik's Cube. Again, my Can't nephews would absolutely love that. Your nephew would. Mm. Who's your nephew? Uh, Jacob. He's Jacob. eight. Oh, eight, oh. nine. Yeah, I'll get there in the end. Um, yeah, he would love that. Would Just because he? he likes Rubik's Cubes. Like, oh, does so he? He can complete a Rubik's Cube in under a minute. Can he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we, you want to get him some of these then? Pretty clever. He could make some of right. this, couldn't he? Right. Mm. That'd be really cool. Yeah. £3.99, can you do a Rubik's Cube? No. No. It'll take me about three days. I couldn't. And I'd get like one side. Yeah. <laughs> get like one side done. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it, yeah. Should we do the blue ones? Yeah. How many of these left, Ross? 20 left, roughly. Roughly. I'm hiding, I'm hiding the jadeite from you. I'm having an attack of conscience. Jadeite, I don't feel like we should do it. Dave Trost, birthday special, under £20. 18 mil high goo donut. Uh, under 10 to start with, then 9 99 Just get straight in. Let's just be silly. Let me just triple check I can do it all. Oh, don't check. Yeah, rough. Uh, you've had trade. This. You've had your trade down. meeting this it's week. Fine. Who cares? It's the weekend, nearly. Yeah, it's, is it Thursday? Thursday Royal today. Blue. Yeah, but that's the eve of the weekend. OK. Come on. Why not? Should Royal, we match, we Royal match Blue. Should we match the last prize? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a haven't we? Three ninety nine. Yeah. This is the colour. When you go into the shops now, like down the girly aisle, right, the girly clothes aisle, and you go into like supermarkets and it's like black sequins, it's either black yeah. sequins or this royal blue. That's the colour that it's everybody colour. goes for. Mm. It's a new colour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every year. Brilliant. Oh, Sorry, go on. Have you seen some of the kitchen with the royal blue now as well? It's, no. like, a, it's like a kitchen colour. You know, is there's it? like certain kitchen colours that go along. They're like the whole copper craze and then there was the green. And they do this. Like oh, I'd love a kitchen colour. in that colour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What colour as well, Ad? Like a deep green. Deep green, nice. Yeah. Mind you, can you imagine having a kitchen in those in those hematite rainbows? Mm. That would look really Amazing. psychedelic, wouldn't it? This is with your liquid light of your selenite. That just those are spacers just separated would look absolutely not again. Out. Multi buyers, pretty yep. much everybody who's grabbed it has, has multi bought. <laughs> yeah, yeah why not? Selenite, absolutely amazing. Russ is. Russ is just saying things. There's but two. Russ, hey, you're in charge. Two you hundred like. available of this one. If it goes, you do what you like, Russ. He'd like a minute clock, here we go. Oh, this he is... wants to be in, right, everybody. He's can I, can I just up. Can I just tell you what's happening here, right? He's trying to one-up things. This is what happens when the boys get together in this building, right? <laughs> it's either Scott and Wayne trying to outdo each other, or it's either... Now, Scott's the MD, and then the he's producer in there... He's, 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 he's overruled me. Overruled him no, and said, no. I can do anything you can do, I can do better. Look at him, look at him. His yeah. little wave. <laughs> This is 30 centimetres of gorgeousness. This is your royal blue. This is your fabulous royal blue coated hematite in those chamfered edge smooth cubes, four mil. Now there's no graduation on there. We've kept more film, Not four mil. Still. So if you want a channel set, if perfect you want a crame, perfect, because there's no graduation. Yes. If you want to uh, beady bead with a cube, that looks good. I think I remember a few years ago, Mark having a big kit with cubes. Yes, he did. Mm. Mm -hmm. And he loves it. Yeah. I bet he's messaged in. He would have. He'll have messaged in that Mark Smith. He will he have done. A cube. He, big does. Fan of the cube. he does. He does. He does. He does. He does. Masses and masses and masses and masses of you with it in your baskets. I don't know. What, we don't know what's happening here, do we? This is a five. One. We just need to say the words. We're a puppet. <gasps> Two seventy nine. Thank you, Ross. Thank Ross, not me. Liz has got five of them. <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz trusts Ross. Ross. I know. Ross. Uh, well, Rachel's had two, Tina's had two, uh, Johnny's had two, Yvette's had three. Um, who, who's winning at the minute? Liz is winning with five, Eileen's Liz's had five. three, Ali's had two, Penny's had two. Uh, you Pamela also... does have six in her basket, though. Oh, so she does have... If Pamela checks out... Oh, yeah, Pamela would be winning with, yes. Pamela, Pamela. Well, there's deer in Florida as well. These would look great next to the water, wouldn't they? Ooh. Oh, yeah, next yeah. to the sea. Can I take, can I bring no. those over to no. you? No, no, you can't. You? You're married. No, you can't. I, d I just wanted to go to Florida. I wasn't I thinking anything care. else. Doesn't matter. Doesn't <laughs> matter. I'll bring them out Sorry, to you, dear. dear. £2.79. <laughs> right, well done. I'm going to go to a star by in a minute. <laughs> can I fly them out? No. Um, Oh, do you know what? There you go. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline messaged in. In fact, we're doing it. It's happening. It's a day trough birthday special. We don't know where he is, but we, he's, he's sanctioned it. Coming up in a moment, right now, actually. Star right by now. under £20, Jay. See you in a second.
For those of you that have been watching the amazing, amazing shows that we have had over the last few weeks with the with the carved, sorry. Sorry, I just realised there's some jewellery there. Sorry, cutting across. Got a bit of stuff. Incredible. With Jade. And Dave was talking yesterday about Jade. He was talking about Jade, where it, 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 he's been out to the different tra uh, trade fairs lately, hasn't yes, he? And he has, yeah, yeah, came from, to Arizona and yeah, yeah just got back from Thailand. Bangkok and yeah. yeah. And he was saying that they advertised there was a bangle that they had, and it said natural Jade, um, but it had been oh now what did he call it? Clarity treated. So although it was still Jade, it was it had been treated, and then you go into the Type C that's flooding yeah. uh, Myanmar right now. And he was saying, you just, because of the military coup, because of what's happening out there, because of lockdown, because of COVID, because of all sorts of parameters, actually getting hold of Jade is going to become nigh on impossible. Um, almost impossible for us to be able to get yeah. type A. And type A, the reason everybody goes on and on and on and on and on about type A, and you'll know as a jury maker, but if you speak to anybody that doesn't know about gemstones, they're like, type A, what well, does that mean? Why am I bothered? Because that's the thing we forget sometimes. We all know, and we're in the know, so we go yeah. type A. So we know and we think that everybody gets what that means and why it's so important. But I said to a friend of mine the other day about type A, and they went, type A, was that me? And when I said, well, it's, you know, it's yeah, natural. It if you don't hand. know, you don't know. I think that is, that's one of the things yeah. about jewellery making and one of the things about gemstones that, and a lot of things that are hobbies, sometimes the entry feels difficult because there's so many words and so many yeah. terms. So yeah. we try and bring it, bring back, it down back down quite a few reality. times. Yeah, but, absolutely. And we'll, we'll do that every time. Yeah. But it is... Because we do when forget. When you first see it, you think, oh, gosh, I don't know what that means. And it's, it's a barrier, yeah. but it really shouldn't be. No, but really you also be. think that all gemstones are created equal and they're just jolly well not. They yeah. just aren't. Now, Dave has been talking recently about all of the spiritual meaning. I mean, look at that. Incredible. Can I just say as well to Sue and Anne? I know you live. Yeah, our ladies place. upstairs that, that create um, our jewellery for us from our various different kits and, and well, deal of the day. That is exceptional. Yeah, yeah. They've they've um, they've, they've absolutely definitely stepped up there. That, that is a they? showcase and yeah. a half. Yeah, they have incredible. showcased that. And the thing is, you can go elaborate like this with this. It's called a high goo, which is a, it, 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 in the UK we would call it a donut, but it doesn't really sound as good, does it? You know. <laughs> But the, we do different styles of these. We either do them with the larger hole in the middle, mm -hmm. which takes away the jade. And what we actually decided with this, with the high goo, is decided to make it as much jade as possible. So the hole, although it's, you need the hole there to be able to set it, yeah. we've kept it as small as possible while still being able to get a good gauge of wire yeah. through yeah. there. Yeah. But if you're looking at that thinking like me, I can't do a wire work, I don't do wire work, I couldn't do that if you paid me. You could set this with just a random piece of leather two mil cord. Yeah, it's not... Or, or any kind of, just that, just actually threaded onto one of our chains. One and, of if, our... and if you are new and watching today, you do have 30 day money back guarantee. Yep. It's a free phone number. It's one PMP for the whole day. We will help you through it. There's a Facebook community. If you called our call center and wanted any advice, any help, speak yep. to any other team, they'll help you through it. It's it not... really is. We are a, a community, a family. Yep. We will support you through absolutely anything. And this is the thing. This is the thing as well. It's, it's a very comfortable, stress-free purchase. Yeah. And you don't get many of those these days. You really we don't. We want to give everybody equal opportunity of grabbing it like we did with putting it on pre-order. So we're just going to give you a minute until the graphics come live. It's been on pre-order since 8 o'clock this morning, though. And over, I think Ross said 20% of the stock has gone. Yeah. What, at, well, um, way up, yeah. On pre-order. And that's, again, that is at the price that it's currently at now, which is £498, I believe, if yep. I might have missed the penny off. Yep. One... Just one of the things I wanted to say about from a from managing the business from a commercial side about JDI, and I know that Dave has managed to bring incredible um, products to air more recently with you. So we had an opportunity a couple of months ago now to acquire what was within the market at absolutely amazing, amazing opportunity. Okay. And it was it is kind of, this is one of those moments where you know you, you read the curtain, you open the curtain, you say, what can we do? Where are we going with it? But this was a huge opportunity. And it's something that we won't be able to do again. It's a moment in time and I know Dave talks about it a lot, but this is something that it sets us apart from a lot of other businesses and brands in being able to do this. But the thing is, this this is the only bit that does worry me. It, the auction's open, by the way, and it, sorry, I'll come just you know, one yeah, second. Of course, I just course want can. to tell yeah, you yeah, now. Yeah. ZEM241, ZEM for magnificent, 241. I'm just shouting the code out for you that those of you who got your head down trying to call the call centre, trying to get it. It hasn't been we on the order. We have said it will be under 20 it's as well. It's under 20, a £20 note. Yeah. 
It's it, it's an, it's a three figure piece all day long. It it truly is. But uh, I just the thing I, I just want to go back to this because it is worrying me a little bit. And I've seen the odd comment on Facebook, and we need to reiterate this. This is a genuine moment in time opportunity. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. window is going to be slammed shut very shortly. Mm -hmm. Yeah when everything reopens, because Hong Kong still hasn't reopened, yeah, and that's yeah. one of the biggest yeah. gemstone trade fairs of the planet, isn't it? And, and it's because of our because of our power in the market, because of our links, because of our conversations and, and relationships that Jake, Dave, Toby have built over the past yep, four, so five, six up. years. Yep. The groundwork for this opportunity that we've been offered has, has happened, and, and this is what we have now. It is... Um, it's remarkable. It, it, again, from a sense where I see it, I work with the team, I speak to Dave about, can we go and get this? Wayne, like we've got this opportunity. I often say yes, there'll come a point where we won't be able to say no. yes, because what we've managed to bring to you, we won't be able to do again. And we always want to bring the best. And we've always said, haven't we? And we do mean this, and I've seen this time and time and time and time and time again on a daily basis. If we get the deal, you get the deal. Yeah, and this, this will be an example of it today, oh, it right? It really here. is. Because um, many of the shows, many of the days, this is an opportunity to have watched today. Yeah. This would not be under, te uh, no. under 20 pounds. Under 20 pounds, no chance. Now, also, bearing in mind, this should be into the three figures, into the 100 pounds, no, no question about it. So just put that there so you can actually see it. This is the one of the most collectible colours as well, so, your delicious apple green, that light apple green. We'll pop a price on screen now, which I believe that the people who already purchased it, which is over 100, would yeah. have appreciated it at. So 99.99. Okay. For natural, genuine, if you, if you managed to get into, well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get into Burma at the moment because of the situation out there. If you did happen to get there and you did happen to go into the, into the markets of, uh, the jade markets of, of Myanmar in, in Burma, like Dave says, and he's been there, and Jake, and Toby, all of our gem investors. Um, firstly, you might be able to get some jade, but if you did, the more, more than likely it would be type C, which is, which is treated, it's impregnated, it's got polymer. And that affects the very makeup of the gemstone. It, doesn't, it yeah. means it's not as strong, it's not as valued. And that, and, but the thing is, you can get your authenticity certificate that absolutely 100% guarantees and certifies that that purchase of that incredible 18 mil, let's remember, we got excited this morning about a 14 mil round grace, a beautiful silver picture jasper. Yeah. And we were saying 14 mil, and that was a jasper. Yeah. We got an 18 mil with the smallest hole, solid, piece of natural, genuine, Amazing. authentic Burmese Myanmar jadeite jade. And Zina, you can see there are a lot of people have this already in their basket. A lot of you trust us and Susan's checked out those prices. Yeah, it is a multi-buy. I've got a second, can I stop you there, right? So, can, can I stop you? Because we have can. said Go it, on. right? We have said it, and I bet there Susan knows. So this should be, even in jewelry maker terms, we shouldn't be at 99.99, right? No. Now, the thing is there, so Susan has bought five. Susan, is going to get the five for that price. That when you put it into context I like know. that, I know. Susan, Susan, sorry to keep shouting and pointing at you, Susan in Essex. She's going to buy five of them for the same price that's on the screen. Wow. Should we have a sixty-second clock? <laughs> Goodness gracious! I, I know there's a lot of you, and I've been guilty of it at times, and I'm sure I will be again, where we still don't quite believe what's been said. We don't believe the presenter. We don't believe the guest that's there saying, no, they can't do it. I need to see it in writing. But there is a danger of those of you with the in your baskets that are waiting to see it in writing. There is always that, that, that really genuine concern that you may miss out if you don't check out now, because the good news is, when that 30-second clock has finished, Everybody pays the final low price, even if they've bought five or two or one or whatever. This is the opportunity of an absolute lifetime to get this under 20 Okay, you've got today. 20 seconds now before we, um, before we do what we said we were going to do, gonna which to um, I already feel like we're regretting as we're talking about it and it's talking brilliant. through it. I can guarantee you now people will be running into the gallery looking at the viewing platform, which is the top. Exactly. Donna, the CFO, yeah. will be back in a minute. How many did we have, sorry, Ross? Oh, did we? Oh, br oh, it proper is a closeout deal from Dave for his birthday then. $19.99. We're doing it. It's going into what? It, it's going in. Every single penny out of this deal. Suja, congratulations, you've just bought six. You're currently in the lead, my darling, with six glory. I mean, I've never thought I'd see the day. No. 
I actually, that almost makes me feel... You know when you feel like... Oh, I'd have shocked then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put my dogs down there. I, that, I don't I go speechless very often. I know, I know. I was waiting for words. And I, I said, are you OK? I You're didn't all have, right here. It, I've not stood uh, here and, and sold Jade up for £20. Um, and uh, I don't think you have either. It? it doesn't feel right. I literally don't feel like I've got anything to say. No. No, no. never happened. This is the moment where we normally look to Dave and go, Dave, can you... Uh, yeah. And he goes, um, no, you shouldn't have done this. Goodness And then tells us gracious. something about why. Where is Dave Troth? I'll find him. We need to go and get Dave Troth in here today to say Tell a massive thank you. Tell him we've done a birthday special. You. Wish him happy birthday. Massive thank you to Dave, because Dave was on the show yesterday. We did a wonderful... And the, oh, that everybody's waiting to get their mutton fat... Nephrite Jade Bangle. Where, I, know, well, I need mine. I, know, I need it delivered. I, I need it delivered. I know. It, it will be. Sh the next few days you'll start to receive those. We need it. Yeah. We need it. We need the it. We need it. it. Uh, right then, my lovelies. Now, the good news is... Ah, oh, now there you are. Say that again. Sorry, Ross. That is one well-used calculator. That was in Tucson. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's what I didn't understand. Right, sorry, I didn't see the thing. That's ten th over $10,000. That's what I was, I was yeah. thinking. That yeah. can't be right. It resonates with the price, yeah. Ten Where's the decimal 000. point there? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. $10,000 for that high goo there. Uh, here we've got here a Jade Donut pendant Gosh. in New York right now. Seven thousand four hundred and twenty-six pounds and fifty-eight pence. They've put a bale on there. That's it. That looks like a little diamond there. But for all intents and purposes, and I'm not being rude, I think our jade looks better. Sorry. Give another do. sixty seconds, please. Feels wrong to say it, and I'm sorry, Dave, if you are watching. I hope that someone's taking you for a birthday coffee and you're not in the office at this point in time. What well, am I? Is this well, for me? Well, I'm. I'm going to give. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to just leave you to do this yourself. I'll take it. <laughs> I've got 44 really seconds. I feel lost now. I'm okay when there's someone with me. <laughs> oh, come here. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to do that. You're anything like guilty by association. About wrong. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The Thank you for everybody who's now. checking it into your baskets and trusting us. 28, uh, 28 seconds, 24 seconds. Um, Dying Florida's back again. Beverly's back. Christine's back. Yeah, Emma's people are back. now increasing Thank their you. order. You are all going to pay the low price, the final price that we go yes, to. Mate, you're already paying the, fi the low price, but it's I not know. the final low price. That's strange, doesn't it? It's not the last oh, price. Oh, that's just shocking. Shocking. Ten seconds. Brilliant. Oh, Scott. We're going to take every single pound and penny that we can. You already have, but there you go. I know. We're going to try and do it. So. Monica's over the far away. I would imagine Monica's so, going to get it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. $17.99. Oh, don't be sorry. Be, be honestly. I just feels wrong. It feels wrong. No, it but feels thank wrong you. to the to the to the jade, but it feels right to our. It's right to the customers, isn't it? And again, now Monica, you're across the way. I don't know if you've got your mic on, darling. Oh, okay. So <laughs> just quickly then, if you did a lark's head knot, what do you have to do? And I'll I'll talk it through. Well, you fold your rope. You fold your rope or your chain in half. Put the folded end. Put the folded end through the hole. And then you put the two loose ends. The two loose ends through the loop. through the loop, and that's it. Knot it at the back. Oh, that, simple. That's, that's, it can, um, I know the girls, <laughs> I know Anne and Sue have gone to town, as you would do, to showcase that with the wire work. It might be that you want to set it in gallery wire. You might want a wire wrap. You might want to add it onto a sterling silver or rose gold plate or yellow gold plate necklace or chain. The opportunities, you might, you might want to do it in the centre of a beautiful cha uh, chain mail design. There's so many. I mean, that's not too... Oh, sorry, Adam. I don't think that's too big for earrings, do you? Imagine those as actual jade earrings. And at seventeen ninety nine, that's going to cost you with the sterling silver findings. That would make you less than forty pounds. Okay, if you've never seen me on air before, most typically when I'm here, I try and create some sort of drama that I then managed it. Look, I have to tell myself off about. Um, can we have another clock, please? Oh, hundred and twenty seven we... left. We had five. Ross, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell me that before I said, "Can we have another clock?" That feels now wrong. Did we? Did we, did we, did we <laughs> Can you take that back? Did we have five hundred, Ross? Dave got five hundred. Oh, can't wait. Just, can I come? Can I just come and follow you when you go and see Dave today? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to look him in the eye. <laughs> I'll just say happy birthday. I might have to pop to the local <laughs> shop and get him a, a bottle or something. I think you're going to have to. Apologise. Goodness gracious. It's, it, I will know if I've um, really upset when Jake looks at me. If Jake gives me the eye like... Oh, yeah, I've yeah. seen that look. Mm. Yeah, I've seen that yeah. look. Who cares? 
said him. 18 seconds. Two, four, one. Susan's got four. Karen's got five. Now, come on, who's going to beat? Who's, who's beating okay. five? Is Karen winning? Karen and Sandra had five each, didn't they? We are seriously going lower on this 18 mil, completely natural type A Myanmar Burmese apple green on the way to you white. Stunning okay. deal. I'm going to drag this out for one more second. It doesn't feel right. The words won't come out. 14.99. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, that for the, is that for everybody who's That's there? For, uh, That's for everyone who's there. Me, you want me to give him a big fat kiss and a hug, don't you? I'd do it for you. <laughs> I'd do it for you. Uh, Jury making flinch has just gone, I'll have five then. Come on, I'm going to join the likes of that. Oh, Susan's, Susan's up to order six. six. She's winning. No. Congratulations. Right, can we times that by six? What's that? So that's 36. She spent 90 quid. We've now it. taken what should be a three-figure minimum Hi, Goo, donuts. As we said before, please do um, wait with Goodness. us. There is a slight queue on the phone line, so please do stick with us. Uh, Carol's got six. Well done, Carol. Oh, Susan's now got ten. Oh, Susan. She knows what she's doing. Well done, she Susan. She does know what she's doing. Can I just, that for those of you that sell your jewellery, how much would you sell that for? Would you let me know? If you featured that just with a, a necklace or with a piece of leather or however you're going to set it, would you tell us what you charge, please? I reckon you, if you did the bare minimum, popped that on a chain, piece of leather, knotted it, sold it over £100, which you should do, that means so you're going to be making whatsoever. £85 profit margin on every single yeah. one of those, yeah. those jade items. Oh. Again, just because... Wow. I think we say this quite often, we try to say it more. Steady just gone. because the prices that we've been able to bring to you, please don't devalue your jewellery with No, that. absolutely please not. Don't. That, that's got to be three figures minimum. Yeah, Minimum. Not. Would you agree, Monica? Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, Liz just said this is the nicest birthday present from David. We should be giving him something for this deal. Oh, lovely Liz. What a lovely message. I'll buy him a bottle of something nice, I promise. Will you? Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll get him. I'll in. go tell him what we've done and then buy him a bottle of something nice. <laughs> yeah, do Hopefully he first. doesn't know, because if he does, then... <laughs> oh, now, Dia's in... Fl this is Dia in Florida. Hello. Um, happy birthday, Dave. Thank you. Just had to have this before they are gone. Thank you, Scott. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thank Dear, you, thank you for texting in. Yeah, I'll go wants, tell Dave you wish him happy birthday. He wants to bring it out to you in Florida. Alison said, happy birthday, Dave. Uh, use my JM birthday voucher. Oh, no. Whoop, whoop. Oh, no. Oh, what? Gosh. Oh, oh no, back. that means the, the one that you got Stephen the... Back. Oh. Good for you, Alison. Well done, Alison. Very, Very uh, savvy, Alison. Great, great opportunity. Well done for using it then. <laughs> Surprise and delight. <laughs> right, but We're Helen's getting... just had six. There's people checking out fours, we'll fives, sixes, threes, in a and tens and eights. We've only got 24 left, but people are checking. Somebody's just bought two, another two. Janet's had two, another Janet's had two. Dee's just had two, Yvette's just had five. Wendy's just had two, Beverly's just had two. Helen's just had six. You've got to be quick. Wow. Look how quick they're going down. They're going down. 14 99 That has to be one of the best deals. It's on... why you've got to watch all the time Isn't on Jewelry Maker. Because we ne you never know where, what we're going to do. Well, never know. Well, they didn't tell me that. Forty ninety nine. Oh dear, there's another financial oh, whiskey. John Winsberg. Oh, oh no. no, John. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that John's waving. He doesn't realise we've just literally no, made no money. No. no. <laughs> it's going, Hello. It's breezy up there. He's thinking it's all fine. He'll be walking around the corner. <laughs> I've got. He's an... probably seen all those names, thinking they're making some money, and he's like, "We're not." <laughs> I've got, I've got a financial planning meeting in a minute as well, so that's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, can I just say, thank you ever so much Are you for welcome. coming on. Seriously, and thank, thank thanks you for, for them deals, look. Please, please do give us feedback on Facebook about the or any of the social media channels about the cubes. We, we are going to try some new shapes. It won't and be the last time you'll see it, me. So you can I'll ask be, them what you want. I'll be back here again in a few weeks' time for the other ones. Um, for if the it's allowed. And some of the others. There so, aren't nine chances left. You. Ross has moved on to do something else. There yeah. are not nine chances left. There just aren't. Apologies 40, for the jade. 99. Happy birthday. Happy birthday from Dave. And if we get a chance, can you get him to see if he'll stick his head Of course head I can. I'll see if he pops his head Can you? Yeah, can you? Of course I can. Okay. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. So happy for you. Brilliant. We're just going to go to a little tiny short break. We've got amazing kits, kits still to come. We still haven't talked about the, 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 the cashmere sapphire. The selenite we've got coming up for you as well. We can't wait. We'll see you after the break. Bye-bye. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, 
along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. We actually are all in shock. Well done. Honestly, well done. And, and, and Monica was lovely then, and I've just got to say, because when I was on air the other day, um, myself uh, and Susie, and I know uh, Vix from uh, Sewing Street, all couldn't miss the opportunity to get the white mutton fat jade, uh, nephrite jade bangle. Uh, we just, we just, th there was just, that was just not an opportunity to be missed, because we normally don't buy on air. And I could see Monica and I said, you're all right. She went, oh, she said, I wanted to buy that, do that high good donut then at 14 99 I said, well, why didn't you? She said, because there were so many people. She said, I thought I'd wait until the end of the show. And if there's any left then, I'd get one. And I think that's really sweet yeah. of you. I don't think I'm going to get one. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really kind of you. So thank you. Very selfless. Uh, right then, my lovelies, as you can see, I'm refusing to take this one off at the moment, but I will do. I'll give it back to the girls. But it's stunning. <laughs> it feels lovely as well. Um, right then, my darlings, we have got the... L Less than 20 available of the Scholar site coming up as well in a moment. 
we've got the cashmere peridot, we've got the kits. Mm -hmm. But first, I want to bring you the last opportunity that we have on this rarely seen magical gemstone. And I do mean magical. If you, if, if you want a gemstone, I can, I can go into the, 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 um, how, it's, how it's formed, how big it forms, how uniquely it forms, where it forms, and all of the things and about the chakra and the crown chakra and uh, the spirituality of it and the meaning and the blah, 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 blah. But if you forget all that for a minute, because I think sometimes rather than us waxing lyrical and going on and educated, I, I will do, but sometimes it's just the standalone beauty of a, gem, a, a, a gemstone that, that just speaks for itself. And that's what selenite does. We've only had it twice before. I know Elle launched it back in May, I think it was. And there was only one strand there, uh, one or two strands, and it absolutely flew out in about two minutes. And it's because if you want to shine a light on your yeah. jewellery making, whether it's a pearl, whether it's a gemstone, whether it's a seed bead design, yeah. and you want to almost get like a, the most beautiful, natural spotlight and just put it, by putting that gemstone of, of light next to something else, like even like that, that high goo jade we've just had, yeah. Yeah. you pop in a selenite. And on top of that, the selenite has got striations in it. So it almost looks like it's got chatoyancy, like yeah. a cat's eye effect, rippling across the surface. It's quite magical, isn't it's it? It's unbelievable. Yeah. And they refer to it as the, the liquid light gemstone. I'm just double check that I'm... Oh, yeah, got you. Sorry, sorry, Ross. I thought I'd lost you there. I'll put it on, first of all, if I may, above that lovely high good that you've just... All oh, hopefully got hold of. Perfect on there, wouldn't it? it? Oh, just lovely. But you see, as I move now, as I as you look there and it's stuff, it's not moving. It's it's it it illuminates the yeah. skin. But then yeah. as I move, watch the striations. All see, look. Yeah. It's, I mean, if you look down the side of the necklace, there it looks like it's like the ring of Saturn. Yeah, you can definitely see that sort of cat's eye effect in there, aren't you? And it, it really does. It looks like it actually gives off its own light, it does. doesn't it? It's unbelievable, a selenite. Now, we proved that earlier on with the cubes that, um, and every gemstone I've picked up practically today, I popped it with a selenite. Yeah. And it is, it is unbelievable, this gemstone. It really is. It's one of the prettiest effects. It's almost like a crackle quartz meets a snow globe, meets, meets snowfall, meets cat's eye, meets yeah. chatoyancy. And then couple that with... This, this wonderful torch light and it's all natural this is the incredible thing it's absolutely natural now we've got an image which if, if I can show you just to show you the 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 amazing way that this gemstone forms now this is in a in Mexico this is called the cave of crystals this is now those, those are all selenite there. Wow. Okay, every single one of those is selenite. We've got it in, in perspective scale-wise because you can see the size of the, the, the guys in the orange uh, suits in the, in the background there. No other gemstone on this planet grows like this. Wow. Now, if, you, if I give you an idea of size there, because you're probably thinking, oh, my goodness me, can't work out how big that is. Right. In diameter, some of the, this is the, some of the largest formations of selenite on the planet out in Mexico, and it, it's... It's the perfect conditions for it to grow, basically. That's why it grows so well out there. Um, so it's all, all what's underneath the, gr the ground. Um, on the right-hand side of those, you can see they are, I'm going to give you the measurements, 1.2 diameters across. Yeah. So 1.2 metres across. Gosh. And in length, this is the only place in the world they grow like this, out in Mexico. It's, um, it's uh, Chihuahua, actually, in Mexico. And I always oh, remember that. I just think of the dog. <laughs> uh, it's the Cave of Crystals. This is in, in the early 2000s. They grow to 15 metres in length. So when we have Alex wow. the Mineral Man come in, and he has those beautiful wands and towers of selenite, which is one of the most powerful gemstones in the crystal healing world, if you believe in all that as well. That just gives you some idea that how... Can you imagine getting a piece like that, 15 metres by 1.2 metres across? And then we cut them beautifully into these sizes of rounds. So that would be... That would be almost like 
uh, one of those huge big trees that you can't reach around. Absolutely. That's about yeah. the size, isn't it? Yeah. But then what we do is look, and you can see, that, uh, there's, there's your classic look. So it looks beautiful anyway, and then the light hits, wow. and the liquid <laughs> light travels all the way around. It's magical, look. It truly is magical. It's one of the most fascinating gemstones. And the lovely thing is, it's not a gemstone that you, that you would have in your stash that you wouldn't use. You would use that all the time. Look at them there. Wow. Now, it's very, very, very rare, usually because of the size, because of that 1.2 metres by anything up to 15 metres. They're normally carved into the bowls for meditation. They're normally carved into the big wands. They're normally carved into the big towers and prisms as Alex the Mineral Man has shown us time and time again. To have it in a wearable, yeah. usable, jewellery maker round on a strand is such a luxury. We don't have this very often. I think this is the third time we've ever had selenite in rounds. I've got the smaller size coming up. I've got 67 mil as well. There were less than 20 opportunities, I'm afraid, on this. It's so popular, this gemstone. Again, if you make chakra jewellery and you want to, yep. this goes. Uh, this is definitely the top end of the, i.e. the um, crown chakra. What do you think? And you know what's really lovely about having them in the rounds is, uh, as you're turning it there, you can see that you don't see the, 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 the effect on all of them all the time. But when you've got them stranded up into your necklace with the rounds moving around as you're wearing the necklace, there will always be one or two and always different ones that show exactly. off that, uh, that effect. So yeah. it's kind of like that double take effect, like, oh, did I just see that in one of them? It's, it's kind of like when you look at Labradorite, isn't it? Yep, totally. Can I, can I look, watch, just watch these two at the end. Mm. Do, you see what, do you see what a lover's one is? The way we cut them, they go in different directions, look. So that's yeah. sort of, that, do you see? So that's going sort of straight on that one there. And then this one, as I turn it here, see how it like billows out from the centre. Yeah. Do you know as well? Um, so I'm going to just mention this. This is this is from original source Mexico as well. The selenite, and it's named after the goddess of the moon, and she was called Selen. Oh. And it's it really seemed like a fitting tribute at the time when they when they named it after the goddess of the moon because you can understand why. Can I show you one more picture? There's a church um, out a basilica out in Rome. Um, here it is. It's, uh, they have, they've got the biggest, biggest windows in this church. This goes back to the 5th century. And it, they say they think it's the earliest Christian church out in Rome. It's called Santa Sabina. It's perched high above the... Uh, it's to the north of... Um, it's called the Circus Maximus in Rome. It's by a lovely orange grove. And those windows, right, the massive, massive windows, do you know what they're made of? They're not glass. Nope. Not cheese, thank you. That's selenite. Wow. Because back in the days, in those early centuries, and we're talking fifth century there, glass hadn't been invented God. in that sense, <laughs> in windows. All, and as the, we've got the inside of the church as well, the basilica as well inside, I think we did have anyway. And as the light shines through the, into the inside of the, There you go. Wow. Thank you, Ross. Into the inside of that stunning... 5th century basilica, first Christian church out in Rome. As the light comes through, you can see it through the top there. Wow. All that light being projected and what illuminates that, that basilica yeah. is this selenite. And it's probably brighter in the, than if it was clear glass. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's magical. And the good news is as well, just to mention to you, my lovelies, we do actually have, and I would recommend if you can afford to go for both sizes, because as Monica's just said, when you actually put them together... And you see all these striations moving yeah. and billowing around about that gemstone in all different directions. It really does pack an impact. And that for any single winter design, Christmas design, oh, yes. winter wedding. Oh, I mean, beautiful. come on. Aren't they glorious? But any wedding, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or christening, I'm thinking, or communion, oh, yes. that kind of... Because they're very pure. They're very yeah. sort of innocent, aren't they? They're magnificent, truly, truly magnificent gemstone. I mean, imagine, imagine that sort of a, a big, sort of, um, sort of bib style. A bib style. Yeah. Necklace. If you if you're having oh, your wedding with a, maybe yeah. a few, I don't know, Absolutely. a bit of sterling silver in there or yeah. something. Yeah. Or you add in any pearls. Oh yes. Yeah. If you add in, and I'll tell you what, you wait till you see the pearl strand I've got coming up. But just Ooh. to give you an idea, look at that. Oh, oh yes. Yes. 
Oh, now we're talking now it's nice, and nice to see the contrast of the... Isn't it? Of the, sort of the clarity and the non-clarity yeah. as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Last chance. Now, the six to seven mil are coming up for you, my darlings. Uh, they are indeed. And if you get the chance to own any of our last of stock scholar site coming up as well, and they're coming up straight afterwards, and that is not your buy price. That is not... We're not done. These... I mean, look at that. Now, if I just... I mean... Look, I'm going to pop this red one on because uh, Monica was going on about this red one earlier yeah. today. Now look at the effect. It's almost like um, Shara White, isn't it? Yeah. With the, you know, or selenite with those lovely feathery effects. Now again, if you pop it, whether it's the red, these oranges, these delicious colours, if you get that, oh, and in the kits yesterday, sorry to jump up, uh, all over the place, but yesterday we had some brand new ombre cord Ooh. silks yes, in 0.5 and 0.9, I thought oh, you might. Oh, that would be perfect. With Mark, yeah. If you got that in with the ombre and you got the selenite, you add in the pearls and then you add in those scholar site as well. What a kit that would be. Oh, wow. Wouldn't it? Can I have that kit? Yeah, I bet you'd like that kit, wouldn't you? Unfortunately, we haven't got enough. But the scholar site are coming up afterwards. And again, if you want to keep it dreamy, you can go for the more natural muted oh. tones of scholar site as well. Look, oh. wouldn't that be perfect? Would you like your buy price on your stunning original source Mexican natural liquid light it's referred to in the industry in the gemstone world do you want your buy price we do have the six to seven mil coming up as well last opportunity we don't have any more in the vault wow <laughs> that is your last chance we have this is our launch price originally we only managed to get 105 opportunities this is your last chance to buy Christine, Valerie, jewelry maker, Julie, Alison, Liz, Yvette, Gillian, jewelry maker, Antoinette, Sandra, can already checked out. Congratulations. $24.99. If I just put that around your high goo as well. Oh, beautiful. Wouldn't that look lovely? Would you believe that? Unbelievable. $24.99. Have you got any selenite? Uh, I have some ones. Oh, from Alex? Um, no, actually, it was in a kit once. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, wow. But I was just thinking, you got that, if you get that selenite and you got the high goo, yeah. that's less than £40. Oh, gosh, yeah, because yeah. we've just gone to that ridiculous fourteen ninety nine on the donut, haven't we? Wow. Oh, my days. It is a race to the finish line. Now, if, Mandy, you get the two that you're trying to get hold of, if, um, oh gosh, if Alison gets the two she wants, if everybody, Yvette, you've got it, don't worry, you've got it, you're in there. Um, Valerie as well, uh, out in, I think you're in France there, I think it is, my goodness me. 105, we've got 17 left. Nobody will send these back. Nobody will utilise their 30-day money-back guarantee. And I'm not surprised, it's the most... And again, even if you add in any colour of yeah. seed beads, oh, any yeah. colour in... Absolutely in, anything. In our lovely Monica's kits coming up later. Look at that. You could just add every colour yep. of seed bead in these and it'd work. Also, can I show you what's coming up? Am I allowed to give a sneaky peek? Do you think? I think so. <laughs> <gasps> Have you seen these coming up in Monica's, Monica's kits? Bees? Uh, yeah. Bees? They're bees! <laughs> They're bees! Let me put them the right way up so you can see. We've got bees. Bees in that beautiful design. I've got them in gold as well. Let me just grab those as well for you, look. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Might have put them the right way, but there you go. Coming up in Monica's kits. Beautiful. Uh, well done, everybody. Now we've... Oh, my goodness me. Look at the call centre. Look at the call... Look at the... Um, sorry, put those back in the right... But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> put them back in the right way. Um, now, our lovely Ross, I'm so sorry. Sometimes Ross has to do so many things in that gallery. He's got so many buttons to press. He's got so many people to talk to. I'm afraid we don't have 12. Oh, sorry, Monica. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. The bees were getting away from me. Oh, they were, weren't they? <laughs> I just look, look at that movement there. I don't know as well, does anybody go back to the days when they were at school and they used to play marbles? And yeah. used to have those fancy sapphires. I, um, in fact, I could use my phone to, to... Let me show you. I've got to show you, actually. Let me, can I show you when they're, when they're lit up as well? Here we go. So, can I ask... Could you, I don't know if we can do this together, but we're going to have a go. Thank you, sweet pea. Like that, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Can you hold those forward a bit further? Can you put them a bit? There you go. To show you. 
So if that's blinding you a little bit, I'm trying to hold it down so it doesn't look at that. Oh, wow. Do you see? I mean, they light up on their own, but the second an actual natural, imagine that when the sunshine hits those and how dramatic that's going to look both in the evening, if you're like in a, you know, if you're sort of out of an evening and there's great bright white lights or if you, you got the, they really do glow. They're absolutely sensational. It's and I think that with your jade. It's almost like they collect up the light and then they sort of, yeah, they hold on to it. out in different yeah. directions. And that's exactly what they do. That's the beauty. Yeah. Look at that. See? Isn't that clever? Oh. Look at that. Amazing. Let's just take that back a bit. There you go. That's what I was trying to do. Hold Ooh. those back a bit. See, and you can really see the striations then, can't you? Sorry if I'm blinding you. I'm trying ever so hard not to. Look at that. Oh, wow. Woo! There you go. Uh, oh, I've just blinded myself. <laughs> oh, that's helpful. Um, right then, my lovelies, that's nearly sold out. Daily, daily, daily. Where have you got those pearls from, Ross? It's amazing pearls yeah. from. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would please suggest trying to get them both. I really would, because it just works so well together, doesn't it? It does, and it really gives uh, your jewellery sort of that planned effect, if you know what I mean. It's not just like you grab the strands and you made a piece of jewellery. If you have two, two strands of the same gemstone in different yeah. sizes, it looks like you really went to the effort to, to make it's that like piece of jewellery. It's like when you go to the effort to, to sort of um, accessorise when you're exactly. wearing a nice outfit, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't mean you have to use both whole strands. No. Nope in a one piece of jewellery, even just for a pair of earrings, if you use a small one and a larger one underneath, it, it automatically gives your piece of jewellery interest. Exactly. And that's the thing, you are guaranteed interest in your jewellery with these because of, the, because of the, the, the striations. There's no two ways about it. And again, if you start talking to people about the crystal healing aspect of uh, selenite, um, then again, they will all talk about selenite. If you talk, the first thing, that if you've ever go if you ever go back and watch any of Alex's Alex the Mineral Man, if you go back to our um, jewelrymaker.com website and you click on uh, selenite, you'll see Alex's um, shows come up, and he'll start to talk to you about the importance of this gemstone. Let alone the fact that we're going back to the the early early you know fifth century with the Romans, and they're using selenite, and it was such a revered gemstone at the time. Now we've just taken the seven to eight mil to 24.99 so those were 24.99 we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock and we're not stopping at 49.99 that's a promise on your selenite last chance now am i right in thinking there is no more in the vault this is it this is it there is no more selenite in the vault okay i'm just going to take the six mil away and put them on their own for you so you can see them. It's just gorgeous. Now the thing is as well, you know if you are jewellery making or you're meditating or you're in that mindfulness mode and zone and all that kind of thing, if you, because well jewellery making is meditating yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Oh definitely. Do you agree? Oh definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally agree. Uh, it's, it's all, oh look at that, look at oh. that, I mean come on, ding See, that's dong. what I mean about seeing the, the effect on different stones when exactly. you're wearing it as a piece yeah. of jewellery. It's just spectacular. Um, but this is all about, if you, they, they do say that if you actually work with selenite, you make jewellery with selenite, you meditate with selenite, yeah. if you hold a piece of selenite, it helps to give you clarity. Yeah. So it might be something you're struggling with at the moment, it's something you can't make your mind up on, something you can't decide what piece of jewellery you're going to make, what design you're going to make. This is said to help give you clarity. That's one of the things it's supposed to do. I mean, even if you, even if you're somebody who doesn't believe in, in the... Yeah, in, some people in, do, in, some people don't. In all of that... If you just look at the gemstone, if you're working with it, you can't help but be drawn into sort of looking at the effects and it completely takes your mind off of everything else. Yeah. So, you know, you don't have to believe the gemstones have any no, special you know. effects. It's, it's just the look of it on its yeah. own that makes yeah. you, um, it kind selenite. of draws you in. Yeah. I just, think, I just think for me, there is no other gemstone that does what selenite does. And anybody that loves chatoyancy, I tell you what, if you're a Tiger's Eye fan, yeah. And you've never tried this paired with any colour of tiger's eye. Yes. Now, we had those. In fact, I'll tell you what, um, Dan, yeah, you're good. gorgeous Dan. Yes, thank you, darling. You know, this morning when we had that beautiful, deep blue uh, tiger's eye in the kit? Yeah. Can you I'm still put... Oh, hang on. Ignore me. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Quite right. 
Now, look at this. Oh. Monica made a beautiful... We had a kit earlier with these wonderful uh, four-leaf clover designs in Goldstone, which is going to look amazing because you've got the galaxy with the moon of the selenite. Then we had the chatoyancy in the kit. These kits were unbelievable. I think from memory they went under £20. But if you get the chatoyancy in any colour, and you think in Tiger's Eye we do classic, classic yellows and chocolates yeah. and caramels, we do it in green, we do it in blue, we do it in purple, we've done it in silver, we've done it in fuchsia pink. I'm trying to think if it was a colour of mist. Oh, there was that um, the galaxy one. Yeah, oh, the, the gold stone. No, the galaxy tiger's eye. Oh, gosh, we had that the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so we did a galaxy. Yeah. Oh, galaxy tiger's eye oh. with selenite with the moon oh, my with God, the gold stone. Oh, no, that's a... <laughs> oh, my days, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, but look how well it goes with the chatoyancy of tiger's eye. If you've got any tiger's eye in your collection, you've got to get selenite. You've got to. Thank you, darling. 19.99. If you want to see the other one as well, we had it. And they're good length strands as well. That's 33 centimetres, that one. That's just eight, uh, 7 to 8 mil, 24.99. Just £5 more for that strand. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, right then, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this a bit randomly. I'm going to show you the first strand because I know that when we launched these, and I think it was something like, did we see 21st of July or something? It was only a couple of months ago. Yeah, a couple of months ago. Um, and um, I'll be honest, sometimes we, obviously we get people, we get our amazing producers, they put a lot of work in, they send us a big long star by sheet of basically telling us what we've got in the show, all that mm -hmm. kind of thing. It's a lot of work goes into it. And I had my star by sheet from my producer and it said scholar site deal of the day. And I'm thinking, what the... Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, I, I, I'm going to be honest now, I went up to Dave Troth, who knows, you know, pretty much everything. Yeah. Never heard of scholar site. Oh. I bumped into Jake Thompson in the White Swan Pub Hotel round the corner, picking his daughter up from Molly from uh, piano lessons, and I said, Jake, just the person. Scholar sight. Hmm. No idea. So I think straight away I'm thinking, oh, we've got something special here. Yeah. Because the thing is, not, nobody knows everything. Dave and Jake will admit that. Steve Bennett will admit that. Toby will admit that. They know a lot of gemstones. They know a lot. They've got a lot of contacts. But there are certain gemstones that even they have never heard of. You think of yesterday with the Aquapraise. You think about, you know, Yarni discovering a new gemstone that yeah. nobody's ever discovered before. It does happen. No matter how educated and experienced you are, not everybody... Right. I want to show you something before I show you the gemstone, if I may. If that's okay, Ross. This picture... Because this is inside wow. this gemstone. Gosh. Now, when we were on air last time, and I'm so sorry, I was due to go home yesterday. Sorry, Ad. I, I was due to go home yesterday because what we did is, we, I stayed at my dad's, you see, the last couple of nights because he lived around the corner. And when we first launched these scholar sites, we cut one in half with a hammer. We actually hammered oh, wow. into it. Because we wanted to prove the point. Because I wanted to see this as, a, as an accredited jewellery professional. I wanted to... I've never seen a gemstone grow like that. Wow. No gemstone grows like that. And when we cracked it open, I can't do it today. And the only reason I can't do it today is because we have so limited availability. But if I show you... Now, if you missed out on this strand, first of all, it's the first one we went to last time, and it sold out in seconds. If you crack one of those marquees open it will give you that beautiful effect inside. And I, as I said, if I had more of this strand, I don't know whether I'd do it on the marquees because the marquees is a wasteful cut yeah. at the best of times. <laughs> and I can tell you now, those blues, those Larimars, those purples, those reds, those oranges, it's the most sensational, unusual gemstone we've had in a long time. So is that what gives it those feathery? Yes. But if we go, if we go to the next slide as well. Oh, wow. This is the thing, and there you go again. I just oh. wanted to show you how it grows. Look at that. It's like a hedgehog wow. effect, isn't it? And it's totally... Sorry, yeah. darling, go so on. How do they even cut a shape out of that? Exactly. It's, it's so complex. This is the thing. It, 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 it's so unique. No other gemstone f grows like this. So from a wow. geologist's point of view or a gemologist's point of view, it's one of the co most collectible gemstones because no other forms like this. Not one, not in any of the seven different crystal structures, 
nothing. And it forms in these like hedgehog clusters and they're like, they're really sharp, they're prismatic and they're needle-like points. So can wow. you imagine? Yeah, and you can actually see, as this comes around, look at the dark blue one. You can see the needle, yeah. needle look, see, look. Yeah. Look at that there. You can see that formation on the external of the, of the gemstone, look. So cool. Yeah, so cool. And they radiate outwards. And then they, or they, or they crisscross into one another. And it gives it this art form. Look at that. Oh. It does look like a phoenix, doesn't it? Oh, do you know what it looks like? It looks like a paint pour. Oh, yeah, when we did like the yeah. acrylic paint pouring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? But this is all Mother Nature at her very, very best. No other crystal can boast this in the whole world. No other gemstone shares scholar sites exact formation, whether it's the whether it radiates outwards those needle like points or it, or it, or it crisscrosses and connects together. It makes it one of the most highly distinctive, instantly recognizable and dramatically unique gemstones you can possibly wish to work with. Wow. I've got two left. That's it. Let me put it on the neckline again. Now, the good news is, now these ones, by the way, we have added some colour into to really exaggerate those beautiful needle light points. Some of the strands we've got coming up in the moment are completely and 100% natural. It just needs one of those, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. Just one of those on a design. Congratulations. But then at the same time, it looks really good like that. Yeah. As well. <laughs> yeah. the, well, I'll tell you what I would suggest, if you don't mind, Ross, if I'm allowed to, I would go with the blue, I'd go with the purple, and then I'd finish with a natural, in my opinion. But honestly, this she's desperate for these. <laughs> oh, the scholar site, that one, there's one left. Oh. There's one chance left of that, of the multicolour one. Oh, do you know what? Can we have a look at that? Oh. Have you seen the one there where it looks like it's got a feather? Look at that. It's oh, got feathers yeah. in it. It's a full feather design. <laughs> oh, they're just, they're like they're being painted with. Oh, it's hard to choose which colour is the best. Oh, is it possible? Absolutely. Or, or which one is the best, really? They're all the best. <laughs> this is only the second time these have been brought to air. Are you, are you, going to miss out, 46, <laughs> that's the code. Are you, oh, ro, ro. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. Now, can we just also go to the, the we've got, we've got, we've got one more slide, I think we have. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that one's great. So we've got these colours coming up. So the whole point about this is you've seen that image of, the, of how it forms in those needle-like sort of uh, formations, either jutting outwards like a hedgehog, uh, like a hedgehog sort of coat or crisscrossing together. So they're sort of like putting your hands together like, uh, you know, you know what I'm on about, don't you? But the point is that when they're cut into gemstone and they're cut and they're sanded and they're polished like these are, those streaks that you're seeing there look, that needle formation stays visible. Yeah. Wow. Isn't, I, I mean, it's just... It's, it's so unusual. Isn't it? No other gemstone can boast this. Not one. Not one. And, and, and I did prove this, and as I say, next time we bring the, the, the new order in, if I happen to be the presenter, if not, I'll bring them in and give them to whichever presenter it may be, whether it's Elle or, or Carol or whomever, we prove this. So it says, if the gemstone was to be cracked in half, those needle-like formations would still be there. So the whole point, you see, these stones, they're not solid inside. Yeah. Inside is that formation that we're talking about. So, but what happens, you see, is the, the needles, they get exposed to heat, obviously. They twist, they curl up. And that's why, and this is, it's not the most pleasant of names, but that's where this name gets the, it goes back to the Greek, Greek times and the language. Uh, and it, it was called a skolek. And that's where the name scholar site, because Ike goes on the end for a stone. It actually means worm. Because that's what I'm saying. When the heat comes in, the needles, they twist up, they curl up. And if I show you the final, the final, uh, the unbelievable price tag at $14.99. Yeah, the final slide, just to show you, they even sculptured this into like a hedgehog. So can I show you the final? <laughs> just look at this. Those are, I think those have just sold out. So if I show you the final slide, look at this. There we go. I've got a, uh, it was sculpted into that hedgehog. Have wow. you ever seen anything like that? Now, generally, it's found in India. You can find it in Iceland. You can believe that, can't you? But it's all... Of, you can get them pink, you can get them red, you can get them green, and we do have those natural colours, but generally, the scholar side is white or clear. But that hedgehog, I would love to own that, wouldn't you? Oh. Yeah. 
beautiful, isn't now, it? Now, this is going to be Monica's favourite. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. I do like it, I have to say. <laughs> is it because it's purple? Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Three chances left, $14.99. Sold out. Congratulations. Sorry, Monica. Oh. One more purple. We've got to get to the naturals as well. And it's the trace elements that, that, that give it that lovely colour. You can get them in pink naturally. You can get them in greens, filtering through that lovely white. Pink, red or green are these. I mean, that looks like a shark fin, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, these are the cool. I love these because they're random and they're massive, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you pay twelve ninety nine for one? Monica. Oh, definitely. Right? I'm thinking put those together with the with the blue. Oh, would you like it with the blue? Yeah. Would you? Oh, you. Ooh. <laughs> it's my oh, kind yeah. Of colour palette. <laughs> you can actually see the formations look. Yes. And you'd see that if we cracked it open. There's only twelve ninety nine. It's not many of those left, I'm afraid. Every one of the scholar sites so far has sold out. Every single one is completely unique. I mean, look at that massive one there. You can see those those prisms actually jutting out, can't you? And it's, it's amazing when you know the story behind it. Yeah. So if, you, if you're wearing a piece of jewellery made of, of scholar sites and somebody says, oh, that's interesting, then you can tell them the Ex whole exactly. story about um, how it grows. And, and but look at this. If you see it on the side, I'm just going to just, just, just one at random. You can actually see, and if I crack that open now, that effect would be insane. It wouldn't be solid. You'd see all that crisscrossing. It'd either be bursting out or it'd be crisscrossing across the stone. Uh, honestly, they're the most phenomenal, unusual, wonderful gemstones on the planet. And as a gemologist, as a, I'm sure we're all, I think, gemstone fanatics, aren't we? This is one to get in your collection just from a gemologist's point of view for the sheer, the sheer uniqueness of how this forms. Oh, my goodness me. OK, now the marquees you may have just missed in the colourful, in the ones where we've added some colour. You know, when I just talked about that you can, because of the trace elements when it's forming, um, they can either be turned from the white and the clear into green, pink or red. These are completely natural. Completely natural. Well, you know, you were, you were saying that the purple is my favourite. Oh. Is it these? Well. Oh. These are just such a... Um, an unusual colour for, for one yeah, thing. Yeah, they are. Um, it's, almost, it's almost pearl colours, isn't it? Isn't I mean, it? You've got that Point pearl actually, stone yeah. there, and I can see the same colours in the pearls. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Aren't they? Honestly, I, I went up to, to Wayne last week and I said, Wayne, is there any chance we can get more scholar site, please? I, I just fell in love with them. I was so, I couldn't get any. They sold out. I couldn't get a single one on the day. And there you go, that one there. Can we stop that there, Ad? That one Can you stop it? That one, that, that absolutely, that one sort of right, just off centre to the right there, and that huge one in the centre, that natural marquee scholar site there, that absolutely proves the point that they're still visible yes. when they're sanded and polished and cut. Wow. It tastes like a sunburst, isn't it? That's not the stra same strain that you have, is it? Is it not on there? They're, they're all different, they're all unique. Every single one will be different. What? What I mean is, they might have photographed the strand, but no, it's a different one. No, I think it's a different one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right then, do you want trillions? Mm. Hello. You don't see those very often. That shape, do you? No. But these, these. <laughs> honestly, I'm. S will any of you that's already bought the scholar site first time around? Will you tell me how you feel? What you've done with it? We've had so many comments about this gemstone. It's so great to get a different gemstone. And those of us that have been with jewellery making for twelve years. We've never had scholar site until 2022. Hmm. Never had it before. It's awesome. And then we've gone and done, Ross has gone and done, and they graduated as well. One, uh, sorry, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. So they're just over one pound each, Ross. 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 <laughs> each of those natural, completely natural. It's the presence of the trace minerals, within those needle-like prismatic crystals totally unique to this gem that turns them into those pinks and reds all naturally absolutely no 
no involvement or, 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 or amendment or change to that apart from a great cut into the trillion, big old drill hole and beautifully sanded and polished. 14.99. Every strand is sending out very, very quickly. If you see the one that you want, I've only got two more to come. I've got round coins and then these random huge pieces in the natural, but they're all selling out. Congratulations. I love that you love them. I th honestly, they're one of, I think it's my favourite new gemstone of the last 10 years. Yeah, I, I agree, actually. Yeah. Do you? Yes. They're lovely, aren't they? I'm, I'm, just, I'm torn between whether to bezel these, mm. so especially the, the trillion ones, because then you can arrange them in a really sort of cool. contemporary yeah. geometric design. Or whether to just restrand them, the only because thing you don't want to take away just, from. Yeah, the only thing yeah. I would say is, and I, I, gosh, here's me saying anything to you, but I mean, the only thing, the only reason I, w I would, I would only strand them, oh, because then, then the effect will you stand out a you bit. You don't more. lose any of yeah. it because the trouble is, they're so cool the way they're formed yeah. that you'd you'd lose all that, yeah. all that effect that you're getting on every single one. Yeah. I mean, the choice is yours, obviously. I'll cut me telling Monica what I do. <laughs> it sounds like Monica and Rio. But I just, I just think the magic... I mean, look at that there. Oh, that with the selenite. Oh, well. Oh, come on. Can we look at that one, Adam? Watch this, Ad. And then wa watch what happens when I put it with the selenite. That one there, look. You can see all the needles. And then you put that with the selenite, look. That. That's it. That's the one. Goodness me. I've got one more. <laughs> oh. It's massive. Last one. Has every strand sold out? There or thereabouts, yeah. I mean, look. Oh. Do you, do you imagine... Oh, no, I haven't, can't go inside. I was just going to show... Oh, here we go. So that image that we've got of the, how they're formed, so they either go <laughs> like that or they go like that. That's how they form, basically. Nothing else does it about epitomizing exactly what we're talking about and this is all natural wow hmm. isn't that Gosh. just indescribable yeah isn't it do you see it and if i if, if i just see look, right if i put that there look that's what i want to show you oh, so you, you see what i mean about not losing the edges yeah you can see the ends. you can actually see the ends of the formation of the needles mm. still visible and if I, if, I, if I cut that open now, uh, as I say, I won't because I don't want to waste the strand. If I chopped that in half or hammered that in half, you would have that if... Thank you, Adam. You would have that absolute effect of those needles. Now, they're not crisscrossing, they're jutting out. That would be like that inside. There would be no solid wow. aspect of the stone. It would show exactly that if I cut it in half. Now, this is the biggest carrot weight that we've brought to you in these huge... Huge tumbled stones, all natural, 100 carats of natural scholar site. Awesome gemstone. And every one of them packs that punch and that uniqueness. I just think they're the most fabulous. Fabulous. Now, the thing is, the lowest price we've gone to, I think, is $14.99. Excuse me, strike that. $12.99. But this is the biggest carrot weight. Mm. But to give you the final opportunity to get this into your collection will match the $12.99 price Gosh. for the biggest carrot weight strand that we've had so far. Dora Maker in North Yorkshire, good for you getting three. But what I will say, oh, well done, Ross. What I will say is if you've loved these, and I know you clearly have, don't be too upset if you've missed out today because we have got an order placed. Oh, good. So there, brand chance new. To there is still a chance. So don't be too heartbroken today. I know if you're like me, that's the second time I bought these to air. They've sold out each time, and I, don't, I still don't have one myself other than the half a stone on my bathroom shelf at home. Uh -huh. I have half a scholar site. <laughs> but we do have them on order. We'll try and keep you posted. We'll wait. I mean, that, that, I mean, just, oh my goodness me, well done. How many left, sweet pea? No. Oh, brilliant. Oh, the good news is we had 66 of this on. It was the biggest carrot weight, the largest carrot weight, the biggest volume as well. They're completely and utterly natural. Uh, just bear in mind, though, North Yorkshire has just bought four as well. The Yorkshire people are loving these ones, aren't you? Goodness me, well done. There's 24 available. Two-thirds of the stock have gone already. And a remarkable 12.99. How many have I got on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're less than £2 each. Yeah. 
natural, stunning scholar site. Because those are big enough to be standalone pendants oh, as well. Just a bit, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Again, if you've got those lovely, we had some fabulous textured um, stunning silver spacers on the show yes. first thing this morning. They oh, go lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, but look at that with the selenite. The selenite. Do you want to put it with the selenite again? Do you want to see it one last time? <laughs> Let me show you. Look, I don't know if there's any selenite left. It was down to single figures. But with the, with the formation of the scholar site, with the movement of the striations in the selenite, OK, single figures remaining, all natural. Pop it with your selenite if there's any left. Or if you manage to get it, congratulations. Please rest assured. Please rest assured we do have more scholar site on order. I don't know when it's coming in. I will go and, we'll go and ask Wayne after the show, but it is on order. OK, well done, you lucky things. Congratulations. Right then, my lovelies, we've got an hour left. We've got a masterclass. We've got seed bees. We've got bees bees in the kits and we've still got the most un unbelievable pearls and cashmere peridot yes phew see you after the break <laughs> want to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the tv guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. These aren't your usual bees. Well done on the scholar site, by the way. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just seeing sold out, sold out, sold out. There's a, I think there might be one of the trillion, if you're lucky, but every other strand. God. Um, well, you're... Oh, first of all, can I, can, I, can I put that here? Oh, we're missing the booklet, though. We're missing the booklet. We're missing a booklet. There's a booklet. Dan's like, oh, my. Goodness gracious, woman. It wasn't on my star by It was not on your star by sheet. Uh, oh, go and have a chat with Ross. But it is here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can I just get down to the bottom as well? Can we do the full, the full? Because we do not want to miss that. We cannot miss that. Now, there's a hidden twist behind this, isn't there? There is. Look at that. I'm going to let you do the uh, hidden twist, well, the my hidden, darling. hidden twist, if we zoom out a little bit, the hidden twist is that this is actually... Two, oh. two separate necklaces. Oh, that is, oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> so you can wear them separately or in, on their own. Oh, I like it. Or oh, you can wear them together. Together. I can't do it upside down. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. when you wear oh we it. know what you're doing. Obviously, we your know. neck will be wider than this bust. So well, we hope it is. It sits, <laughs> <laughs> you never know, do you? <laughs> it sits a little bit nicer when you're actually wearing it. Well, so. if I put it like this, you'll see. Oh, there we go. That's you'll perfect. see exactly what it looks like when yeah. you're wearing it together. Buzzing bees and necklace. I love the way you've done. I love the way you've done those as a little honeycomb yeah, as well. They're yeah, great. I mean, that, that was the inspiration behind it, the bees. So is this booklet new today? It is, yes. Oh, hello. Brand new booklet. Brand new booklet. Now, now in the... You do get the booklet with the kits as well. With yep. each one of the kits, you get the booklet. I know it doesn't show it you in the photograph, we do apologise, um, but this is hot off the press. Now, this, how long does it take for you? Am I allowed to flash it? Yeah, sure. How long? And I'll show you the kit as well. But how, all right, just let's feature each page there, just for one second. There is so much time, dedication, effort and painstaking photography and every word yeah i mean if you show the next page oh yeah wait till you see this <laughs> wow that that's the hardest or that's the most time consuming part is the 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 images have to be drawn bead by bead and there isn't a software yet you've had to do all that by hand yeah well, well on the computer but, yeah but bead by bead yeah <gasps> because there isn't a software at the moment that says can you arrange my beads Oh my goodness! This. So you've had to you've had to do that all yourself on yeah. the computer, and then you have to then I draw the thread path in as well, which is also. Oh like, my good! How long do these booklets take, Monica? About a week. A week? Yeah, yeah. I thought you might have cut that. I thought you might take say, about a year. <laughs> goodness! Well, that's a week of not doing anything else. Just that. Just that. Yeah. That's a solid week's worth of Monica's time, just in that booklet. And I think when we when we talk about that. And then we go to the seed beads and the fire polish and the actual hematite beads as well. The value, quite frankly, isn't in the components. It is, obviously, but it, <laughs> the value, the true value, is the booklet by Monica. That's the true value. And I try to do my booklets in a way that um, you can use the techniques that you learn from the booklets in other designs as well. Yeah. So, for example, the, the hexagonal component here would make a really nice bracelet as well if you joined them together in a straight yeah. line. Then I've got the hexagon here again on the bottom of the necklace. That's Love the that. same component that's at the, at the top of the necklace. And then the fringing, obviously, that you can also use in other, other designs as well. And then the necklace bit is a twisted herringbone rope. This bit here? Yeah. Okay. Which, again, you can use in other designs. So 
you can take bits of it and then that's why I did it as two separate necklaces as well. You, ca you could join it together and yeah. have it as one necklace if you only wanted to do up one clasp at the back. But the reason I had it separately is because I thought, well, you might want that's to wear just a long necklace, exactly. you might want to wear just a short necklace, or if you want something more sort of... Um, with more of a presence that yeah. you can wear the two together. But the great thing is with these sort of um, almost well, honeycomb designs that you've done there with the lovely, these are the bees that are in the yeah. kits as well in the heels, they're so cute. You could use that if you, if you did the bar of the seed bees. It's a really nice feature toggle as well, you couldn't could. you? Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, do you want to see what else is in the kit with the booklet? We've got to show you these. I think these are brand new today as well, aren't they? I don't know. Well, I haven't seen them before. Ever had these before yet. Yeah. Thank you, Ross. Hematite. Now, if you've got the cubes, if you got the cubes earlier, we had that lovely hematite in the royal blue. We had the lovely hematite in the rainbow as well. Silly prices. The only way you can get these, so just to stop everybody messaging in, is in the kit. Okay. The detail in each of those, and they look like they've got a really generous drill hole. They do. Yes. Though. Yes, they definitely yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. The detail in those with so the wings and the bodies. You could easily thread them onto cords and things yeah, as well. Could you? Yeah. yeah. And also for the necklace, if you want to make the necklace and you uh, and you use the bees for the necklace, I only used probably less than half the strand. Oh really? So it's still, I mean, look how long that strand is. I'm just going to see. Yeah, two. Four, so you still have about half the strand left over to do something else with. I used up. If you make the full necklace as I've done it, the two necklaces together. I used up almost all of the seed beads. You'd have enough left over to make a pair of earrings to go with it. Yeah. Uh, and then I used up about half the strand, maybe a little bit less than half the strand of the bees. And then I used up a little bit more than half of the crystals in there. Obviously, okay. you could add more fringing as well and then use up a bit more of the, um, the bees and the, and the crystals if you wanted to make it even for But you've got a lot left over yeah. as well. Um, just to give you an art, because there is, there is a buzz about the building about these, there is, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> I'll try not to sing you the song. Uh, I haven't sang it this year, but I will try and avoid it, about the bees. Um, the tassel work is beautiful with those yellow, no, I said they were fire polished. They're not actually, they're glass beads, aren't they? Um, I didn't, I didn't Sorry. look at the description. So. Alright, so they, they are faceted glass. Yep. Uh, you've got them in this beautiful bright yellow. They're six mil, you get 30 of those. And then you get them, gosh, I mean, if you think those are amber, you'd be absolutely forgiven. Sorry, I do apologise, Adam. Push that out of the way, didn't I? Sorry, Finn. <laughs> those those, those glass that. beads are really sparkly as well. I mean, um, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference between those and the, the S word. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, they do, they do they do look like they do look like amber, don't they? They're not, but they look like it. Blimey! Yeah. And those, you look at those together. What a fabulous mixture! So you're going to get thirty of the four mil in the in the lovely amber bronze. You're going to get thirty of the six mil in the yellow faceted glass there as well. Now then, the bees I've counted on my strand. Yes. In the in the hematite. So the coated golden hematite carved bee strand, which is 38 centimetres, I've counted 40 bees. Four zero. Wow. That's pretty good going, isn't it? Plus you're getting the Buzzing Bees Necklace value stunning brand new booklet from Monica for all the seed bead techniques as well. And, of course, you need seed beads, don't you? So how about we pop in Japanese, wonderful, world-class, renowned quality seed beads in your, you've got the silver line gold with the AB coating in the size 11, that's a full 20 gram tube. You've got the black uh, in the 11 24 gram tube. And then you've also got the Mayuki bronze color in the 11 again, full 24 gram tube. That's a hell of a kit. It is, yes. That's a hell of a kit. And I know the photograph doesn't show it, but do not worry my lovelies, you do get Monica's brand new Buzzing Bees Necklace booklet as well. That you, Monica. Ask me why I called it Buzzing Bees. Why did you call it Buzzing Bees, Monica? Because it's a Buzzing Bees beading booklet. It's a Buzzing Bees beading booklet. I like that. Brilliant. Buzzing Bees <laughs> beading booklet. <laughs> booklet. I can't even say it. Stunning piece of jewellery, by the way. Oh, thank you. I mean, you. absolutely stunning. Beautiful. And we've got it in different colourways because you've got yes. another version. Can we show some of the other jewellery as well, actually, yes. Finn? Oops. Ooh. Hey, oh. there you go. <laughs> There you go, just thought I'd throw some seed bees at you, Finn. <laughs> but that other necklace over there, darling, the, the blue one and the, and the creamy colour. So we've, we've got, got a blue kit, so from the blue kit I made the short <sighs> necklace on its own, so you can see that on its own as well. Yep. And then Brilliant. from the pink and yellow, 
oh, I've just made the cute. long necklace on its own, which also, I mean, I started with the black one, the yeah. black and gold, and I thought, oh, that's my favorite. And then I made the blue, oh no, that's my favorite. Yeah. And then I made the pink, no, that's my favorite. I love that one. <laughs> And don't they make the most fantastic, wonderful tassels as yes, well? Absolutely yes. gorgeous. Oh, look at her. Oh, can I just say on behalf of Monica, because oh. this is like our guest designers releasing their very own yeah. series, their very own channel, their very own song or movie, and you're putting yourself out there, and it's so yeah. lovely to see so many of you. And oh, it, that's it, lovely. It is a lot of work. I mean, the other jewellery that we make from that are not booklets is also sometimes a lot of work, obviously. But the um, with the booklets, you really have to think through every little Every detail. minute movement, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? $39.99 gets you a week's worth of Monica's time and effort, <laughs> plus all those glass beads in the 4mm and the 6mm, plus the 40 coated hematite brand new bead uh, B beads, I'll get my words out in a minute. There are three tubes of seed beads. Finn, you can't just jump and get those, could you? Oh, oh thank you, sorry, Donna. I've thrown a, a tube of seed beads on the floor. Oh, not very helpful. <laughs> thank you, Finn. Thank you, Finn. Thank you, gorgeous. Thank you, gorgeous, man. There you go. So you get the three tubes of your 11 O's as well. Brilliant deal. Ready for your price. That's not it. Ooh. I've got Tracy buying two. Tracy will be chuffed. Unbelievably, all of that. <gasps> Anybody tell you that we're doing that? No. no. <laughs> 20, would you work for a week for $24.99? Not likely. Would you work for a day for $24.99? Probably not. Would you work for an hour for $24.99? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. I think I would as well. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, goodness me, well done, everybody. We have got people multi-buying the kit. That really makes me happy. That's lovely. And this booklet, now how many, seven-page booklet? Yep. Seven page book. Oh, and look at this. This is what we're talking about with the details. This is what? And again, like, like Monica just said, there's no software for this. She has to do this all by herself, bead by bead drawing on her computer. Every step of the way. What about, now, what about if somebody's never seen beaded before? They can have a go. I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I try to really make it simple. And, and because you can see all the thread parts and all of that, it doesn't matter if you don't know. I try not to use the technical terms. Right. Um, so it's easy to follow. Yeah. Brilliant. And just, just, so if you just look inside there, there's a whole introduction as to what you need, but you've got pretty much nearly everything. So other than the kit, we'd need, what would we need? Well, you need some fire line and you need a needle. Yeah. And you need a couple of clasps to go on the back. And a pair of scissors, I would imagine. And a pair of scissors or so a thread zapper, so yeah. not much else. I'll tell you what then, we do have two other colourways. Every kit comes with the all important brand new buzzing bees necklace booklet every one of them don't worry i know the photograph doesn't show it but they do that's a hundred percent would you like to show us something in action yes sure um so obviously i'm not going to show you how to make the necklace because it well, comes with the instructions yeah. so i've made... got the time <laughs> <laughs> so i thought well how else could could i use the little bees because they're really cute so i made this little oh. earring here oh that's right. lovely um which is actually a little honeycomb that's made of uh, brick stitch. I haven't done any brick stitching on the that's show brilliant. for a long time, so I thought I'd show you how to make that. Because, you know, to make the hole in the middle is, um, is a little... Well, it's not tricky, it's just you have to know how to do it. So if you're not matching, matching earrings, then, that's, then I'll show you how okay. to do that. Okay. Right. Sorry, I haven't threaded my needle yet. Cause all right, <laughs> darling, we'll let you off. So do you th is, is Fireline your preferred thread? It is, yes. Yeah. Um, and my preferred... Thickness would be the six pound. Six pound break. Or oh, wildfire, but you can, yeah, you can use the wildfire. You can use the coloured wildfire that we sometimes have on the show, which yeah. is brilliant. Obviously, for all of these kits, because we have, we had the blue, which would go with the blue kit. We had the, um, we even had the pink, which would be brilliant yeah. with the pink kit. So, some lovely um, colours, don't we? Can I ask a question? Yes. Thank you. That wasn't <laughs> it, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Might people like, you've just lost it. Um, why is six pound break weight your favourite? Because if you think about it, the, the jewellery that you're going to make is not going to be heavier than six pounds. Uh, so you don't need necessarily the weight yeah. of the, the eight pound. Obviously, it's not so much for holding the weight, it's for strength, obviously. But even the six pound is strong enough. I mean, you wouldn't be able to break it like that. It would cut into your fingers before you broke it. Right. So the six pound is plenty strong enough for pretty much anything you're going to do in seed beading. Okay. But it's also very thin. Because obviously, the higher the, the pound weight, the, the thicker, thicker the thread. Oh, okay, interesting. So the six pound allows you to go through 
beads a lot of times. Right. So most so of the, the pass through. If exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the only time I would use thicker than a than a six pound, which I would use the eight pound. I don't often go up to ten pound. Um, is if I'm doing something that's got to hold its structure quite well. Right. Now I don't mean things like the. Um, the honeycombs here because they're, they're the beads kind of hold it together but if I was doing brick stitch so this piece of brick stitch I'm going to show you is quite small so this will work fine with six pound uh, uh, fire line but if I was doing a bigger piece of brick stitch and I wanted to sort of help it hold its shape then you can use yes, an eight pound stronger break yeah. weight okay yeah. thank you for that that's really good in information thank okay you. so we're going to do brick stitch now I've made a little pattern here okay which I will put the picture up on my Facebook page oh, afterwards if you, if you want to get that pattern. It's a really simple little pattern. Let me just get my beads up. I didn't get very prepared for this demo, did I? Oh, I, don't, oh, I, don't <laughs> I was too busy looking at the... We, we were too busy, we were having a lovely time. Yeah. Uh, we've got two more colourway kits coming up, my lovelies, as well. We've got them on pre-order. They all come with the brand new Monica Buzzing Bees Necklace booklet. Buzzing Bees Necklace Buzzing yes. Bees. So, um, so I've got the earring next to it here, so hopefully you can see all of that. Ah, the necklace is great. All, the, all I can hear is Ross, our producer in the gallery, going, oh, I flipping love that earring. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my little bee. So, um, I made this honeycomb shape, obviously, and then I wanted to put a cutout in it that would fit the bee. So, if you imagine the bee was bigger, so that's the shape um, for the bee. So, if I put that next to it, you can see it. That's how it works there. Now, I'm going to start at this end. Okay because this is where I have, so the yellow section is gonna be the hole. So the yellow isn't beads, the yellow is the hole in the middle. And then I've got the pink and the blue to do the actual beading. Okay. Okay. And I've also brought um, a mark pen because I'm gonna cross out the beads as I do them. Oh, okay. Um, so that will hopefully help you to follow the pattern um, easier. Okay. So I'm just gonna put on a stopper bead. Onto Does my that thread. form part of the design? No. So it doesn't matter what color? Mm. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, okay. um, I know when Alison does seed beading, she works it into her design. You can do that if you wanted to, but um, I'm a little bit finicky because then you see the one pass of thread around right. your stopper bead, so I don't like to see that. So I use We've already established your fussy. <laughs> You're a perfectionist, <laughs> and we love that about you. So uh, the length of thread you will need for this is probably about, about a metre of thread, and I've put my stopper bead close to the end. You're just going to use this end bit to finish it off, Okay. Um, so it doesn't need to be terribly long. So I'm gonna start with this row here at the bottom. Okay, so for the first row, I'm just gonna pick up two of my blue beads. Okay, bring them down to the end and I'm gonna go through the both of them again. Okay, and then at the moment, they're sitting sort of with the, with the holes parallel to each other, so, or one after the other. So what I want them to do is I want them to sit side by side like that. So I'm just gonna pull it tight up to my stopper bead. Okay, but basically, actually, I'm not gonna use a stopper bead after all, what I'm actually gonna do, you can do it with a stopper bead, but in this case, I think it's just easier if you just knot it. Okay. So once you've gone through both of them, it's even easier, doesn't it? Just knot your thread. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to knot in there, but in this case, it should be fine. Right. And then I'm gonna come through one of those beads again. Right, so now basically I've got my two blue beads. If you look on the pattern, so I've got my two blue beads there next to each other, mm -hmm. just there and my thread is coming out of the last one. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up another one, and then I'm gonna go around in a circle through that one that I'm coming out of, and I'm going to put the one next to it, and I'm gonna go through that last one again, just like that, and then I'm gonna pick up the next one, and again around in a circle. So this is just your basic ladder stitch, really. You're just joining them side by side, then go through the last one each time so your thread is coming out of the last one. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So I've got four, five. Go through the last one again. And then six. Okay, and then as I'm going, I'm going to cross off the bees that I've done. So now I've done this first row. So one, two, three, four. Oh, so you know where you six. are. Yeah. Okay. Um, people have different methods of following a pattern. Um, in this case, I just find this quite easy to do. Okay, so now we're gonna do the next row. So we're gonna turn around this way. Okay, so my tail thread is towards me and my working thread is further away from me and it's coming out to the right of the bead at the top.
Okay, so now if you imagine, this is where I am now. So now I want to add a blue bead. And the way brick stitch beads sit is, the reason they're called brick stitch is because they sit like bricks. Yeah. Um, actually, if you turn it sideways, it looks like peyote stitch. It, it looks exactly the same as peyote stitch. The reason brick stitch is better in some cases is because you can do interesting shapes with it. So my next bead, my blue bead, I want to sit on top of the first blue bead, but I want it to stick out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the first two beads. I'm going to pick up a blue, and I'm going to pick up a purple in this case. Okay, so I'm picking up two beads. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go through any beads. Can you see there's a little bridge of thread that's joining those first two beads oh, yeah. there? So I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to go under that bridge. So essentially my needle is going in between the two beads. Okay, so just under the thread. I'm going to have to put my finger over it for a second, otherwise it all comes apart because the thread comes loose. Right, so I've pulled up my beads there. And then I'm going to come back up the second bead I added, so the purple in this case. Okay, so when you pull that all tight, you will see, now the first two rows, just like with any beading, doesn't normally want to behave very well. But if you pull it kind of tight, have I done something wrong? Never. Two, four, six. I did add the right beads. Oh no, it's fine. They're just sticking out a little bit too much. So you can kind of see. Told you. Once I add the next one, they'll sit more in place. So the next bead I want is another purple. So I'm picking up another purple, just the one bead this time. And I'm gonna go, so this blue is the blue I just added. So these blue, it looks like it's the second one in a row. That one isn't really sitting in the same row. So just use the six basic beads that you started with. So I went under the thread bridge between the first two. Now I want to go under the thread bridge between the next two beads. Okay, so I went under there just now. And now I'm going under this next set of beads. The thread bridge there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up the bead that I just added. So basically you're just creating a loop of thread under your bead. And it's that loop of thread that is attached to your beads underneath. And this one is not behaving. There we go. Now you can see it a bit better. Okay. And then again, I'm going to pick up another purple. And I'm going to go under the next thread bridge, under the next, or between the next two blue beads. And then up through the purple bead again. Okay. And then again, so I need all together one, two, three, four, five purple beads. So a couple more. You said blue beads, and I thought you said blue beads. <laughs> <laughs> And we have blue bees as well. <laughs> it doesn't help, does it? <laughs> I said to Zina in the break, I said, just be careful how you yeah. say blue bees. Blue bees, because it doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> so I've got four, and then the fifth purple one under this last thread bridge here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you'll see in the second row, you've got another blue bead. So now I've got all my purple beads lined up nicely. Yep. And you've got another blue bead here. Okay, so you're going to pick up the blue. But now I've run out of thread bridges, okay? So now I'm gonna go under the same thread bridge that I went under for this last purple one. So I'm gonna go under the thread that goes between these last two blues. I already went under there when I added the previous purple. I'm gonna go under the same thread bridge again and then back up through the blue. Okay, so that's my second row done. Okay. So I'm quickly gonna cross those out. Mm -hmm. I will do That's a good thing to do as well because I think like sometimes like you know if you need a comfort break or the phone goes or exactly. the doorbell goes you need to so know, you know where you are. You were. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I'm just going to do one more row and then I'll give Azina a chance to do the next kit. Okay yeah cool. So the next row again you'll see I'm on this end actually but in this case it doesn't matter because it's symmetrical so it doesn't matter whether you go this way or that way. So in the next row again I've got a blue bead and then I'm picking up a purple as well so I've picked up the blue and the purple and then again I'm going under the thread bridge between those first two beads and then back up through the purple. Mm -hmm. So when you position those, you can see it better now in the second row than you did in the first row. So the blue will stick out a little bit and then the purple will sit between those two. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I need one, two, three, four, five, six purple beads all together. So I've got one, so I need to add another five. So that's one, that's two, That's three. So each time I'm going under the next thread bridge between the next two beads. So that's three. 
that's four. That's five. Do you count out loud yourself when you're at home? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondered. I talk to myself too. So. You so do I. I convince myself I'm talking to Ivy, but it's effectively you're talking to yourself, aren't you? Well, sometimes you just need, you know, intelligent conversation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then you pick up the blue one, which is the last one again. And then you go again under that same last thread bridge that you did for the purple one. Okay? Yeah. Then you can cross off your next row. Okay. So now I'm going to do the next row as well. So, if Zina, you want to show the next yep. bit? Should we do, do blue that. or should we do the... Yeah, should we do the blues? Only because we've had a lot of people messaging in to, uh, to Ross in the, in the gallery saying, give me the blue. The blue beads. The blue beads. The blue beads. Stop <laughs> it. Honestly. She's trying to say them so many times. The blue beads. <laughs> the blue beads. Oh, these are epic. Though. And if you got the uh, earlier... Now, I don't know if there's any left, Ross, but we did, Scott came on, our managing director, and bought us a super long strand of the most lovely... I think there were three to four mil chamfered soft edge cubes of hematite in this colour. And I just think if you manage to get that with these brand new, fabulous royal blue coated bees, I mean, they're absolutely knockout. And don't worry, you do get the all important booklet, which I'll show you again in a moment. I counted on the previous strands, I'm guessing they're all the same, 4T, 4-0 of these lovely hematite royal blue coated bees. They're absolutely, and they're carved. The detail in them is fantastic, I have to say, really fantastic. Um, also, we've got the blue faceted glass beads as well. They're four mil, and you're going to get 30 of those. It's Monica. When there's Monica, there has to be purple. <laughs> of course. There's, 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 she just will not come on air. She get, you know when famous people have a, what they call a, a rider, where it basically says what they will and won't, you know, what they have to have before they turn up? All right. Well, with uh, Monica, it's, it's purple. Quite frankly, purple. <laughs> you think we're joking. Can I just say, look at the detail on those, on those bees. And can I also just say the bees are carved on both sides. Carved on... Oh, do you know, I'm glad you said that because I should, have, I should have pointed that out. Thank you. So if I just prove that point, just that you don't think Monica's turning a little porky pie. Both sides carved. I'll just show you. There you go, look, there you go, just to prove the point. She's absolutely correct, as per always. <laughs> as per always. Our oh, marvellous Monica. So there you go, carved bees, they're fabulous. Uh, with the blue um, four mil faceted glass beads and the purple faceted in the six mil and your seed beads, which again, we're going to have to have some beautiful blue, which is just... Sorry, Ross, can I have that back again, darling? I do apologise, sorry, sweetie. Um, just to give you the colours of the, thank you, love. Uh, silver line cobalt AB in the blue. And this, I love these. These are the matte transparent frozen light blue with the AB coating. They're awesome. And again, the rider strikes again. Mayuki Duracoat, that means it's locked in. Opaque dyed lilac, 11 hours, all 11s. And you get Monica in a booklet. <laughs> Monica in a seven page booklet. All the talent of this woman, this marvellous Monica. She has put together for you a seven-page, detailed, fabulous booklet all about the buzzing bees, and you get this in every... Don't worry if it's not photographed. I do apologise about that, but it's hot off the press. It's only just been delivered. You will get this booklet with each kit. And can I also say, that lilac, those lilac seed bees... These I ones here? I don't think I've ever seen those before. It must be a new colour. Ooh! Mm. Have we got seed bead envy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, 24 99 for the whole kit, and we've got the lovely light pastel colours coming up in a moment. Back to you, darling. Right, so I've done that row there, okay, same as I did the other rows. And then I've started the next row, so I've actually done, same as I did the other rows, I've done those beads there in the next row. Okay. Okay, so you can see I've got my three purples and my blues. So now what we're going to do, because now we want there to be a big hole in the middle, obviously, so we can put our bead in there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ignore all the beads on that side. Okay. And we're just going to do this section here, okay? So I'm going to turn around, okay? And I'm going to do the next row. Now here it does matter which way you go, obviously, because it's not symmetrical one side to the other side. So now my thread is coming out of this bead here. So now I, I want, to, want to add this bead, but you'll notice that up until now, when we added the first bead of the row, it's always stuck out from the rest of the beading. 
in this case, it's coming inwards. So when you need to come inwards, you need to do it slightly differently. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the first two pinks or purples. Okay, and then remember when we started on the other end to, to have the next row sticking out, we went under this first thread bridge here. So if you want them to come inwards, you're going to skip over that first thread bridge and you're going to go under the next one. So now I'm going under the thread between the second and the third bead here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you pull that up and then you go through the second bead, back up through the second bead that you added, you'll see that they sit a little bit further inwards rather than sticking out that way. Okay. okay. Now when you're coming in, you'll see that this first bead here stands a little bit wonky, so it kind of stands on its side a little bit. Um, that will straighten out when you do the next row, but if you want to be really... Uh, a perfectionist like I sometimes am, <laughs> then you can just go back down that bead again. And There's no sometimes about it, Monica. You're either a perfectionist, let's be real, or you're not. Okay, <laughs> it can't okay. be sometimes. <laughs> you have to be with seed beads, though, I think, really, you kind, don't you? You kind of do, yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. Do it if it to look so, so perfect. Yeah. So all I did was went around these two beads that I've just added, back down the first one and up the second one again. Okay. And that pulled this first one into position there. Okay, and then I'm just going to add the third purple, just like I did before, so under the next thread bridge. That lilac is so gentle, isn't it? It is, yes. That's why when I was looking at yeah, it, it's really I haven't lovely. seen that one before. And you've seen most seed beads? Uh, well, certainly the ones we've had at Jewelry Maker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, and then my last... Oh, what did I do? Oh, I, did um, I? No, that's fine. Monica, how long does it take you to come up with these patterns? Because you have this to one. design it, yeah. Um, this one was quite quick because there is a software that can do this kind of oh, um, okay. pattern, the flat, uh, flat peyote stitch type right. uh, and brick stitch pattern. So okay. that's a bit quicker. Yeah, but you still have to come up with the idea. Well, yeah. yeah. I had to, the hardest part in this case was to work out how many beads to leave out to uh, house the, for the bead, the bead. to fit yeah. exactly in there. Yeah. So now I've done the next row. So that was a little bit of trial and error. So I did um, a pattern and then I made it up and then it wasn't quite right. So then I changed it a bit okay. and so on and so on. But you've done all that for us, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, so the next one again, my blue is sticking out again. So again, I'm picking up the blue and a purple. And I'm going under the first thread bridge because I need it to stick outwards again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I don't need to do that extra step because that's only when you're coming inwards from the edge. Okay. Okay, so here I need three purples. So I've got one kind of tension do you need does it does it um you don't need a terribly tight tension mm. you just want to pull it enough that it kind of sits in position right and you'll see that um when you're pulling your thread um so obviously if it sits like that if I put it over the white, you can see obviously it's not tight enough. Right, okay. So you just pull it until it kind of sits. Oh, it's sort of, it almost seems to sort of like connect, like when you see like the module and the space rocket and yep. stuff, it just connects, doesn't it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm sure there's a better word, so you know what I mean. Cross off the next row here. Okay. Okay, and then I'm turning around again. So again, I need my pink, which is coming in from the end again. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going to pick up my two pinks and I'm skipping over the first thread bridge going under the second one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. oh dear. Right. It wants to get in on the action. <laughs> and then come up the second one, and then this is where can you can you see how that first one sits a little bit wonky? Yeah. So that's where you go down that first one. As I said, this isn't absolutely necessary this step, but so if you're making a big piece, yeah, and you don't want to spend time on that, don't worry too much about okay. it. Okay. And then the third one. And then another brew. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, go under the same thread bridge there. And then you do the last one. Right, so now that's this row here. And then the next row changes a little bit because now we've only got two pink beads in the next row. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm turning over. So now I'm adding a blue bead which is coming in from the end. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going under the second thread bridge again. So picking up a blue and a purple. So skipping over the first one, under the second one. Mm -hmm. And then this is where I want to do that extra step again. So just go down in there and up there. I'm probably going to skip that step from now on just for the just sake of time. Okay. Yeah. So I only need two pinks, so I just mm -hmm. need to add one other pink. Okay, Yep. so that's that row there. 
I think that's such a good tip, marking it off with a marker, because it just it just it does takes work all well, the, yeah. yeah, it just makes it much Especially easy, if you can it? print it out several times. If you can't, you can put it in a like a plastic uh, folder, and then you can just mark it off on the on the folder. That's good, like laminated type yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Right. So the next row again, I'm starting from the pink edge. Now here, the pink is sticking out. Okay. So now I'm going to do uh, uh, the first thread bridge again. So picking up, you always pick up the first two beads when you start the row. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going under the first thread bridge because I want these pinks to start sticking out in that direction. Okay. And then back up through the second bead that you added. Mm -hmm. Right. So I've got my two pinks. And then for the blue, I'm just going to add the blue. And now that's coming in from the end. So I don't need to add another bead under the same thread bridge. I just stop there and it will come okay. in from the end. Okay. okay. So I'm going to do the next couple of rows if you want to do the third kit. So I'm just going to do these two rows here while Zena shows you the next kit. We do have another kit. Yeah, okay. should we just pop, do you mind, should I pop that on? Have you got time? Yeah, yeah, no. Do you mind? Sorry, just bet, just a whole file on that one, one moment, only because we need to make sure we get all the kits and we're just conscious of the time. I. Every time Monica worked with the kits, the first one was a favourite with the, with the black <laughs> yeah. and the gold. Then it went to the blue. That was a favourite. When it got to this one, this one, with these hematites, with these colours, they're pastel, they're gentle, they're good. Well, apart from the hot pink of the glass beads, but there you go. These bees, all brand new today, are the most unusual variation of, of, of the most delightful. It's like pink and gold combined. In the bees, they're all carved. They're double-sided carved as well in the bees. I counted 40 bees, four zero, on my strand. And we've then, we've then coupled those with the most delightful, gentle pastel tones of your Mayuki seed beads, all 11 O's, a uh, big gram weight. So we've got the transparent pale pink with an Aurora Borealis coating. We've got the semi-matte yellow lined crystals. They're so, so, so pretty. And then we've got the pink line crystals with the AB coating again. All look at that. I mean, that is, I mean, that, goodness me, we're, th we're thinking lemon drizzle. We're talking about lemon meringue. Yes. And it's a little bit frosted. I don't know if it says that in the description, but it's almost, a, yeah, it says semi matte. Semi matte, those yeah. yellows. It's just lovely, isn't it? The most delicate tones, absolutely gorgeous. And, and, and those with the transparent, sort of pale pink lining with the AB coating, they're absolutely div divine. Also, we're going to throw in a little bit of, um, we're going to mix it up a bit. We will give you the pale pink faceted glass in the four mil, but we thought we'd just add in a shock of colour. So if you come down here, look, they match beautifully. Look, you're like, oh yeah, they're pretty pale pink. I like them. But then we go all out shocking hot pink in the six mil. 30 of those, 30 of those. And then the all important part, the value because this is, they're all, they're all consumables, effectively. This, you've got forever. The amazing Monica in print form, in her Buzzing Bees booklet. <laughs> Seven pages of real detail, all designed by our very own marvellous Monica. Could you start changing it? Because nobody can pronounce your surname anyway. <laughs> Why don't you just put Monica, marvellous Monica on the front? <laughs> it's much easier. How do you pronounce your surname? Sure it is. Who? Schultes. Schultes. You know, my, my, my maiden name oh, yeah. is Subo, which is S-Z-A-B-O. Subo, right? So, oh. so I thought, oh, I'll marry some nice English guy with an <laughs> easy surname, like Smith or something. And you found that one? <laughs> and I found Schultes. Yeah. Where's he from originally then? He's from Hungary. Oh, is he? Yeah. That didn't help, did it? No. Mm. He looks nice, by the way, on your photographs. Oh, thank you. I love how photographs he looks like. Oh. Are you ever going to come in? We can meet him. Um... He's been in once. Yeah, you went in that day. I, I yeah, brought him in. He was sensible. <laughs> <laughs> it's good job I love her, isn't it? She does like me. She does. Her husband doesn't. <laughs> when it was due to come in, I actually had a show with you, I think, but then they came in in the afternoon, him and my son, and then you'd oh, left by then. Oh, your son. Oh, your son's sensible as well. <laughs> $24.99. Anyway, sorry, darling, go on. Right. So now I've got to this section here. I just want to show you this quickly. We're going to ignore this pink bead here Rude. okay, for now. Um, so that's the pink bead that sits kind of under the bee's bottom there. Okay, oh. So just ignore that one. Oh. So now I've done the first three of these, which you do the same as you've been doing up until now. So now how are we going to do the rest of the section? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're back at the beginning again, doing that very first row. 
So remember we did like a, a, a ladder stitch there. So I've got my first two purples. Mm -hmm. So to add the rest of the row, I'm going to do that ladder stitch again. So I'm going to pick up a bead and I'm going to go around in a circle and down through that bead there. And then pick up the next one. So I'm going to go all the way up until I have the full row of beads. Uh, beads. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. I need six purples, so I need another two. And then a blue at the end. I love this with this pattern, though, because you could change it to any colourway of seed beads Oh, yeah, you want, absolutely. Just yeah. with that lovely pattern. It's, it's because brilliant. I've shown before how to leave a gap in your uh, brick stitch or in your um, peyote stitch to fit a bicone. Because usually that's what, uh, well, often that's what you use to mm. fit into your beading. But we've never done a B in it before, so I thought, oh, that would be something interesting. Right. So now I've finished that row. Okay, there. So now the other two rows on top, I'm not going to show you how to do that because you do the same here as you've done there. Okay? Mm. Except instead of going out at the end, you come in at the end. Only thing I will say is, can you see you've got the thread coming out the bottom of this blue bead here. Mm -hmm. And you need it to come out the top. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up the second bead. So we're going to go up the purple bead that's next to it. Okay. And then you're going to turn your work over to do the next row. Now, if you're working like this, so this is your next row, right? So if I started coming out from the blue bead, and I would come inwards with the blue and the pink, right? But now I'm actually starting one bead in. So if you ignore the blue, yeah. then relative to this pink, that blue is sticking outwards. Yeah. So you're going to pick up your blue and your pink. I'm going to just add those two quickly. Um, so pick up the blue and the pink. Mm -hmm. And then relative to the pink, it's sticking out. So I'm going to go under the very next thread bridge. Okay. Okay. Right, and then go up through the purple, mm -hmm. pull it tight. So now you'll see, oh. can you see? So relative to the first blue, and they're sitting a bit wonky, but again, once you finish the design, they'll straighten out. Okay. So relative to the blue, they've come in. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to carry on, do the last two rows. Then what you're going to do is you're going to work your way through your beading until you get back to here because obviously now you've done the next two rows now you need to finish this section here uh -huh. okay so you're going to work your way through the th um with your thread yeah. until you're coming out of this blue so i'm just gonna take a shortcut here okay. and go up there so pretend you've done those two rows at the bottom because mm -hmm. i'm conscious of the time and i don't want to run over right and then you're going to carry on you're going to do the other side you can turn the pattern upside down if that helps Right, so you can do this side, and you're going to do that same type of beading up on this side. Okay, and then when you get to the top, you're going to join the two rows together. Now, to join the two rows together, basically, what you do is when you've done this row here, okay, oh, just, there you go. Oh, oh, when you've yeah. done the last row, so you've got all your beads done, mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to pretend that you're picking up the beads that are already there. So you're going to go up through the blue, down through the pink, and then you're going to go under the thread bridge just like you would when you're actually adding the new beads. Right. Okay. All your beads are already there, so when you're joining, you're not adding any more beads. Then you go up through the pink again, and then you pick up your next pink, you go under the thread bridge, and you go back up through the pink again. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So that's how you join up the two ends, and then that is how you end up with this shape with the hole in the middle. Okay. Ah. And then you're just going to work your thread through until you're coming out, so you've got a hole here at the top, which is two beads wide, okay? You're gonna come down through your B, through the middle of your B, coming out of this middle bead at the top, uh -huh. okay? You're gonna go down through your B, then you're gonna pick up a purple, which is gonna be this bead here, oh, okay? Right, okay? Then you're gonna go down one of the pinks at the bottom, because at the bottom you'll have two in the middle. Yep. Doesn't matter okay. which one? Doesn't matter which no. one. Okay. Because you're going to go up the, the other one mm -hmm. and back up through this little odd bead at the bottom here, back up through your B again, and then back up through the middle bead at the top. Okay. And that's how you're going to add your B in there. So you come out of the middle, mm -hmm. down through your B, add an extra bead, down through the right hand bead or the left hand bead, up through the other one, and back up through the B and okay. that extra bead. And that's how you put the B in the middle okay. of the hole. Brilliant. And then you can just carry on with your thread and add another bead and a closed jump ring and at the top. Pop your glass bead on that you've done there if you want to yeah. or whatever. 
Yep. Um, or you can join several of these together to make a, a necklace. Or well, that'd be nice, there. wouldn't it? Yeah. I like that. A lovely idea. Okay. That was brilliant. Oh. That was a be you be brilliant. <laughs> be brilliant. Rubbish. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was rubbish. Oh, now we've got a few people. I thought you might message in saying, Ooh. "Any chance we could have them now?" Because sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Yeah. Most of the booklets are in the kits. Each of the kit comes with a booklet. We've got 30 opportunities for kitless booklets <laughs> for you. Now, I think we've made a price error there. They should be 9 99 oh, really? That's really convenient doing that, Ross, when I've got the designer sat next to me. Thanks. <laughs> he said it's not my fault. Um, well, there you go. Um, seven pages of Monica's Labour of Love for 5 99 Sorry, Monica. That's okay. <laughs> just, it's not really, is it? I'm just sulking here. Yeah, well, <laughs> so should, should we say, you haven't got a sulky face. You don't possess one, do you? All that work, all that effort, all that knowledge, all that experience, forever locked in to a £5.99 booklet, brand new today as well. Nobody's ever got their hands on that before. All of that detail. Well, except me, obviously. Well, apart from you, yes. <laughs> Look, behave yourself, you. <laughs> I'm trying to get, get myself out of the fact that we've just taken your booklet to 5 99 Yeah, I'm trying to not think of that. <laughs> this is the design. And do you just want to tell everybody what the, what the, what the quirk is about that necklace? Well, you just, might not know. Two separate necklaces. So you can wear so you either can wear on its own. That one, or you can wear just that one. Or if you're on a cruise or something yes. and you want to go really dramatic look. And then the ring at the bottom, I haven't attached to both ends, so it kind of swivels a bit, so you can have it the oh, same length. Oh, nice. So you can play around with that as well. Well, that's a clever design. Mm. You're pretty good, you, aren't you? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. And obviously, when you wear it, because your neck is wider, it will sit, it'll sit kind You've of You've got like big that. assumptions about people's neck girth, haven't you? Well, if you find somebody with a neck this size, <laughs> yeah. I'd challenge you to yeah. do that. Um, Somebody's just... older than six. <laughs> Sorry. Ross, what did you want to say, sir? OK, right, I've got these on. Everybody's been asking. We've run out of time. I do apologise. I need to bring you the cashmere peridot before we exit this show. This, this is the finest peridot. Now, the finest peridot previously... You can get it from Chiang Mai, China. You can get it from all sorts. You can get it from the US of A. But previously, the finest peridot came from Myanmar in Burma. The system cannot crash right now. I won't have it. It has. Oh. I will just finish that sentence, though, right? So, you know, we just had the, the, the jade, the, 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 the high goo jade for... If you didn't get that, by the way, if there's any left, go back to jewelrymaker.com. Sir, just scroll down, watch live, scroll down. And it might be at the bottom of the screen, although we did play it recently. Scott mm. took it to a Dave Trot. It's his birthday today, special price. An 18 mil Taipei Myanmar Burmese Jade uh, Haigu Donut. Not three figures, 14 99 14.99. We have people buying six. Oh. But just, just quickly, sorry. I'm surprised there's any left. I don't know if there are. I don't know if there any are. I don't know if there any are. That didn't make sense, did it? That's your fault. I'm blaming Monica. Let's just blame marvellous Monica. But just quickly, um, on the, we will do the Kashmir Peridot another time. Kashmir Peridot, previously Myanmar, Burma, was the ultimate quality Peridot. In 1994, they discovered it in Kashmir. Wow. In, in Pakistan. That is now world-renowned, the best Peridot. But unfortunately, you can't have it. Ow. Oh. Monica, when are you back with us, gorgeous? Well, I've got a bit of a break now, so I'm back on the 24th of October. 24th of October. Yeah. Fantastic. After the break, Crafter's Companion, Debbie with a Y, brand new zigzag dye scenes. Oh. <laughs>